Chat, chat, chat. Hello. And welcome to the round of 16 stream for the Minecraft ranked playoffs. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. It's really early and it's earlier for nerdy. So we're hanging in there, guys. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think, I think today's going to be good. It's going to be worth waking up at 630. That's, that's normally <laughs> when I go to bed. So yeah, anyways. Dude, it thundered for me. IRL yesterday, or like this morning, I guess. And when I, wow. I went outside today to get Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast, and I could like smell the water. You know what I mean? Like you smell like the rain, like yeah. in the grass yeah. after. That was crazy. I, I experienced that maybe like once a month when I decided to go outside. But um, that's 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 pretty cool, man. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for <laughs> having another thunder experience. But this time, in real life. Exactly. Um. But yeah, I'm freaking pumped. We have Arashi vs. Crow to start the day off, and we have eight matches. Our entire round of 16 is all today. The players' schedules all worked out. It's just going to be back to back to back to back for like eight hours. Maybe it'll go a little faster. We blocked out an hour for each um, match in case it does best of three. But I mean, it's best of, if it goes like 2 0, we'll stall time or something, or maybe it'll start early. We'll figure something out. But um, yeah, I'm pumped. We have some cool things to show you guys. We have some cool, um, obviously, seeds and some awesome Minecraft gameplay. So, I guess, I mean, Nerdy, have anything else to say? Otherwise, I mean, there's like 10 OBS scenes here, and they all, they're all packed with content. So, do you have any other words, or I should we get right, we into get right into it? I think we just get right into it. I don't know. All right, awesome. all right. So, our first player in our first match, if you guys don't know who's playing, want to see, want to keep it track, if you do exclamation mark bracket in the chat, this is weird. I'm like looking at chat and I'm, I'm, my webcam's like all off. But if you guys um, if you guys want to see the brackets, exclamation mark bracket, it's got timestamps in there, so you should know. We'll keep to that schedule, obviously, the best we can. Um, but our first player of our first match today is Arachi. And look at this, guys. Juicer information. Oh, <laughs> man. So we asked all the players to give us Minecraft accomplishments, and we told them to do uh, some pretty serious ones and some little lighthearted ones. So as you can see, Arachi has 652 end enter. It's currently seventh place, I think. It, um, at least that's what he told us. But I think it was like top five when it happened, you know? One of the few end enters that like, if there's a zero on that, that's maybe world record, right? It's like 745. So there's some skill there. 502 blind, pretty freaking solid. Top four in TRT three times. Unfortunately, no win. Otherwise, I mean, I'd imagine he would say that. Uh, but top four is still in a tournament with like 100 plus people is pretty impressive. And Coach Saji Enderman, I did not know that. But as we all know, Saji Enderman with the 836, the first ever sub nine Minecraft speed run. Pretty freaking hype. And then we have all those rank sets. Obviously, I'm not going to read over them on the left, but an 828 in ranked, I mean, shows he's got potential, right? And then. 924 PB. And the interesting thing too is Arachi and Crow have never played in ranked. See, wow. win loss versus opponent 0 0. In the th almost 300 games Arachi's played, they have never met on the ranked ladder, which is wow. impressive. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's very surprising uh i think another thing that to keep an eye on while we look at these stats um is you know of course the uh the the ranked average time but also the win percentage these are two different metrics and i think it's important to notice that you know as you get faster that's good but consistency is also of course key here so there's sort of a balancing game between going fast and uh, and playing safe. I think we're going to see some interesting numbers as we push through these these uh, these different players throughout the day. Um, and the difference in some players might have faster average times, but lower win percentages. And then, of course, on top of that, you have to include that some players may have different ELO. So definitely keep an eye on those those numbers as we push through. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. The ranked average time is the average finished completion time it's like if you take all the runs where you win and you kill the dragon it's that average so it doesn't take into account forfeits or obviously when you lose and you forfeit or if the opponent beats the game so yeah some people will probably have lower averages but a lower win rate which means they're maybe a little bit more inconsistent which might not be what you want um in this type of tournament and so we'll show our second player now crow um and yeah i mean here we have a higher win rate but a slower right, average exactly. time exactly what you're saying so 5% <laughs> higher win rate, but 30 seconds slower on average. Does it matter? Does consistency matter as much in a 1v1 situation versus like our open qualifier format that we had last weekend? Don't know. But have some nice accomplishments here. A sub five blind, not many people can say that. Um, another sub seven end enter, both him and Arachi. I mean, the Crow Pro's only six seconds slower here. 
uh and four times icarus world record holder that's pretty impressive um as a one-time icarus world record holder for a grand total of 12 hours that's uh <laughs> I, i'm glad i have my name in the books there uh one of my two world records where i got the world record i went to bed i woke up and it was broken <laughs> so <laughs> that's, i mean it's okay it's okay one day and the other, the only other thing I want to point out here is Crow has significantly less ranked matches played. Um, it says mm. here 34 and 15, that's going to be 49 matches. And if we flip it back to Arachi here, that's nearly 300. So there might wow. be a little bit of an experience diff in terms of like really knowing the filter. Because I, I mean, if you've played ranked, and I mean, maybe this is just my personal experience, but playing seeds on the filter, like you get to sort of learn how the terrain works and like how to play around obsidian in bastion chests and like how yep. the overworlds are structured, like finding the magma ravine and stuff like that. Um, so I'll be interesting to see if Crow shows some sort of inexperience there while we watch. But the only other thing we have to show you guys is our new, for the bracket, because it's a 1v1, pick ban system. Bam. So the way this works, and it'll work this way for every 1v1, is the lower seed, seeded player, will get to ban a seed type out of the five seed types that we have, which are Rune Portal, Shipwreck, Buried Treasure, Desert Temple, and Village. Um, and then the higher seeded player will get to ban another seed type and then pick the first seed they want to play. Uh, and because this is the best of three, uh, the other two seeds here in the bottom, the overworld TBA and the if needed, will just fill um, the other two seed types, and the loser of seed one will get to pick the seed type for seed two. And then if the other person loses seed two, obviously they get to pick the one seed type that's left for seed five. You, you can't play them both. Uh, you can't play one seed more than once is what I mean. Same seed type more than once, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, this is going to be interesting. Hopefully we don't see like the same seed type consistently banned the whole day. I feel like that would be kind of lame. But I mean, there's no Desert Temple ban here, which is what I think people would just want to ban. Um, yeah. That would be my guess. I'm surprised that Shipwreck is banned, but maybe it's like some RNG in finding the Shipwreck. But again, this is weird too, because you know the seed type you're going to play. So if you spawn on an island, you know if it's a buried treasure or a, ship, or a shipwreck, sorry, because it's, like, chosen. So you can know if you're doing mapless or if you should, like, load in on 20 render, 500 any distance, and instantly look for a shipwreck. So it's very interesting. Different than normal ranked where you have no idea what you're playing. Different. And also, there's some strategy here for sure. I think it's important to note that, you know, obviously buried treasure is going to be the fastest in, in, in general, the most consistent. But, um, you know, it's important to note that these different kinds of, of seeds, they might be slower, but you might feel more comfortable on one. And all it doesn't matter how fast you go. All that matters is that you go faster than the other person, right? So maybe... Maybe, for example, maybe Arachi is really comfortable with Desert Temple Seeds and just feels like that's going to be a, a way to gap the opponent. Um, so I think that's an important note as well. It's just comfortability on specific seeds. It's, it's relative. It's not like absolute speed that matters here. Yeah. Um, and I think with that, we're kind of, we're a little behind. Not really. Um, but I, we got nothing else to show you guys. That's basically it. Uh, there's one more surprise later, but uh, I'm ready to get right into it. I don't know about you. But this is awesome. The OBS stuff's working. I was trying to set up the webcams for like five minutes and it just wasn't capturing, but I think we're good. And then I told Oliver to just start whenever he sees them on this screen. So we should be getting to it very shortly. And looks like we are. Um, so yeah, I mean, we see the Elos at the top and Arachi being the three seed, one of the eight to qualify from the, like just auto qualify from the top eight. This is almost a 500 Elo gap between the players. Now, is it because Crow Pro didn't play um, yeah. a lot? Like, maybe, right? Is it because he just only played 50 ranked matches? But um, this is a buried treasure seed, so both runners loading in on Fire Ready, and I think they're both finding it. Looks like, yeah, Crow Pro's on the chunk also. Crow, sorry. Um, so this overall, I mean, it's going to come down to if you can find the Magma Ravine. And I actually didn't check the seeds this time. Uh, I checked them last time because Oliver was on vacation, but I have no idea 
what these seeds are looking like. So I, I, I'm going in completely blind. I mean, last time, like, I, I didn't check them fully, fully, but I kind of knew what to expect. So this is going to be interesting for me, too. I have no, like, I have no idea where the magma vein is on the seed. So someone's going to see kelp, or they're going to have to figure it out. So, yeah. It should be... Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. I want to note one thing that's important, I think, maybe, potentially. Probably not, but maybe, uh, is throughout the day, of course, these there's going to be a little stream delay between the two the two players, a difference there. Um, so, for example, here, I think we've got about a two-second difference between, uh, not, not anything too crazy, but, you know, important yeah. thing to note, if it's really, really close, is to maybe, th there might be that head start for, uh, for Arachi. Yeah, it looks like Arachi's maybe three seconds ahead, like you said. And first ravine fake. Did they go different ways here in this ocean? Yeah, Crow went, uh, Crow went more deeper into the ocean, and Arachi kind of committed to this swamp side area. Ooh, it looks like maybe a fake ravine. Crow didn't want to go down that one, but it looks like both players missed the intended enter, which is very <laughs> interesting. But I honestly think I like Crow's play more going into more of the open ocean, right? Because, like, if Hirachi whiffs, mm -hmm. now he's, like, on, like, this... All these islands around him is just nothing, right? Um, but Crow, I mean, this is definitely not the intended enter, but it looks like he's going to make it work. I'd imagine this is at least one deep. Oh, wow. Oh. The side somewhere? One by one? This is rough. Maybe... Oh, no, it's not a diagonal, right? Oh, there, there is. There go. But is it... And he gets it. Yeah, there it is. So it's two deep. He's nice. going to be in. Oh, my God. It's like an eight by one <laughs> on this the sides. <laughs> a little bit scuffed. And but now, honestly, look, now job. Arachi is over the ravines that Crow passed like almost a minute ago at this point. And that's the fake one. He's going to go down wow. it. And this might just whiff. Maybe he thinks this is the one that uh, Crow went down. Is it real? It is. Oh, my God. This looks really scuffed, though, on the back wall. I'm yep. interested to see how he solves it. I think you put a block and then you just have to like start grabbing the back. Oh, he made Obby on the back. That is so bad. That back left block there, but it looks like there's a lot on the side here and on that side. So not super punished for it, but this is still just really awkward. And Crow's gonna look like uh, in the Bastion before Orochi's gonna get in the nether. I mean, this terrain to the housing looks very straightforward. No blocks needed. I mean, the stack of dirt you get from Atlas is just going to be safe for zero maybe at this point or just building and fort off spawn neither player checking for divine but i mean you're gonna probably get 20 and home portals right there so i don't think it's worth it anyways it's so sad that that strat completely died out we, we had the god run we had the brentilda run and and you yes. think that everyone was like oh my god divine has to whoa glowstone in the way sorry i, I was getting all uh nostalgic but there's <laughs> looks like crow tried to run up the stairs to maybe start the backup blocks or get out of the way and there's glowstone in the staircase so oh, we'll wow. see and arachi's just cranking the spree bridge this is dangerous but i mean i don't know if it's something i would do but if you know you're behind maybe because i mean one shot but he did staircase up so we'll see and both runners just doing the housing route but crow did get the backups First, yeah, I think he went up. I, I was looking at Rachi's screen for a bit, but he's gonna actually be in this housing trade hole slower. But right. with the three extra gold blocks, he's not gonna get any late piglins. So this is interesting. It looks like Arachi caught up time, but I think Crow's Bastion is gonna get him trades quicker because of more pigs and also like double quicker. I, I don't know how else to explain it because he's <laughs> he he has these three gold blocks already, right? So I think I mean. Unless Arachi just leaves on the nine gold blocks, it's just the correct consistency play to get the um, 12, but maybe he thinks he's so behind that he just has to leave on nine. Uh, we'll see, yeah, for but sure. I think Crow's gonna make up a lot of time in this bastion. He has all those extra pigs from those three gold block, uh, the three gold block spot up there that he's re-aggroed. Um, yeah, it looks like Arachi's pearl hanging. He hasn't went for these three gold blocks yet, so. We could see a situation where the runners actually choose to get a different amount of gold blocks. Potentially, one runner has zero, one runner doesn't. Potentially, extra pearls, fire res, we'll see. But, I mean, oh yeah, see, 33 string only for Arachi. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Crow is 48. So, Crow's leaving the Bastion. And Arachi might... He's got three bed, two anchor. Yeah, and he's going to leave. Uh, but he has less explosive. So, he made up time, which is impressive um obviously just did a faster housing route that had less gold blocks that was really mainly oh my god in the wall oh oh my he used another proto clutch crow did too he just took so much damage 
Which again might be a mistake that spirals into um Oh wow. Oh my Gravel God. speed wow. bridge one heart. So <laughs> like I wanna say Arachi's in the lead now, but I still what I think it was three bed two anchor. It might be two bed two anchor. If it's two bed yeah. two anchor, there's no zero. And then if crow zeros, no it's zero. probably just over We'll see. This is also an SSV fort, so strays can get really um, dicey and just give a player like a minute of an advantage. Obviously, if you play the fort well enough, like you'll get strays anyways, uh, but there is just no way to guarantee that both players get the same exact random blazes everywhere. Um, so it looks like both runners are getting decent strays in it. Ooh, Skelly for a crow. Gonna hit him off. No? I think he's, yeah, he has no more food, I think. And Arachi has one cod. Oh my god, oh, he missed my- no. Is it over? Is, that, is he gonna uh, take 40? Does he have a gold pick? Is it, is it Jover? Oh yeah, Oh that's my bad. god. That's a bad one to play. It might. Okay, the, fi the fire res the can't run out while you're up here, otherwise you're dead. And it's probably fine. He didn't make a gold pick, but we've already been mining it for like 15 seconds, so that's wraps. He has enough obby. He could also commit to home portal. You're close enough. But again, he's already mined this for like 20 seconds. So as long as the fire rose doesn't run out and there's no like insane phase clan skeleton just Watson out, like he's going to be fine. It's just an unfortunate raw 40 second time loss. Like can't overlap with anything. He's not even at a wow, spawner. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he gets the obby break broken. But is this going to be like a mental wake-up call? Like, dude, focus up. Like, what does that miss click? Is it nerves? I don't is know. It, is it a wake-up call or is it going to make you, is it going to spiral? That's like, what I feel like, like is maybe you? more likely. Th this, like, I think it would tilt me. Yeah. But. I mean, it's a pretty small mistake, but to be insanely punished. I mean, for, with so, that 40 second mistake, yeah. he's literally still ahead. That's, that's. It impressive. must have just been better strays. Like, I, we can't watch all the strays every year, but with the 40 second, just raw obby mining. He's ahead of Crow, who was in the fort like 10 seconds slower. Yeah. Um, because of, well, he was on the fort like faster and then wanted to speed bridge with gravel, which I think is a task only strat. So I'm not sure what that was about. But um, both eye throws, no breaks. Again, a little bit of RNG in these measuring splits. Uh, Crow did just like spawn on a planes, right? So he's going to make this time up again. There's been like, these runners have been back and forth in the nether the whole way. The Bastion difference, the fourth difference, yep. the Obby, and now even like the different second portal placement, Plains versus Ocean, Crow is literally back in the lead. Or it's like wow. dead even. But again, we have this zero consideration. Like uh, look at Arachi's food. Two Salmon Full Hearts, Crow, one Pearl away from Hunger Resetting, which is honestly perfect if you're zeroing. And he's at Chords. I mean, they're going to the same Chords, right? Yeah, yeah, he's at Chords. Arachi's right above it almost. But like, I think Crow has four bed to anchor. Like he has to go for it. Or you have to at least prep it. You're at two and a half, right? It's like the perfect setup to prep it. You put the bed down, you hunger reset yeah. in the portal. Like it, <laughs> it's so fast here. And he gets the preemptive spike to the left. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, four bed, Ooh, two yeah. anchor. Yeah, has the wood fort too. Hunger reset here. This is fine. It's definitely the safer play. Um, Cause I mean, one skeleton, one zombie in the, in the uh, way to the portal room. Excuse me, it's just over. Um, I think it's going to come down to zero. I mean, unless this nav is like brutal, but the spike looked very real. It's just up to him to find it. That might be it. Go down the stairs. Go down the stairs. Oh my God. He must've seen it wasn't there. I'm going down those stairs. I don't, I don't trust my eyes there. Three bread. That's good food. Let's see. Does Arachi go down the stairs? No, he goes up. Also whiff. This is so interesting. We can like, we can like figure it out. Was it down the stairs? Bro, it... Come on, man. It was down the stairs and you stood there and looked at it for five seconds and then didn't go down the stairs. Is he not zeroing? Not, it's him back on pace together. Wait, he's like, not exactly. zeroing. Oh, no. Wait, why? Maybe just wanting Wait, to- Wait, why? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I was going to say consistency, but it's not even You consistent. have the food. Is there no anchors? No, there are anchors. Bro, is that the, is that the biggest throw? The seed one throw? I mean, it was it zeroable at back, back cage and you're also caged? I don't know. But look at this though. Again, time loss from Arachi has to set up these anchors because he only has two by two anchor. 
So Crow's gonna get these crystals down, and now this is so interesting. We need to see a raw aim battle. Who's gonna shoot the last crystal and start their perch chance first? And what is that perch chance gonna be? I love half bow. It, it, like, I used to hate perch races. I mean, I still kind of do, because it's just like, Crow could just sit, or like one of them could just sit here and not gonna perch for like four minutes, like, right? And it's just boring. But right. I realized half bow is like so skill based. Shooting the crystals as fast as possible and shooting as many. I think Arashi's got a perch. Maybe? No. One and eight. Crow Pro. Perch? Yes! Damn. There it is. Has to choke the four bed, one anchor. He gets there a bit yeah. late. Like, this is going to be a mid bed. No, that's actually pretty good. This is probably it. Hits the anchor. Damn, there it is. Wow. Wow. The lower seed, 450 elo difference, means nothing to Crow as he beats Arachi in the first seed on Arachi's seed pick, by the way, too. On the buried treasure, picked by Arachi. Wow. wow. I mean, if you're either runner here, though, I don't think you're happy with how you played. Right. I mean, like, just looking at just the... Um, Taking like, there's just mistakes there that are, like, 20, 30 seconds. I, I am um, still curious, too. Like, what is the what is the zero cycle again, pick decision the second there, right? Seed type. I don't know. Well, we won't uh, know unless we ask him. We'll know, yeah. But let's see if this works. Okay. Surely onto some splits. So if, uh, Didn't work. Oh, I have to hit the update splits button. Bam. God, I'm so smart. Look at this. Amazing. <laughs> so look, look how like, look how uh, back and forth it was, right? I don't know. It, it, uh, that's basically totally. the best way to explain it, right? Um, Arachi in the overworld with the enter. Just went the wrong way. I mean, they both kind of went the wrong way. But Crow swam over that fake ravine that he thought was fake, but it was real. So Arachi only lost 30 seconds, even though he wasted like a minute plus going the wrong way in the ocean. And then, yeah, bash in time. I mean, the, the terrain was the same, six seconds. Arachi in the fort first because he did the faster bash route and didn't mess up his pearls. Yep. And then, oh my God, this is insane too. Arachi saved six seconds in the fort <laughs> while having to mine Abi for 40 seconds. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then proceeded to lose that time. Maybe some bad terrain nav. I, I, I'd chalk maybe 15, 20 seconds up to some ocean measurement, right? Mm -hmm. Like being on just an island surface, two eyes, and being able to throw them is just so fast. Um, and then maybe just some terrain to the stronghold. And then enter the end again. I mean, this is 30 seconds in the, in the stronghold. Crow did have to hunger reset and then didn't go for zero. And also juked himself out of that staircase leading down to the portal room so just a a full back and forth um match I, i'm just still curious why there's no zero but yeah maybe just turning nerves you know i mean a lot of it, it could be a thing of not confident on that uh, amount of beds going into for the zero in a tournament setting maybe just wanted to go for the half bow something maybe you do more often i, I don't know but it, it's a uh, it's definitely an interesting call unfortunate that we didn't see a zero but we'll have to see moving forward maybe some strategies will change yeah crow did have four beds and two anchors so i'm not sure i mean i if he had four bed one anchor i'd be like i wouldn't go for the five explosive zero unless i was like a minute behind but i'd go for the six explosive zero and i don't really practice it that much maybe he doesn't practice it at all i don't know like four yeah. times icarus world record holder you don't have to zero an icarus because you just do the force perch no idea um, but let's see, yeah. Arachi's ban is in, or pick, I should say. Um, Desert Temple Seed. AA wow. Enjoyers, okay. W. There we go. I mean, like it's you said. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say, I, like I mentioned earlier, um, we saw the shipwreck ban, which was very interesting and maybe a little surprising, but maybe Arachi is just really comfortable with the desert temples um and again all that matters here it's not about absolute pace all that matters is relative pace to the other player so if you think that you can route the desert temple that much faster you're that much more confident in it and maybe having like rotten flesh to play with instead of you know better food um then hey the desert temple might be the way to go i mean i personally think desert temple it's either desert temple or village for me that has like um let me flip it over here talk about it on there. and give us like three minutes to chat um so you guys can see us you know it's a little more personable um 
But I don't know. It's weird because like it didn't work. Start beautiful. I didn't hit start. Guys, figuring it out. Um, <laughs> no, I, I was setting up this uh, the program earlier um, when I woke up, and it wasn't opening, and we got clutched out by a six year old reply to a Stack Overflow thread with zero upvotes. Like it had the main answer at the top that had like five upvotes and there was just this random guy at zero. He's like, I also had this problem. This is what worked for me instead. And it worked and it fixed it. Cause this like the program that was like controlling like the, the pick band stuff and like the people and everything just wasn't working. And if that doesn't work, I just literally can't stream. Like nothing would work. So it was like the most insane clutch. Stack Overflow, so literally great. five so minutes, amazing. literally five minutes before we um, started the at, at nine or whatever. So yeah, what I was gonna say um, <laughs> <laughs> is that I think desert temples and villages. It's definitely very close between those two. Have like the most room, or like the I don't know the right word. Just like it's like the hardest overall to play. I think because shipwreck and buried treasure, like I feel, are s super easy. Like. I, I mean, we saw in that seed that both runners missed the enter, but it's like, find your iron, get your wood, go to the magma ravine. Like, you can't really mess anything else up. Unless it's, like, a lukewarm ocean, and you should to, like, remember to get flint. But it's very linear, especially if there's kelp. Like, I play so many rank seeds where it's, like, you swim to the shipwreck, and then you just see the ravine, like, under you as you're swimming. And it's, like, where are yeah. the decisions, right? It's a raw mechanic overworld. And if you know you're playing against the best of the best players... That's like five seconds right there, maybe five, ten seconds in either direction, unless someone like scuffs a portal or something. But a desert temple seed, it's like you spawn in middle of a desert. Like, okay, where's your lava pool? Where's your flint? Where's your water? Where's your food? Are you gonna get food? Like, it depends on the rotten flesh and the gapples. Like, are you gonna are you gonna wood light instead of getting flint? Is it too far? And then same thing with villages. It's like, are you gonna get beds? How many beds are you gonna get along the way? When are you going to kill the golem? Like, do you get both the blacksmith first? Where's your gravel? Like, how do you route that into your lava pool? Because villages, you have a lot more moving around. I mean, you have a lot, a lot of moving around in a temple, too. Uh, it's just, I think there's a lot of skill expression there. And then, obviously, I didn't mention Ruin Portal, but it's, I mean, you enter at the Ruin Portal. Like, it's very, <laughs> that's <laughs> definitely the, the, the worst seed in terms of, like, overworld uh, time difference. Um, so I would like to think, like, I would, if I was playing this tournament, I'd love to play temples. I'd love to play villages. Don't put me on the BT seed. If you put me in a BT seed with silver in the lobby, I'm losing 10 seconds in every overworld. And I'm like, that's just, that's just how it goes. Like, I don't practice yeah. at all. Okay. But like, desert temple seed, I'll find that lava pool. Like, I'll, I'll find the closer flint, right? Um, so I don't know. It, I, I think it's interesting um, to see. But it looks like our time is up. And we're going to throw it back to the players. For game two, seed two. And a reminder, if Arachi loses this seed, he is out of the entire tournament. We don't have a loser's bracket. Um, so wow. Arachi can play yeah. two seeds, lose both, and be completely out. Um, which is just, I mean, it's brutal, but it's just how it goes, right? We're, we're trying to find the best of the best, and should be winning, you know? Yep. Gotta crush him. Especially hey, three that, seed uh... versus 14 seed two. Like, I don't know. Well, I was gonna say maybe maybe the the qualifier boosted uh, Crow's Elo last weekend. So ego, ego or Elo or both? Elo. No, e sorry, ego. Ego. <laughs> I, this is confusing. It's a, it's a very early guys. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, in the in the top of the screen where you see those little dot bubbly things, that's how you can tell that Crow is up one nothing. Um, and again, like we're 10 seconds into this desert temple seed and we already see routing differences between the players. Crow got a piece of sand, uh, to break fall, to get, um, less fall damage taken. Narachi's going to have to deal with a little bit of mobs here, but it doesn't look like it's too bad. Uh, did I see a village too in this overworld or was I just like, well, I probably didn't because they would be running to it, I'd imagine. Um, but yeah, now it's like the routing, like, are you going to blow up this gravel? This looks like just the right play. Uh, nine iron means stone axe. Um, do you get like one tree or two trees for wood? Like, how do you put your TNT in the most optimal spots? When are you organizing your inventory? I think it's got to be temples that are just the most complicated. Um, for sure. I feel like I villages are, are like slightly more linear, but it's still very um, up in the air. And so, I mean, the runners, like, they all have to do the same amount of stuff, so they should get to the... Um, like lava pool around the same time but 
Someone just crushes that in the decisions. Like, Arachi didn't get stoned from the bottom of his temple. I have no idea why. So he had to mine three down there. Uh, maybe just didn't pick up the cobble from the bottom mm -hmm. or some TNT RNG. But it looks like he's going to kill these pigs. And he's got the FNS already because Crow just didn't do Flint first. Okay, but it's second try Flint. So maybe it was a time loss to TNT down there. Not like <laughs> not like you need to save the TNT for anything. It's not like AA. Um but it looks like Arachi is just cleanly fully ahead. Um, unless he has less wood for some reason. Like he's just running into this uh, lava pool area and Crow's still getting pigs. So this is like 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. And it's on his seed pick. So maybe it was a good call. Yeah. I mean, it's it's what? It's this versus what's the fifth one? They banned Rune Portal, they banned Shipwreck. So village? it would be Village. Yeah, Desert Temple yeah. and Village, two complicated ones. But again, if it's a best of three, Arachi has to win both of them anyways. So, like, does the seed pick really matter, right? Like, I mean, the bands matter, but the seed pick would matter, like, if you crush your opponent. Like, is it more of a mental blow, you know? Yep. Um, if you win while they're, like, not even in the stronghold, not even blinded. I don't know. I mean, we really shouldn't see that much uh, variance from runners here unless someone, like, dies. But it's possible. Like, everyone here is, is very, very skilled. Arachi's getting skeleton. Is he going to... Oh, yeah. Stutters the shot. I thought he had, like, distance to make it, but that's a safe play. Um, and it is a bridge. Fort is also visible. Another, like, SSV Basalt looking for it. Not entirely sure. Is he doing... No, he's just getting the chalice. Okay, I thought he was going to rip out some, like, weird manhunt route. That was going to be really interesting. <laughs> he's got a... Ooh, he's got a straight pick here, and he just kind of built it a bridge, but he's blocking it off. This TNT might get shaky... I don't know, we'll see. He's probably fine. But it's going to aggro this pig. Like, he's got to deck the pig because you just hit it with the TNT. So, I think he knows that. It's just going to start the route. Yeah, and it is double-triple, so both runners should get, like, a very solid amount of pigs. But look, there is a food difference. Couldn't catch that in the overall, but Arachi's got one pork shop and Crow has seven. So, that could matter. There's one gapple on both runners, I'd assume. Uh, 14 flesh, but one pork shop and a gapple, I th it's probably enough for the seed if you play it, like, perfectly, but if you have to pearl, like, 2k blocks for your second portal, or I it has to be, like, 250 in the nether, that could be interesting. Skeleton for crow. Don't shoot a piglin. Ooh. It's always so bad, because then the piglins kill the skeletons, and then they, like, celebrate, and then they just forget <laughs> that they're mad at you. Like, you break a gold block after they kill a skeleton, they do not care. Completely oh, no. like zoned in to the skeleton, but it didn't happen. Um, and they're both doing like the exact same route. Uh, upper side triple here. I don't really know the difference. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I just do the Dowski route because it was what worked two years ago and it still works. And I hate <laughs> practicing. I hate. <laughs> Nerdy gets me. Uh, I, I don't know what's totally. better. Like, you get the pigs either way, right? Uh, maybe the Dowski hole is better for, better for funneling. I don't know. I, I, all I'm thinking about in my head is I remember like uh, the Java Chord bridge flowchart. People in chat will know what I'm talking about. Where it's like, it's like 30 different routes based on like, is there a hoglin on the bridge? Is it single, single, like triple on the left, triple on the right, double, triple, double, single, terrain exposed, adult hoglin, baby hoglin, back terrain exposed? It, it's crazy. You guys know, you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm to see this now. I, I don't know. This. Someone's got to find it. It's, it's so old. It, it's old lore. Uh, <laughs> But I remember there, there was like 20 routes on this thing. And I'm like, dude, I know one of these. Like two? <laughs> like I do the trip on the right. And if there's no trip on the right, I jump over and trade him on the other side. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's me. Hey, listen, I relate to that. <laughs> Both runners now seeing the fortress. Looks like Crow went a little bit out of the way. Wait. Oh, way better terrain. Wow. I don't yeah, know if Arachi whiffed a pearl or had a... Same these are the same it is it is i there. i don't i think arachi didn't see that there was like solid terrain on the side insane time cuts from crow i mean it has to be like 20 seconds 30 seconds behind in the overworld and he's in the fort faster and has six yeah. pork chops so arachi's one gapple and like flesh which wow i'm taking the pork maybe chops i mean maybe if it's like a 1v1 i'm taking the gapple and i'm trying to drop the other guy but if we're just trying to speed run i'm taking the, <laughs> the six pork <laughs> I mean, man. He's in strays from Arachi, Very though, here. Three. So maybe makes a little bit of time back. But yeah, I don't know what happened there in that terrain. He has 20. Obby. So there wasn't, like, a pearl hang going on or anything. It was just, uh, I, I don't know. 
Oh, that's a, Wait, that looked so weird. He jumped off of Brit. It's the same four. It's just a really. I don't know. We can't really see what I'm talking about. He like jumped off of a like this bridge in the back. Do you see it? Like where that skelly is? It's like pointing to the yep. to the floor. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, they're both at the same spawner. <laughs> That's so wacky. Crow's doing blaze bad instead of TNT. That's an L for sure. Because he has to clear the fire, gets less blocks. No, that's an L for sure. Um, so maybe Arachi makes up time in the fort here. Got some better strays. I mean, both these runners are going to have uh, blocks for zero. And I think there's 25 wool in Arachi's inventory. So they're going to go for zero. Like, I mean, I said that last seed and Crow didn't go for zero. So I actually don't know. I hope they go for zero. <laughs> I hope one they of them does. Go for yes. zero. That's maybe it a good is, way to phrase it. They have the explosives and the blocks to attempt a zero cycle. Is how we'll say it. <laughs> yeah. But we will see if it is actually attempted. Surface for Arachi, a little bit of hill terrain, but it doesn't look that bad. Uh, and does he have six? No, he has five. Okay, so Crow is like maybe ahead. It's really a similar pace. You can't really tell here. Like one rod versus not in the overworld. Throws an eye. He's going to do two. Like maybe we'll see some Ninbot shenanigans. Like if someone gets a crazy one eye, but it, it should be very time neutral in these like overworld splits. It's more about the terrain nav to the second portal here um 1100 not bad were there breaks i don't think there were breaks but yeah arachi's just got no food like he's gonna be on flesh and this is probably a couple pearls to the stronghold so i think he might have to hunger reset pig oh oh uh, <laughs> what <laughs> is it is he gonna get the food is this dude gonna be off oh my god get him Oh, get him, get him! What's up, man? Oh, oh, did it go? Oh, did it? <laughs> it I don't went, think he got it. It went back in the portal. Man, what the fuck? Oh, no. What the fuck? <laughs> that guy just really loves nether portals. Dude, that pig, let him know. That's all I'm going to say. Let him know. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what? And Crow's okay. at these cords earlier. I mean, five pork. Arachi can hunger reset. It's not going to be the end of the world, but it will be slower. Um, some digging here, maybe. And Arachi has height. But it's like on cords. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I think... I mean, Arachi's got his Nimbot up. Yeah, Kropor's just building the portal right here. And Arachi's got to dig down. So there's going to be a lead here, but... We saw Crow with the nav last run. Like, not, not yeah. fully with, but like kind of with. So, I mean, we'll see. Um, get this preemptive rock in. No spike. That was, dude, that was not a spike. If that's his spike, this dude's got crazy hardware. That was like a chest spike for me. Yeah, bro, it's a library. And now, and go. now it's the same pace. No spike, no spike. Is that, it's a, it's a cold chunk. Oh, he just finds it. It's just a cold chunk down at bottom left. So Rachi's going to find it wow. also probably. Was it down to the right on the stairs? Okay, so he's a little slow. There we go. Some zero prep. Let's see it happen. For the win, to knock out the three seed. This is gonna this is gonna break some people's pickums, right? Or bracket predictions. I saw a few of them from friends and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, Kropor with the 14 seed didn't have to play the tiebreaker, but had the lowest average time in the playoffs. This is back 91. Wow. Is he gonna pull out? Okay, he is. Wow. Ooh, so okay. it's it's comebackable if Arachi full sends this. But he, I mean, also, you just get a better perch, right? Right. Do you think he full sends it because he's down 1-0? It looks like he might. Let's go. Let's see it. I haven't used the focus team, but it's not a big deal. Oh, oh my, oh my God. Oh, no. Dead? This Has is not flush. good for Rocky. Okay. Oh, okay. No! Was there no, was there no boat? Was there uh, no boat? I Did he just want an MLG? Was the dragon going to hit him? Was he time pressured? I wasn't fully sure. But this is, uh... He just thought he could probably hit the... I mean, maybe you're just like, you go for the MLG, right? Like, was, yeah. you kind of hit it or you don't hit it. But, um... He didn't hit it. And that's, I mean, probably the game. We need to see, like, a force and level throw from Crow here. Seven beds. And he's got anchors in the hop bar, too. And he's got a bow. And he's got two porks still. Yeah, Arachi, like... I mean, he whiffed the pearls. That was back 100, right? Like, that's impossible. It's not actually possible, but like that's impossible, you know? Like 
I respect him Not going easy. for it, but like, and he had the block too. I think he either phased off of it or it was like in his head. Like he had the pearls almost. Right. Um, but man, I don't know. Like, just didn't like like he had a blout, and then because there was no pork and also no hunger reset, like he just ate flesh and an apple. He didn't have healing. So he was on one heart after the pearls. Like, if he had pork or hunger reset healing, he could have maybe pearled off of the zero tower instead of having to boat. And this is uh, this is probably just going to be the game. The match. Yeah, here's the perch for Crow. Game set match. I mean, yeah, there's just no way. Three plus one for the fans? Oh, nice there, bud. Unlucky. Four plus one. And that's it. Wow. Insane upset. Three seed gone. Wow. Just like that. On both of Arachi's seed picks, too. That's crazy. Yeah, crazy stuff there. I, I guess just, GG's. yeah, a bit unlucky. We'll maybe a bit of worms wow. coming into play there as well for so Arachi, but a good know. game uh, overall. Thank you guys for playing. And, and that's it. Well. That's, our first, uh, that's our first match. Shout out to them, though, for uh, having a 2-0 having a because now we're back on schedule, oh, which is great. Because <laughs> we lost a little bit of time. Um, but let's look at the splits here. Nah, um, go, I think go. this match also was like pretty back and forth. Yeah, I mean yeah. both both players having three better splits, and I mean it was very close the whole time. None of these runners ever more than twenty seconds ahead of the other one, but just a complete back and forth. Um, but again, the splits don't give us the full picture. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I mean we don't we don't see everything there there's you know not necessarily what they had with them you know we saw crow get more food going in into that that seed maybe it just helped out at the end i don't know but um but yeah the splits don't tell you everything but definitely exactly. an interesting thing to see the back and forth yeah more food 18 seconds slower for six pork i think i'd take the six pork over the 18 seconds and then the finding stronghold like arachi built that on five rods crow built it on six and then they're both in the stronghold but um I guess Rachi didn't hunger reset, and then Crow entered. They both they both did try to zero, or at least like had it prepped, right? So if it was like a traditionally zeroable end, Crow just wins off of that fifteen second, um, wins off of that fifteen second gap, right? You can't you can't make up fifteen seconds on someone, um, from zero. You know what I mean? You can make up like five seconds if you like five betting right. go higher versus someone seven betting, but you can, you can't make up fifteen um it's just not possible um so it was over and that's maybe why i watch you try to zero because you also see that like old betsy advancement in the chat and you know that the other person didn't zero um and then you got to think yeah. like maybe it's a hard seed maybe they whiffed it who knows but i mean went for the zero miss mlg and not sure if there was a boat there that he could have used to get down if the dragon was pressuring him i would have to look at that the vod back but i mean let's get a, a drake and an 07 for watching the chat our first elimination um, yeah, I mean, he played well. I think, like, both seeds were close, right? Second one, unfortunate choke. First one, again, was close. And, I mean, I don't know. Does he live in, like, uh, Israel? I don't know what the time zone is, right? Like, he's definitely not. It's not as early as him for us. But is, is there some turning nerves there, maybe? Or, like, lack of oh, warm-up? Yeah, sure. Or I don't know, right? We'll, we'll never know. Um, but definitely not the, I think, expected result. I mean, if you look at the seeding and the ELO, right? Like, 450 ELO difference um three seed versus the 14 seed that definitely a big upset but it's content hey it's a good script right um it's a good script oh God, cruise never... for future reference that like our stats and numbers aren't everything you know sometimes yes. it's the uh, individual games that that it, well it is the individual games that will always decide it all right and with that i forgot to start our timer but it doesn't matter because we're ready to look at uh, i wonder if um oh no nope. of his... bye chat I will update the bracket. Um, Crow winning 2-0. All right, so the bracket will be live updated. I'll do that. It's not a big deal. Um, all right, and now we get to look at our second match of the day. Again, we're just playing all eight back-to-back. -back. There's no loser's bracket, so Rachi is our first elimination from the tournament, and Crow is going to be moving on to the round of eight, which will be next weekend. But our first player... In our second match of the day, Priffin. Woo! W. Very nice. Wow. 
some good stats here. What stands out? What like stands it. out here? I mean, neighbor? I'm to me, I like seeing that 833 ranked time. That's always very that's very good. Sub 10, of course, also very good. And one thing that is very different to me about this versus the last game is uh, what is that? 17 matches yes. between these two players. They've been throwing it down. And it's yeah. been even. 17 games. But, I mean, Priffin's played almost 700. So you're bound to just run into people. And I know <laughs> I know they're both in the top 50, right? Mo Moly might have, honestly, more games than Priffin. Like, they, they, are, they are both ranked enjoyers. Uh, so they're going to yeah. be comfortable with these filters. Um, they're going to be comfortable, I mean, playing each other. Uh, who knows if there's beef or not? I have no idea. But I, I like some of these accomplishments <laughs> from Priffin, too. Uh, 609 strong. It's pretty based. Two sub-10s in two days. Again, not a lot of people can say that. Not a lot of people can wow. say they have two sub-10s. And then number one seeded team in relay. Interesting. Gonna have some beef there, maybe. I think I think I have to... I think my relay team has to play them next. Because we were like... Uh, Ooh. We were like seed nine, or maybe we play them like one game after. I think we play them one game after. Like we play, yeah. No, we're, we we have to like play them like not at the end of the bracket. You know what I mean? But Relay does have a yeah. losers. Anyways, there, there's going to be some beef there, but that, that's some organizer beef. That's not some Moly GP. <laughs> I don't know if Moly's playing on Relay. Um, but I know Moly, uh, I guess we're talking about Moly. Let's freaking pull him up, bro. Moly G. G. Woo! Let's go. Oh my god, he's got more games than Priffin. <laughs> <laughs> he's got more games than Priffin. 800 games. Wow. What stands Very out nice. to you here, Nerdy? What do you, what's your favorite accomplishment out of the four? What do you think means the most? My favorite accomplishment? Um, you know, I think I have to give it to 999 no resets. You know, not only doing 999, but having the uh you know i don't know the the will to stop exactly at 999 wow that's yeah amazing. i wonder why he didn't I do a thousand that, I, I feel like a thousand would have been cool right well listen curryway <laughs> my man my goat my curryway my goat that's all i have to say about that true um and i also think it's funny that there's blind world record 2020 up here um nice. a three-year-old uh accomplishment but maybe it means a lot to him. maybe it means <laughs> hey, a lot listen. i'm more impressed with the mind more world record i don't know if you guys have watched that run but um it's impressive it's like a mid high 10 and it's like the craziest part to me is it's not even a overlapped run like if you think of really fast mind run you think of like okay bt monument enter like low two on the fort Trades some pigs in the crimson but no moly just entered the nether in a crimson or like a waste or whatever got some pigs and just sat there while they traded and then went to the fort and it just worked and it was a lo low like mid 10 which is just crazy so monuments are wow. still viable guys that's the point right we can get a sub seven on the monument right someone's gonna reset for it surely we love monument. classic is still viable too right um but yeah i mean moly is up by one game in their series, about 17 games, like, Minecraft's RNG, right? We all know that. that it seems like they're pretty even opponents, but we'll see um, on the ELO and stuff. Ooh, I have to do the seed stuff. I would've forgotten this. Onto the seed selection for match two, woo, woo! If I remember to do this, I was gonna start the freaking game, bro. All right. Dub, Nerdy, what do you think about these seed pick bands? Ooh, so some interesting things immediately. Moly banning buried treasure. I mean, that's got to be the, the standout thing here. Uh, I would say Moly has a funny little play style, and I could see that <laughs> being kind of, uh, you know, not to get in the opponent's head, but maybe just to, like, throw them off a little bit for seed one or seed two. You know, have them maybe get outside their comfort zone a little bit, force them. I don't know. That's an interesting call there from Moly. Um, but, hey, you got to respect it. I think I agree with you. I think if you compare the two players, I feel like Priffin's a very more, like, I wouldn't say, like, correct play style, but it's very more, like, vanilla play style. Like, like, like any percent resetting type play style. And Moly's kind of all over the place, you know? So, like, you see Priffin yeah. Band Village, right? Like, you might think, well, 
I don't want to take that risk, miss the flint, have Moli just do some weird play that works out. Like maybe Moli jumps in a ravine, finds like some, yeah, like who knows, right? Uh, and then Moli, like you said, obviously banning the BT. I know Priffin uses um, like tall macro to find BT, so maybe Moli just knows like, hey, I'm always going to be slower on these overworlds. Like, let's just not do it, you know. And then. I mean, Rune Portal. I feel like it's the I feel yeah. like it's the black sheep of seeds. Like it's just it's so linear. I feel like you can't do anything wrong in the Rune Portal overworld. It's like the only thing it comes down to is like how many logs are you gonna get with like the gold axe and like how many how much food are you gonna get? But there like there is some variation, right? We do get like um, maybe some Rune Portal seeds have just fire charges. Maybe some of them like don't have an iron pick at all. Maybe some like you have to get water to complete some. But most of the time, it's very 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 standard. Um, but I think we should just get right into it. I don't have anything else. It's up to you. Yeah, let's go. But I'm ready to run it. Oh wow! Yeah, there's that. There's that macro right there. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever they are. Chat is the volume for everything good, by the way. I'd like to think so, but I can't hear everything. You know, it's all different. Not as much stream delay here, so that's hype. Um, but yeah, I mean. Both ranked enjoyers. This is this is gonna be good. This is gonna be really good. Room portal. Yeah, you are gonna need water. Is that an abandoned village in the background too? I mean, they're not gonna go for that. It's just funny. Three gold blocks to here. Oh wow. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So no food in the BT. Important to note. No, no golden carrots or, any, or anything. And like you're that. running to these trees that are closer to the village. I do wonder. Like maybe. Man, I I do wonder actually. Do you go to the village? I don't think you do. I think like. You look for, um, like, animals, because you have FNS, and if you can't, then you just enter on no food. No food is, like, yeah. so risky, though, but I don't, I think the time loss, that village is so far away. Oh, slabs from Priffin. Doesn't really matter, though. Yeah, there's some sheep. Maybe you just, maybe you rip the sheep, get a lava bucket, too, is really nice, because it's just, they just don't yeah. run. It's got, oh, cows, too. Yeah, this is great. Offhand the lava, maybe? No, no. Uh, off in the lava maybe yeah. off in, okay that works i always like doing sure the double it. i like doing the double offhand and then hit him with the axe it, it loses a little bit of axe ability but i mean he's got some cows and molly got some cows too yeah so i mean okay very similar overworld gonna get these two are they gonna get the third gold block i wouldn't get the third down here i think it's so out of the way i feel like no one gets it don't, don't think they're going to either and just the same standard completion again i feel like this one was developed in like 2020 or something um a classic and i literally within like one second of each other and in sebastian i don't see the fort though do you see the fort i don't see the fort yeah not not immediately <laughs> maybe it's somewhere in the peripheral but some gold yeah. pick action from moly is Priffin gonna pop out this gold pick action no gonna build with the wood there's the fort to the right so i'm always wow. a little ahead with more blocks I think he handled this train a little better but it's such a minor thing um but in some seeds that could add up right like if both players play well but Ooh. wow we're already seeing a difference here manhunt yeah. versus top down this is really interesting i wonder if Priffin saw the lava and didn't want to commit to it um and he's gonna commit to a mid down here this is very interesting um, i like this from Priffin, i think you like it i think i like it yeah i mean it's a little bit risky but you know gonna get more pigs so i i like it i like it i think i think i think it's weird to do oh my god i got hit i'm scared i'm scared get in the hole bro i'm gonna corner hit he got a he took a hit on hard there as he uh, as he was falling but no i was um i think it was very interesting i wanted to see him go to like the top you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Top, top to get yeah. the chests because I feel like that time loss going to mid down, like going up just to commit to mid down. Maybe he thought there was gonna be better train to the top. I think Molly's plays better, but I don't think Molly got the three gold blocks. Are we gonna see different gold blocks from both runners again? I mean, didn't matter in the first game because Crow just didn't go for zero, or yeah, in our first match, but could matter here. I think Molly's out on nine, but he's got 15 obby, and he's... Is he going to pearl and go up? Looks like Priffin pearled wow. up the back. But Priffin doesn't have all his, pearl, all his trades. Okay. Molly's done. 20? 21. Wow, from trades. So he's out. This is fast. Priffin's got to go all the way down. Throw this pearling, unhang it. 
Oh, get 20. Because he got more gold, I think. Yeah. But Moly is just like... Yeah, Moly is Much farther ahead, and I think it was that manhunt play. I think there was just yeah. too much time loss, and it wasn't... It just ended up that those three gold blocks didn't matter. Uh, and he just still got enough picks from Manhunt. Um, yeah. So there wasn't really a big advantage for Priffin. And the three gold block advantage didn't do much. So he's ahead here by not a ton. Like 15 seconds. Could lose all that time having to find a spawner. But we'll see. Um, Priffin going to do some game renderer magic here? I don't think so. This is a bit sus, here. though. Like a enclosed fort. But it looks like they're kind of both handling it the same way. Um, and with 20, there's no home portal shenanigans. I think they both threw the same pearl there, too. Which is very interesting, but... 64. Oh, we have two stacks of strength from Moly. This is a zero-ball uh, scene. Surely, it's actually zero-ball. And we get to see that zero cycle. Popularized by Dylan and Fulham. Uh, in a ranked playoffs round of 16 match. Surely. Surely. <laughs> That was a, hey, listen, a classic, classic song. Can I say? What can I say? Elevated blaze bed from Priffin. Moly already blaze bedded. I mean, I just don't see how Priffin can make up time in the fort. Like the spawner um, time is standardized, but not where and how many blazes spawn. So if you fully blaze bed, you should get four every time. Um, but you could rock up to a spawner and get one, like on the first spawn, and then your opponent rocks up and gets four. And then obviously there is still stray RNG too. Um, but I think Moly's just gonna be ahead um, entering the blind split. Does he have six, almost five? I'm gonna build it here. Oh! <laughs> Fire is on the floor. Well, I, I mean, he's protecting the nether bricks, right? Fire yeah, fire maybe in his free yeah, time. exactly. That'd be, that'd be crazy if blocks could get potion effects. That'd be a crazy <laughs> I thought you were going to say it'd be crazy if blocks could, like, burn. And then... <laughs> yes. Blocks and potion effects. Oh, oh my god. Pa a preemptive pause. Buffer for the fall, but saved. Is that zero for four there? Does he have six? Griffin's got four rods. Moly has... Four rods. Five rods. It's a little closer than I think, but I'm pretty sure these rates are... Oh, six there. Did Moly lose a rod, or is he, like, one away? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I also think Krippen is Bodai. Um, we all know my thoughts about Bodai, but it's probably going to be faster. So maybe he just makes up five to ten seconds on Moly in, the, in every overworld. Because uh, you just have to throw a one-eye instead of two. But again, if you get Bodai and you get bad offsets and you have to throw a two, then it's just a big time loss there also. Yeah, Moly throws two. He, he shouldn't throw three looking at those offsets. Oh yeah, look at that. Priffin Bodai has to throw two, so it's just raw time loss as opposed to subpixel. Dude, how are you lining that up? Gets the 1255. Moly says 1278. It's Moly's second offset there, the 29%, so he won't hit Ooh. starter, but I mean, he should hit the stronghold. Could be rough though. Burlang has 10. Priffin's gonna go though, right? Priffin has 12. No breaks. Wow, how did he make up time? Better strays? Did Moly did Moly lose a rod somewhere? Maybe I don't know what I don't know what happened. I don't know. I, I I guess I didn't quite catch that. I mean the rates are the same. I think the next Blaze Moly kill should drop a rod because we saw Priffin go five six at the very end. Had eight eyes and then one two. Oh, did Moly have a have a Blaze maybe go off the edge? Would that have been. That's it? what I was thinking. Oh. Like drop a rod. It, it's it's not dependent on like the Blaze. Yeah, like if he killed one and drop, but that one did drop. So we'll see. But. I mean, Priffin got the lead back, and it, we're going to be in the Stronghold sub-8. This could be our first ranked playoffs bracket sub-10. Especially Ooh, because wow. these runners have zero available. Are we going to get a spike? That's sus. Oh, can't tell what's happening anymore. Um, I didn't get a spike. We're I didn't good. get a spike. <laughs> That's unfortunately how Tall Micro works. Um, no spike, though. Is it a bad stronghold? Is it just cold? I like this from Priffin though, the preemptive while you're naving. Oh, just sees it. Okay. So Fair gonna enough. be ahead. And if this is zero ball, it's just game over. Right? Five six beds, one anchor. If it's zero ball, it's just wraps. You can't make up time here, right? Like Oh, oh my god. No. It's no longer zero ball for Priffin unless he whips it out. This is like Oh, but Molly's falling. Oh my god, what is happening? 
Molly's in a cave. Perfect mess up the zero. This is why crazy. is he why is he boat breaking? Oh sticks? Okay. Oh. Nice. Molly's got steak. But this looked like T one hundred. I Molly's gotta send it, right? You know you're behind it. He's gotta send it. We're gonna see that zero cycle. Surely don't like whiff the pearl. Come on. Someone someone come oh, on. No. up. Up. Go. Yes. Come on. You no! I mean, I can't tell what tower that is. I don't have enough pixels. Is it 103? Is it 100? Like, man, I don't know, man. If he's not comfortable, like, I feel like you have to send it, but if you're not comfortable, you're not comfortable. Like, if you're not going to hit it, you shouldn't go for it, right? But if you think you could hit it, then I don't know. People in chat saying it was a 103. Uh, bro, I, I don't even know. I couldn't. I ha I don't even know if I could tell you the heights of all 10 towers. I, I could probably get like eight correct. I, I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Like, like how tall is the cage? No idea. 84 and 87, maybe? How tall is the shortest one? 72, 69? I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. You pearl to it? You built the cords? I don't give a fuck how tall they are. <laughs> perch? No. Molly G, perch. Yes. Oh, wow. wow. Oh. Second end enter. Was it a better half though? Was it a better perch? We'll see. I can't actually see the dragon because of the dragon's yeah. breath. That's how fast <laughs> this perch was. And Perfect gets a perch too. This is seconds. Wow. Molly wins by... Is Perfect going to have the dragon dead by the time Molly wins? No, that'd be I like... That'd be mentally <laughs> depressing. Oh, six so Yeah, but wow. 10 seconds. No sub 10. 10, 11. Man, that hurts. I mean... Wow. I don't know. Like, where... Moly just lost time in the fort. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Um... Other than that, like, it just seemed like a very even seed, but we'll throw it over to the splits. Watch out. Wow. I'm gonna just see. Um, yeah, look, Moly fully ahead up until... Stronghold. Only nine seconds gained in the Bastion. It felt like more, man. I, I felt like he was hmm. out so much faster. Um, but maybe not. I mean, only nine seconds. Uh, and then, again, like we said, the splits are um, like a bit, what's the word, like misleading sometimes because Moly did blind on five rods and Priffin blinded on six. So like, sure, yeah. I mean, the, it kind of encompasses that, but he definitely, like, this Finding Stronghold, Moly had a worse for it. I don't know why. Like, he could have lost maybe a blaze or two, because, like, if you blaze bad, you have to build that sort of ring around. Um, and right. could have lost one blaze. Because, again, he only needed to kill one blaze and then leave for his last rod. Like, because we knew how the drops worked. And Priffin left off of... He, he just left. So, like, if Moly killed one more blaze, like, if he lost a blaze somewhere... Um, it would have been over. Uh, would right. have saved a lot more time. And again, I mean, these stronghold splits are really similar. Priffin kind of like tried to force that preemptive there for a long time uh, and then just found it. And I think Molly just didn't spend as long on preemptive. Uh, messed around a little bit in the ravine, but also like found it. Because once you, once you took that left turn and saw that ravine, the portal room was very visible in that four way. Uh, and then both runners, I mean, Priffin with zero, but who knows? If he hits that first pearl, would he have done what Moly did and, like, not went for it? I don't know how comfortable these runners are on T103. I, like, I don't know, check and back it. me up. I mean, I should know. Like, I talk to Silver all the time, and, and he, that's all he practices. Um, but I genuinely <laughs> have no idea, like, um, if T103, like, top setup is even possible. And doing, like, bottom setup is just, I don't know. And here's our uh, seed pick. What do you yeah. think about the Desert Temple from Perfin? Ooh, that's interesting. Um, it is Desert Temple or Shipwreck. Uh, so again, it's just like the order that they're going to play it in, but what do you think yeah. about that decision? Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, Moly picking or banning BT was, was sort of, I feel like, setting the tone for this match, you know, kind of weird picks uh, to income. And then the, the ban of the village, and then we have Desert Temple next. Uh, that's interesting. I think it makes sense in the sense that if you're, again, if you're comfortable with desert temples, then you should just do it because it has a good chance of being way faster than the other person. Because like you said, there's so much variation. So if you have your desert temples bat, uh, down, I think that's a good way to go because theoretically, you won't lose that much time if you go fast. 
And if you do go fast and the other person goes slow, then you could gain a lot of time on them. So like worst case scenario, if you're practiced in it, worst case scenario, uh, it's not the end of the world. You just lose a little bit of time, maybe at most. But best case scenario, you could be minutes ahead, not minutes, but like a minute full ahead, I would say. Probably yeah, and that's case. just like enough time, especially in zeroable seeds. Like if you're ahead by 10 seconds, it's over. You know, if you're ahead by 10 seconds on yeah, a half exactly. seed, like Priffin was ahead by 30 seconds and he did like mess around, had a boat break. So started that half bow later, but he lost the perch race and was in the end faster. But if that was zeroable, like again, like a very easy seed, like I don't know, a zero that I could hit, right? Like some front cage, some front small boy, some back cage, we'll figure it out. Like something yes. like a Feinberg zeroable <laughs> end. If that was a Feinberg zeroable end, Priffin just wins the seed, you know, like it's just, yeah, it's just, exactly. over. um, but I think that's it. That's all we got to talk about. We'll see if Priffin can send us to a game three. I'm ready when they are. Um, yeah, this Desert Temple pick is so wild. Um, it's like he's leaning into the weirdness that Moly wants. I love wants. that. I love that so much. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, if you guys are curious about the score, I saw a couple people asking in chat. It's these little circly dot things at the top. Uh, so Moly has one circly dot. Priffin has zero. So he's up one zero, and the first person to beat two seeds is just over. And their tournament run comes to an end because there's no losers bracket. A brutal, but I mean brutal, but hey, listen. We try to involve a hundred nice people, viewing. try to find the best of the best. Yeah, I mean, if you're the best of the best, you're gonna win all your games. That's all I'm gonna say. So you gotta make it happen. Um, Do you have a hundred percent win rate in ranked, Femmer? Thirty. No, but like. My point is that's why that's why we don't do a best of one, okay? And that's why the qualifiers had okay, a two okay. strike system, okay? I don't have a hundred percent win rate, but I'd like to wager that if you look at like the amount of times that I've lost twice in a row is probably the lowest out of anybody. I don't think I have the best win rate. I mean, I, you have to look at last season. I, I think I have the best win rate out of people that played a lot. But like, it, this is my best of three, and then again, um, next week the round of uh, the round of eight. So the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and the finals are all best five or best of seven. So, I mean, that's why we don't do best of ones. Because um, there is some RNG. Like, you could argue that Priffin deserved to win that seed by entering faster. I saw them throw an amending book. That hurts my soul. But uh, whatever. Well, um, we're focused up. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, oh, Molly tried to throw a block or a item on a stone pressure plate. That's a bit unlucky, Molly. That's not how those work. You need a wood pressure plate there. Do you know how golden iron pressure plates work you would know that um in what sense like, like if you throw you one can... item on both of them it'll work for both of them right yeah so it's like a thing where like the more items you put on it the stronger the, the stronger signal, it gets and like always be one and like gold is like easier to get a higher signal level than iron i don't remember honestly okay. i think that sounds right okay. i think <laughs> chat I someone back us up right why are we all mega lowing molly made an iron hoe holy shit my fault guys i, I got <laughs> That is crazy. And he's not resetting. He's just going to enter on a stone pick. Is he going to wood light too? Nah, this is crazy. Uh, I don't want to speak too soon, but it looks like we're going to be going to a seed three here. Uh, <laughs> I I mean, if this wood light insta pops, it's freaking manhunt housing. There's your iron. I don't know, man. But this is um, this is a bit sus. I say it's a bit of a sussy, a sussy seed. <laughs> like, Griffin, Griffin is taking a lot of time in the overworld, but Moly has trolled really hard. Um, does he have two spare iron? Maybe. I mean, Griffin's just gonna beat him. Oh my god, catch the wood light. Come on, Moly. G. Yeah, entirely. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I can't even feel like, like I feel bad that it's not catching, but this is just entirely his fault, you know. Like, he should just have not yeah. made an iron hoe. Like, I feel bad that it didn't catch, but it's not really our fault. Uh, let me see if I can... I guess you guys were talking about the uh, thing. Monitor... Okay. Okay, you can still hear the, the game audio. Is it good volume still? We'll see. Really? Um... Yeah, what are you going to say? Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, Priffin getting seven pork chops there, which definitely may come in handy as we move forward. I mean, was seed. he not getting food from pigs? He must have gotten one hoglin. I had some from pigs, right? You know, he had like he had three hoglins. Okay. 
Yeah, you guys can only hear Prif and I know. That's just how it goes. If, if you heard both, it'd be a little bit sus. I turn it, I'll turn it down a little bit for the squad. Um, but yeah, I think every Bastion is guaranteed to have Obsidian. Or not Obsidian. Well, yes, but Iron as well. Like, the filter hmm. checks for three iron combined in all chests. I mean, he's already got 31 nuggets, had two iron nuggets also, but... I mean, dude, this might be faster than Priffin. Like, he's starting this route, you box in on the Kui blocks here, and you craft your pickaxe. And he's faster, no? Like, yeah. Priffin, Priffin's messing around on these top-down chests. Like, maybe Moly didn't get... I mean, he's got nine Avi from the top. Maybe he didn't get all the string. He's got 23 string to Priffin's 34, but he's gonna mine these gold blocks faster. Or, like, very similar time. Which is, like, shocking, considering the absolute men mental breakdown in the world. Make an oh. iron hoe. Wood light. Did he only get one block up there? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and no- Oh my god! 18 chunk no spawner. Best rank seed, by the way. Is it 18 chunks exactly? Wow. Oh, no, no, yeah, no. Was, he on, was he on the wrong pie? I thought it- Okay, 17 chunks. Yeah, I think that's Pretty probably bad. the that's like the max distance almost. Um, but I like that though, right? Runners have to find their own terrain, right? It's definitely a different pace than just like seeing the fort from the bastion, from spawn, from everything, right? Um, so we're gonna see how these runners handle terrain. That could just be a big like uh, comeback potential for Priffin if he's even gonna be behind leaving this bastion. And again. He's got five pork and two mutton, and Moly's got no good food. So if we have to go 17 chunks for this fortress and throw some pearls, Moly's got to, like, wait on the rotten flesh, you know? And it's... Yeah. That could just be the, the time save already. I don't know. What's Moly waiting for here? What's he waiting for? 18 obby? Are we going to get 20? Riven has 17, holding 15 gold. Are both the runners uh, a little bit sus on obby here? <laughs> 18. Did they? There's nothing here, right? Because he would have checked it. No, but Moly gonna, it. Is he going to get the two that he missed? No, he's just leaving. Okay. But Priffin's still trading. I don't know what Moly's doing. Is he leaving? Is he going to hang to Home Portal? This is just so... Like, Home Portal pearling here, in addition to... There's no more Obby at the top, I don't think. I mean, we know that from Priffin, but I don't know if Moly knew that. This Home Portal pearling too, is like... Oh my god. Oh, 20 from Perfin. Wow, just barely. So I think... Oh, nice. I mean... Oh, Molly's on a half heart too. It's so hard to watch two people at once. It um, is, it is. Like, he's gonna get some food here, so he's gonna be able to pearl, which is nice, because he's gonna have to hang up pearl at home portal, so he's gonna have to have, like, hearts to unhang that. And there's also just way more pearls that have to happen, because... You are... Hanging. But Perfin's Perfin's going back. Is Molly checking the manhunt chest for 20? Did he get all three blocks? I mean, Perfin has 20 somehow and Molly doesn't. So I think Molly yeah. missed a block or two. I don't know. But Perfin's ahead by a lot. We'll see. No. Yes, he just, I mean, home portal, right? You, ha you have to commit to home portal at this point. If you're already going back to it. Because Perfin was going back to home portal while he was um going to the fort. So you just have right. to... You have to commit. Oh, Perfin's dying. Oh, my it's goodness. Just how, it's okay. just how pearls happen. He just clipped into the wall, I guess. Yeah, no, this is a very easy pearling for Malia. Not not nearly as bad of a, uh, a time loss as I thought. Oh, the straight up pearling. That is so quirky. Would not have thought about that. Is that going to freaking land? No, he's on three. Okay. But he doesn't. Oh, my God. Oh, down, down. Wow. Almost. Oh. Dude, if that ravine was smaller, he would have died because the pearl cooldown. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, yeah, was, like, yeah, yeah, for he sure. He needed the pearl cooldown to come back. What is happening on Perfin's screen? Why are here skeletons getting lava? Oh, Why does he have no pickaxe, pickaxe anymore? Right. What is happening? Dude, <laughs> and Molly's oh back God. in the fort. He's alive, back in the fort, has a pork shop. Perfin is getting <laughs> bullied on this place. He's, this AC is crazy. I, I mean, I'm telling you guys, Molly's got that quirky play style. We said it. I mean, and he's delivering. This is... And maybe it's rubbing off on Perfin. Like, I don't know what the hell was happening to that yeah, spot. Oh, oh my god, god. One, one, <laughs> one HP with the TNT going off. Holy fuck. They're trying to scare me, man. I think that's the goal of this of their of their play style. They don't even want to win. They just want to scare the commentators. I thought... Like, I have no idea how Molly's still in this seed. 
it, 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 like, it didn't look like Griffin. Why are they both doing quad TNT? No one does this anymore. Dude, what is <laughs> happening? Uh, no one does this. <laughs> you just do two. What is happening, man? <laughs> to give you guys some context, this is at 830 and they're blinding. Last seed, they were in the end. So this uh, this seed was worse. Obviously, Desert Temple versus uh, Rune Portal, but like, dude. Yeah, Perfect gets, oh, is he gonna throw a second one? No, gets one eye on boat. He's just gonna go, I think. Did it break? Did he pick it up? I can't tell. He has six rods. Gonna save time on Molly there because of boat. Also, Molly's out of food. Oh my God, oh my God, Moji. Don't die, man. One heart. You have flesh? No? 17? 18 hobby? Oh, he has to pearl hang. He's doing home portal. Previn! Oh! No! Oh! Oh my oh god. Oh my god. A complete no, turn of events man. here. man. He's going to lose to a guy who made an iron hole in the overworld. <laughs> oh oh no. my god. He just like slipped. And it was a bad slip. Molly slipped too, but Molly covered his... Molly, Molly picked it up. Oh my god. It's not over! Like, Malika pearl, pearling on a hoglin and be dead. Oh my god, I was just gonna say, Molly, you why are I you mean? pearl hanging on you one heart? You just have heart. to. I mean, it's rotten flesh, you just can't sit there, you uh -huh. know? But like, oh my god. I understand, god. but it's scaring me, man. I know. And like, I, we, we gotta see on Priffin's screen too. Like, does he have shit? It, it, did it burn? Like, where do, you, where do you die? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know. Molly's got to throw two firing. eyes. Molly's going to hunger reset in the overall. Like, does he have more fire eyes? I don't know. Privin's got that stronghold cords too. Are they going to the same stronghold? No. So we could see some nav issues too. If Molly's stronghold is worse. It's not over. I don't know how close Privin's stuff is. I don't know if it burned. We'll see. Um, Like he fell and it looked like it was in a bad spot, but I don't know. But I mean, even if it didn't burn, holy shit, vine parkour. I thought on a TikTok. Uh, coming up on a stuff, I think. He fell next to a four, like, forts over here. But, I mean, again, look. Molly's two and a half hearts. Like, any hoglin? Over. Right. Bad pearl? Can't pearl clutch. Over. You know what I mean? Like, he pearls right here. One heart pearl. Hoglin dead. Like, so risky. But, I mean, maybe you have to. But, because it said Priven, Priven got the finding stronghold, like, split thing. You know what I mean? So it like, it told Molly that he found the stronghold like a minute or like was finding it like a minute faster. So I get why Molly's playing fast. I'll come behind him. Get in the hole, get in the hole, box in. I don't know what Perfin's doing. No pickaxe, That's no fair, wood, yeah. netherrack break. I thought a shit fell. Oh my God. No, this is, wow. it, this is wraps. Yeah. He, wait, he can't get up. Perfin, how are you getting another block of heights? No, dude. Oh no. Jump off the fence! Off the fence! One fence! I had a escape had room fence. moment here. Break the break the slab height! Break the slab height off the fence! Yes! Molly's getting in the stronghold. No! Fence! It's in the wall right there! Bro, what the fuck are you doing? Yes! Neo! Yes! He figured it out. Okay. Molly G wow. in the stronghold. Great. Spike? Maybe. That looks sus. Looks like a chest spike. Perfin getting back to his shit though. Can he fall down? Can, is he gonna die to the fall again? Blaze! Oh, oh my god! god. Just... Lava! Uh, no health! One and a half! Half heart to fall? Blaze! One heart! Piglin! Box in! Nah, it's over. I mean, it, we're dead. Wow. Is it a reset world? Like, are you meant to, is it just mentally over? What do you do? I mean, Molly's got a whiff of zero or something. I mean, you don't, you don't forfeit, nah. right? You don't forfeit, but it's got to be a reset yeah, world yeah. at that point. Like, I think it might have been the right play to, like, run back to your shit. And Molly's got to know something's up now, too. You know what I mean? Molly's got to know, like, what is happening, which is crazy that he's still going for zero. I respect it, though. Are we going to see that first zero cycle? Oh, my God. Don't. If Molly not... dies here, though, I'd be very no, If Molly dies, it's anyone's game, which is crazy. But, I mean, I think you just have it, right? You just don't mess up the timing. I don't think he should have nerves either. Should be good. Is that low bed? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my land, god. land. Oh Jesus god. fucking Christ. <laughs> it's
it's fine. It's fine. My bad. It doesn't matter, bro. He can full bow Whoa. and axe the dragon. It could be a spear and showdown end fight, and he'd still be fine. Like, dude. Oh my god. I'm just. This let's, is scary, let's man. Let's test out the focus scene shit. Beautiful. Um. You guys hear Moly? I gotta. I, I didn't set up this fucking audio. Yeah, we can't hear Moly. It's quieter, but I can't do anything about it. All right. Um, Moly for the win. Second upset in a row. Is this the perch? Yes, it is. Is this the four bed? Nice bit rate. One more spin. Oh my god. Does he have all the crystals down? Four bed flip. He's going to hit it so. And that nice. is it. Wow. Does anybody have a, have a bracket standing left at this point? Like... <laughs> two upsets in a row what is happening wow insane and you'd think that like being able to choose seed types and bands like would like you'd think these higher seeded players should win one seed you know yeah and i'd like yeah. to think they're all close like let, we'll throw it over the splits here um i mean obviously Prefer doesn't have these bottom two because he did die but Prefer was ahead by a minute this finding stronghold split was on six rods. He just fell. And that was it. He just fell. Um, right. He was ahead this whole run, like, end of the bastion slower, I guess, but had way more food. Got yep. the extra gold blocks, got 20 IV. Like, I'd say Priffin played the seed much better. And just... One mistake is all it takes. Lose your items in a wrong spot. Like, it's just, it's just uncomeackable, you know? Yeah. Moly and that's a W for Moly G. Let me update the bracket. Another 2 0. Surely we see a game three today, right? Sure. Surely. <laughs> um, man, I don't know. I yeah. wonder if we can get a winner interview. Let me see. We got, we got nothing to do, really, for about 25 minutes till the next game, because uh, it's a fast 2-0. I wonder if I get a winner interview with Moly G. Let me see. Um, let me set this next yeah. round timer to 25 minutes. Like, that's... <laughs> I mean, we got to let him know, right? We gotta let him know, <laughs> but hey, I mean, like that was that was some good games we've had so far. I mean, two upsets. You love to see the underdogs come through. That's all I gotta say. All right, we're gonna say we're gonna talk to Moji if he wants to talk to us. We're gonna talk to Moji. Um, this is on the fly. We didn't uh, we didn't have enough time. But yeah, um, to figure this out earlier. But let me show you guys the bracket. Um, oh, I turned off my ads too. Let's, uh, let's pay for the tournament. Let's pay for the prize pool. Let's run a fucking three minute ad. Um, I turned off the, uh, oh, I made it invisible too. I turned off the, uh, the auto ads for today. Um, so we're gonna run the ad. Suck it up, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm always gonna join us whenever. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll reach Okay. I drag him? It's like so far. Moly freaking G. Hello. Blind bug. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> What's going on? Congrats on the win there, Moly. How did you feel? You, did you, you did you feel confident in that did you feel like you that the other player had died? That Priffin had died? Or did you uh. just go for the zero for fun? Uh, I didn't know he died. Honestly, I okay, thought okay. he might. I don't. I don't know what happened. Like, I, well, now I know he died. <laughs> I was front cage. I should have got it. I don't. I guess. Yeah, no, I don't know why if their bed broke, some timing or something. That overall was yeah. a bit special, a little bit of miscraft. But I mean, you recovered <laughs> yeah, it a mean, little bit. That wasn't a miscraft. It was strategic. <laughs> oh, I mean that's fair. That's fair. I, I'm I'm a big fan. The Iron Host rat. Um, yeah. yeah. But good, good stuff. I mean, that was yeah. You played pretty well. You you came pretty close. We were talking about how that that pearl clutch that you had at the at 
were where the ravine on that second seed yeah oh if the, yeah. If the ravine I was actually... taller you would have died which is crazy oh yeah you needed to, like wait the for the down. pearl yeah that was so yeah, cool yeah. To watch. um i accidentally hot keyed to my pearl instead of my block and i just fell <laughs> straight into the wall and like when you were trying <laughs> yes. to place a block to jump on and then you just like Whoop. yeah <laughs> it happens just plummeted down the ravine yeah I, I made so many misplays that run but uh, I mean, you're the better player at the end of the day. It's just about beating one other person. Uh, talk to us about the yeah. pick ban too. What, what were your thoughts? Why'd you ban Ooh, uh, BT? I banned it because this fucking Prifon guy with his tall ass uh, monitor and he fucking gets the BT in like five seconds. I didn't want to do that shit. I get that <laughs> I'm the, the BT tutorial guy, but like, come on now. I'm not beating Prifon in a BT seed. That's so. what we thought too. Um, I wasn't gonna. I was gonna do that shit. Okay. <laughs> I mean, hey, you didn't have to see the BT seed, and and you you get a ban. So I mean, you used it well. Two O. And you I gotta bring to out play. donut. <laughs> yeah, donut TNT. That shit was I. Right. Dude, you was... both did that. Yeah, you which both is did that. Insane. Yes. It's insane. You... Griffin taught me it. <laughs> it's just like do the two. Like I guess it's time no, neutral. It probably donut, doesn't matter. Donut, donut. It's so corny, man. <laughs> I was so choosing when you both did it. Um, what else? What happened? At, what, what was the room portal suit? I'm trying to think in my head. Oh yeah, you um, you didn't go for zero because it was like two one oh three, right? And it's just like oh, yeah, the timing is crazy. Yeah, Priffin. Yeah. Priffin threw his first pearl and it hit the overhang. So I, we don't know oh. if he would have like committed to it or not, but he entered the end like thirty seconds faster and it. Wasn't that bad though, because he had to like boat break for string. You did win the perch race. You probably have to yeah. better, but he was probably I, probably I don't know, probably had like fifteen to twenty <laughs> seconds. What where was your second portal too, by the way? Because you were at the wrong chords, like the because you had like a seventy offset and a thirty offset, and it was like the thirty one. Did you hit a better uh, spot or something? Oh, I went to the one in between. It was it was. Like oh okay, yeah yeah. Ninja Brain okay. Bot said uh, in between it's ninety nine point nine percent. That so. makes sense. That was fine. The worst thing in the first one was when I got knocked down the ravine and then six mobs started shooting me and I had to pearl back up to the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, we saw that. Oh at that God, point, that I thought it was over. But yeah, because if you I think, like, up. if you know you have zero materials, right? And then, like, if the end's zero ball and you enter, like, 20 seconds yeah. later, you just lose, you know? Whereas if it's, like, half bow, you can half bow better and obviously just roll the perch, like, chance faster, but... I get how that could be a tilter, but it wasn't zerable. You got the perch, and I mean, you played well enough in both seeds to be Priffin, who, I mean, and I think, I mean, does this still work? Uh, where is it? Player 2 Spotlight? Yeah, we looked, and you were actually 9-8 and eight versus Priffin in Season 1, so now yeah. you're 11-8, you're and eight, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, me and Priffin did two matches earlier. We were just like both doing ranked, and he won the first, and I won the second. So, oh, like I was a not bit scared. like not practicing for uh, no, like, no. We it, just you just were queuing. You were just queuing to roll each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I feel like you guys are both some of the most, the highest games played uh, that we'll see today. But I don't know. We'll we'll have to wait and find out. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you both had like eight hundred in season one, and then in the last match, yeah. Arachi had like three hundred, <laughs> and Croper had fifty. <laughs> like yeah, you, you probably played fifty, 50 in like a day before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, Briffin too, which is funny. Um, yeah. But hey, man, you made it through the round of one or round of sixteen. Took out Briffin. Second upset of the day. I, I said round of sixteen, man. It, there's lots of yeah, yeah, yeah. lots to keep track of. <laughs> Do I win? Um, well, yeah. you won the first game but you didn't you won the, whole you, you won the entire tournament let's see who, I, who do you you're either play. gonna be you're either gonna be going against oxidiate or yeah. Rannick. do you have a you know any uh any things you want to let them know before they uh <laughs> they go against you um well Rannick, i've always said like since i've started playing them in um ranked they're i'd say they're an underdog like but they're very good like Mm -hmm. I've versed them a few times, and they're always very like on pace or faster than me. So I'll be a bit scared of them. Um, I mean, today we've seen wow. both of the qualifier players beat the people who yeah. qualified because they were in top eight. And like, are we getting a better set of eight players because they had to go through a gauntlet of like a like a top like seventy people down to eight? Like, is that better? Um, like mm. you said, like, is it bringing out some of these underdogs? Like, I know Crow Pro. It doesn't really play ranked at all. Rannick hasn't really played much. Automat, I think. I'm pretty sure Automat, we'll, we'll see later when he plays. I think Automat literally, 
has played 20 ranked games in season one and he won wow. 19 and he lost one and that was good enough to get the to top crazy. 100 and then he qualified by two seconds on the tiebreaker seed so like is is he an underdog too who knows like a 95 percent win rate it is only 20 games but we'll see if there are more upsets today or if these uh one seed two seed four seed players can um pull it home but congrats on playing well you played well enough i mean like you said it wasn't perfect and watching it i i'd like to say it wasn't perfect either but you did beat perfect you were the better player yeah. and we'll see you back next week for the round of eight have a good one see you later mate yep. all right um <laughs> Mary, what are you rhyming in the chat huh? Who, who's next uh, who's next let me see i gotta see of that. Ooh, we have a we guess we have a banger next oh dude i wish i could make um Chat, there's like a program, right? Maybe I'll figure it out for next week. Like where you can make a Windows window like always on top, right? There's a program for it, I think. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Nerdy yeah. dies because I tab into my Chrome and he needs to be like on top as a window, you know? That's why. Um, That's, nah, it's, it's just that I turn my camera off every so once in a while. It's be funny. All right. Mime, you're a tech genius. Maybe you'll help me. Uh, I'm going to get some water. Nerdy, you can bounce if, if you want to get a snack or water a little bit. Um, I see two yeah, people in the stage. Everybody. I don't know if they're like... Yeah, I don't know if they're ready. It, it just says two... This is so stupid in Discord. It just says two in audience. I don't know who the second person is. Ralph said he can play early, but Dougal didn't say anything. I have no idea who the second person is. But maybe we'll start early. Who knows? Exciting game next. Exciting game next. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get some water. I'll be back. Um, we'll see. This is hype. Yeah. Okay. I'll 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 I'll, I'll babysit chat or whatever. I don't know. That's the wrong word. Yeah. I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. Today was a brutal wake up. I'm gonna be honest. I six thirty is is not is not ideal. Um, it's not ideal. It's not ideal, man. Six thirty a.m. is not my favorite. Can you run the roller coaster, dude? I have to wait. I have to move for that. Maybe, maybe later. Maybe later at the end. Yeah, but I got like four hours of sleep, so. But it's okay. I'm fine. I'm sh I'm. I'm good. I'm good, you guys. I'm good. Dude, I'm excited for this next game, though. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a great one. Doug versus Raul. What? That that's definitely like that's gotta be like one of the most hype matches, right? I mean, surely. How heavy is the Eiffel Tower? Um, I think it's like the entire box and stuff was like 30 pounds. So probably like 15 pounds or something. I don't know. Maybe 20. I don't know. I, yeah, maybe 20. 20 might be accurate. I don't know. It's 10,000 pieces. So a few. It's a few pounds. Okay, at 5.30, couldn't go back to sleep. That's relatable. I mean, okay, yeah, guys, the real Eiffel Tower weighs more. Congrats. Congrats! Congrats for what? Just, what are we talking about? They're, they're trying to say that, you know, that the real Eiffel Tower weighs more than this one. Think so? I, maybe by a few, a few pounds, one or two. <laughs> Did you invent the shrink ray? Yeah, I'm literally grew. I'm literally grew. Yes, I stole. I I used my shrink ray. I got it. It was it was it was it was a big mission, but it worked out well. All right, I'm gonna live troubleshoot a auto hotkey thing. I'm sent me. I'm sent me a Bitcoin miner disguised as a um on top thing. So we'll see. And then I think both of our players are ready to go early, so we will see, but maybe we will run it up, be a little bit ahead of schedule. Okay. Oh my god, I'll it worked. Back. Nerdy, you're never going to be invisible again. It worked. Oh, nice! I like, I, <laughs> I, 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 Shout out I to Talking like, Mind like, for the tech support. I kind of liked the, uh, I kind of liked the, the gray square. Can I have that again? I, I you want like the gray square for a bit? There yeah. you go. Oh, well, now it froze you. It's different. No, this is good. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, now you're back. <laughs> I don't know how to get the yeah, gray square. You, you should give me the gray square while I'm gone. Do you want me to I'll gray right square back. your background? Okay. Yes, yes. I can... Well, now it's black square. Guys, we lost the green square. 
No, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna go. Um. Oliver said waiting on Dougal. Um, but it's not gonna be twelve minutes. It's probably gonna be five or something. Um. Please fix the face cam on runs screen thingy. What what happens to face cam on runs? Let me know. What is the problem? Is it um? What's the holy shit? I see myself. What's the almost oh, resetting? It's twenty pixels too wide. Oh shit! Am I fault? Good enough, right? Yeah, it looks perfect, right? Is it better? Perfect. I could have done that in studio mode, but I didn't know what was wrong really. Um. Yes, Curry, I will not swear often, but if it's a very intense moment, I'm going to say what I'm going to say, okay? Um, when Moly G um, fell in the ravine, when Priffin felt like... There's no filter here, okay? But in the regular talk, what, what should I say for your cousin? What, what, what are they into? Can I, like... Uh, are they, like, a Roblox gamer? Are there... Are there uh, are there Roblox references I can get? Should I make some Fortnite references? You were in a pool? Bro, watch out. <laughs> they like baseball and Roblox. <laughs> I couldn't I don't know a single Roblox reference. The only the only experience I have with uh with Roblox is I um in like high school. Uh a lot of like my high school like close friends were all gamers. But like the general high school population was like obviously not gamers, but they got they all got into Roblox at one point. I have no idea why. And they played um, Phantom Forces in Roblox. So I played I played Phantom Forces for like a month on Roblox. That's my only Roblox experience. Um, is Phantom Forces for like a month, and it's just like it's just so weird. Like uh, Roblox is so weird to me. They destroy them, dude. I don't remember. It was like five years ago. <laughs> I think I was much worse at um, video games back then as I was now, right? Like, I sh you should just get better over time. I think I got better at shooter games. But again, I've never played Roblox, so I don't really know. Like, the Roblox shooter games are obviously different. <laughs> a weird conversation topic. <laughs> oh, speaking of baseball, too. Did you guys see... Um, Dude, I'm gonna run another ad, bro. Fuck it. Oh shit, Nerdy's thing is in the way. Move it down. Run another fucking ad. I don't even care. We're just waiting. Um, yeah, yeah. He has a 25 and one. I saw some tweet that said the Rockies lost by more points than the Nuggets have lost at home in like five years or something. <laughs> Which is so funny, man. Like I follow, um, I follow a couple of sports guys on Twitter and YouTube and stuff that are um, said points. Well, I, points is good, like for both of them. I know it's called runs, bro. Where there'll be another tourney. Yeah, we'll probably do this for season two. I have to talk to Oliver and Redline though. Okay, I, I think this current season two is only uh, two months long. I can't, I can't shell out two point five k every two months. Okay. Maybe if I start averaging, like, 1,500 viewers, but we gotta fucking make those seasons longer or something. <laughs> or, or the price was gonna be lower or something. You get a sponsor? Yeah, maybe for the second season we get a sponsor or something. I'll figure it out. Or we just do some Raid Shadow Legends uh, stuff. I don't know. Welcome back. I think they're ready. I'm yes, back. both ready. Beautiful. Um, let us introduce... Our runners, let me input the pick bands here and throw it over to. Oh my god, I clicked refresh on any of the bands again. Whatever. Um, let's see, nerdy player one for our third match of the day. Wow, wow. it looks like VVL with the font. The W looks like two V's. Nerdy, what stands <laughs> out to you right now? I mean. 
there's a lot of things, obviously. It's Raul. You got, of course, very nice 819 RCPB. I think the obvious thing is it most games out of any player, I want to say, or at least up there. That we've uh, seen. A thousand is a lot. It's it's probably like top 10 or top 15. Um, that, and, it's that. I thought, uh, for some reason, I thought that would be number, since he's so high on the leaderboard, I just assumed that would be number one. But that's a lot, though. That's like more than the, the both players in the last one combined, right? Oh my God. Crazy. Yeah, when lost versus opponent, it's it's shocking too that he's played a thousand matches and only twelve against Dougal. But I mean, maybe Dougal doesn't have a ton of matches. But also interesting that the ranked PB is worse than the any percent PB, which is basically hmm. not the yeah. case for like a lot of people. But I think it's the case for Dougal also. Um, they both have just. I mean, Raul in fourth place. I know Dougal has a seven fifty one. We'll see it there. But MSL winner. Um, that's very impressive. That was like a whole league too so winning that whole thing is very impressive tier two winner two also impressive no one's won that tournament twice so three finals and one win is definitely one of the best resumes there out of those that tournament series and then all portal is pretty cool i mean not a super popular category but very near and dear to my heart as i was the first all portals completed run i stole the idea from zonox on a call um and so I, I'm very emotionally invested in all portals. So I like that. Uh, and let's yeah, throw it over to our like second player, Dougal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God, he has 300 games. I thought it was going to be a lot less. Kind of shocking yeah. that he only played 12 times. But again, I mean, maybe just time zone stuff. Yeah, it's, right? it's NAEU also. Who knows? What stands out to you, Nerdy? You like the, you like the accomplishments that Dougal, uh, Dougal put let's on here? Let's see here. Former RSG world record holder. I mean, that's not that impressive, so I wouldn't have personally put that on there. I would put in more important things, but uh, yeah, but I, I, I wouldn't uh, put. I don't put it on mine. If I had to do an accomplishments thing, I wouldn't think it's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't. You wouldn't, huh? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. But anyways, most sub tens. I, I. That's fourteen is quite impressive there. Um. Looking at the stats here, number wise, uh, pretty similar. Honestly, uh. For some reason, yeah, I'm, I'm, so I guess like one thing that is a little surprising to me for some reason, uh, is that we see, and maybe it's just a sample size thing, but we see higher win, win rate for Raul in general, but Dugile has the higher win rate for, uh, games against Raul. Yeah. So maybe showcasing maybe a little bit of a difference there, um, in, in those, in those numbers, uh, in their significance, but, I think I would put. It's really hard to say who I, who I'd lead, who I, who I have the edge here, but both very talented players. Um, and again, in the like last time, a higher or a, yeah, higher ranked time than RSG time, which is funny. Yeah. Once again, but again, you're looking at the second fastest run and the fourth fastest run. Right. You know, so it's like really. Yeah. Uh, the, guys, yeah. the reason why Dougal doesn't have second place on the accomplishments is we asked him for the accomplishments before he got the second place time. Uh, and oh. I'd also like to point out two of the other amazing accomplishments. We have Island Leave World Record Holder, um, which he took from me, which is very sad. Um, so I have some personal beef there. Now, some people might say that my Island Leave was a bit fraudulent, as it wasn't really an island, but... I'd like to tell oh. them that I was wood lighting in a ravine at 52 seconds. So the haters can hate. What's that? I'm trying to think. It's like that vine where it's like the dude has like the spoons over his eyes and he's like blocking out the haters. You know what I mean? If I, someone's got to know what I mean. There's so many people someone's, in the chat. I, I am not one of those people, <laughs> but someone probably knows who you mean. What do you mean? Um, Everyone's putting on megalos. I'm looking this shit up now, guys. Stop. Stop. <laughs> it's so corny blocking out the haters yes i mean guys we're gonna have to show this okay this is a okay live, that's fair that's fair we can do that live display cap You're very important for uh for a tournament <laughs> <laughs> wait you guys can't get the audio fuck um shit <laughs> how do i do this man Add audio <laughs> output capture. No, this is really fucking important. Um, is this it? 
Refresh? No, it's not working. <laughs> I oh can't hear it all. I know, I know. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> all right. It doesn't matter. Guys, look it up, okay? Guys, it doesn't matter. Look it up. <laughs> I can't blocking figure it out. out. The haters. He, he, he says what I said, okay? He says blocking out the haters, okay? I already closed the tab, man. I got <laughs> sad that the audio wasn't working. It's my guys, I'm sorry, it's my fault. Um anyways, the other accomplishment that we forgot to touch on, 3.75 and 7.25 on MC Play HD. I think that's for the short and the long course for God or uh, telebridging or whatever. I think those are both world records. Um, or very good. I mean I don't know. It's pretty impressive. Um, I definitely couldn't do that. I could probably get like a, a like a higher three, like a three nine or a low four. Nerdy, you could probably get like a like a mid seven on the long course. I have no idea. I don't even know. <laughs> I, I don't even know what it is. But I, I, yeah, man. You don't know anything about God bridging or like those bridging I, servers at all. I've like tried them like once in my life. But <laughs> hey, listen, gotta respect it. Back Ooh, to the tournament, let's focus. I know, Nerdy, what do you think about these bans? Dougal is the lower seated player, so he does get a ban first. Rao gets to ban and pick. What do you think? This is a little surprising to me. I'm going to be honest. Let me explain why. So we start off with Dougal banning Desert Temple. That makes sense, I think, because Dougal is a very mechanical player, and so he's going to like mechanical seeds, I would imagine, which temples, it's not that they're not mechanical, but they're, there's a lot more like sort of uh, decision making and like there's a lot more room for change and stuff so may logically it makes sense that Dougal would ban that um but then Rao banning uh buried treasure maybe a little surprising but maybe not entirely surprising in the sense that it's you know again it, it if if he's worried about Dougal's mechanics which are very very um impressive then then maybe that makes sense you know trying to make it a little bit weirder a little bit uh a little bit less linear um by banning that but then what surprises me is i that's what i feel is happening but then picking ruin portal like you've said many many times that's like a very linear that's like the most linear so a bit interesting maybe trying to play on like low food game uh, a low food kind of deal here against Dougal, um in hopes that maybe Dougal will play too aggressively or something like that that's probably what i'd say the most but very interesting for you either way. Yeah, it could be the buried treasure ban because maybe Ral's just not confident in the map list on his like setup or his numbers or something. I mean, Google does have the island leave world record. Maybe maybe these runners are doing um, scouting go. like like advanced, and I think that could be really interesting too. Um, going into like the the next week's matches, people doing pick bans based off of um, mm. the results of the la like these matches. Um, but yeah, I think Ruin Portal is like, it's still mechanical, but it's less, um, like there's just no mapless element, right? There's less uh, like TNT crafting. It's it's like different mechanical, right? Maybe Round Mills yeah. feels more comfortable with that. Um, and I know a couple of people in chat are confused. Uh, it is a best of three and there are five seed types in the ranked filter. So we are letting each runner ban one seed and then picking from the three that are left. So that's how it works. So we have temple and bt band room portals being played and then the following two seeds are going to be shipwreck and village and the order depends on how the players decide to pick it out so gives some sort of choice a little bit of advantage to the player on the higher seed but again if you're the higher seed it means you uh qualified through having a higher elo so you should just be the better player but that's not what we've seen in these first two matches both upsets can Dougal pull it off, or will Ral take the first win for the auto qualifier gang? Um, and I'm ready to send it. I think I think we're ready, nerdy. Um, yeah. This might this yeah very close elo wise as well as another All thing. Right. I think Dougal Maybe was twenty elo or so eight. away from yeah, qualifying. Yeah, Dougal was in ninth. Um, and missed out. Yeah, literally by one placement and then had to fight through the qualifiers and almost didn't make it had to win yeah. the tiebreaker seed at the very end which is why he's the 15th seed um yeah so literally one or two rank games away from being in the top eight auto call but here's our room portal seed let's see what they're working with here gold axe love that iron pick 
Again, no food, but that's kind of expected. Silk Touch, they both see it. I couldn't tell on Raw's screen because it's in <laughs> Ukrainian, but they're both gonna get blocks here. This is good from both players. Um, and we're gonna see, are there, yes, cows? No lava bucket. So gonna be a little sus on making sure these cows don't run out of water. Um, both get the gold block. Surely they both get cow food, right? Shovel, helmet from Duke, pre-craft. Maybe wrong. It is consistency. You do save some damage. And it is a low food seed on um, Rune Portal. So I don't know. Yeah, but you already have boots there. I don't know. I don't know if I like that personally. Oh, they are already wearing boots. I, I missed yeah. that too. So, I mean, that's probably why Google missed it. <laughs> so it is just a waste <laughs> of five gold. Could matter. Could be an important trade in, the, in that five gold. Maybe the, what, like one armor bar is going to just completely save the day. <laughs> It's on half a heart. Um, we'll see the. I mean, the boots do have to get exchanged, ideally for soul speed boots. Um, and look, Rao going on low terrain. Dougal staying high. Already a difference here. And Dougal just sees it. Wow, sees the treasure. Does Rao know where the Bastion is? Oh. Is this already an insane? Is it going to open to the right? Hopefully it opens to the right here for a while, I don't see this... it opening, and now oh, your E-Ray no, gets yeah. really awkward, but you have gold picks. You have three gold picks because you didn't make a helmet. But yeah, Dougal, um... Ooh. Okay, there we go. Interesting. I think Dougal was trying to find the right way to go because dropping in the middle here is really bad. Um... Yeah, they're both trying to figure out where to go. Google found it. Oh wow! Look at this though. Now Rao found it. seems to be ahead. No, it's it, it's basically oh, it's, tied. It's not like, Ooh, yeah, yeah it's basically uh, ju jump over yeah. on this gold block. This is crazy. Dealing with this lava here, like Ooh, these pigs yeah. on the side are gone. Like these pigs on the right, you just have to make sure you don't die to this lava, get shot through the lava. It looks like both runners kind of handled it really well there. Um, and Rao didn't this lose as much time nightmare. as I thought for the terrain because like Dougal did see the bastion. But it was like a really awkward enter, you know? You're just on the roof of treasure, have no yeah. idea like which direction to go. He had to sort of figure it out um, as he was playing. But this is very similar pace. Did they see the fort? Is this gonna be a blind fort guess? Are they gonna break the spawner? I don't think they saw the fort. So I this did, is gonna I be didn't interesting. See the fort. I didn't see it. Um, and if we both didn't see it, they didn't see it. Because you exactly. caught Dougal's mistake on the helmet, right? We, we would have seen it, right? <laughs> Two of the best micro spinners to ever exist, right? In, in the call. Um, one on, former like RSG level. world record holder and Feinberg. So, we'll yes. see. <laughs> Say former? Oh my god, this guy. This guy. I guess you still have it. Sorry, I'm AA pilled. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> okay. But, anyways. We have 30 obsidian for Dugal. That's crazy. Oh, so you can misplace on this seed and it's fine. You can build with the obby too. I do wonder, man, like, what are they going to do for this fort? Because you should just go negative Z if you want to send it. But do you want to send it? Do you want to go to lower treasure? Yeah. Because it's not like you're going to get anything not, useful out lose. of lower treasure, but... Is Ral out earlier? They both have 15 pearls. Google's trying to get a backup block for more pearls. I don't think it's working. Because pearls look to be the issue. They definitely are good on string. Well, now they're good on string. Sure, wow. Two string trades in a row. And Ral's just leaving. Google's going to force these backups. So, Google will probably have pearls for zero. Um... I mean, assuming he gets pearls here, he could just not, right? And it could just be a complete waste of time. Ralph throws one of his pearls. Does he Sending see the it. forward or is he... No. Wow, so no spawner break. Best ranked terrain, by the way, that we've seen, right? If you play a lot of ranked, you know some seeds are just kind of like this, right? Like, right. this filter is supposed to check for terrain to the Bastion, terrain from the Bastion to the fort, uh, and it just isn't working out. Does Dougal see it there? Oh my God, it's backwards wow. out the back. I mean, I think it's just a great play from Dougal. You, Cause like I was just saying about the filter, you know, there's supposed to be a check for terrain to the fort and, from the bastion, right? So you must think like, it's gonna be in one of the two close regions. There's gonna be yeah. some terrain 
And Ra just, I mean, he, he, he sees it there. He too. sees it. He sees it there, but it's so far. He knows that Dougal just fell out the back and, and saw it. And I think it's just a great heads up play from Dougal knowing really how to abuse the filter. Um, is it just some sort of mental RNG where you go? I don't know. Maybe. But, and look yeah, at Ra I mean, at 11 pearls now too. I, gonna... I also like that play. I also like that play from Duke because even if he didn't see it, he was he placed himself in a position that would have been really easy to break the spawner. He placed it right at that lower section. Being of down there, yeah, that makes sense. That's yeah. true. So I feel like that was just it was multifaceted in how good it was as a play, in my opinion. Whether it was all intentional, hard to say, but good nonetheless. It worked out. I mean, perfectly. And Ral has eleven pearls. It has to be a one eye. Or he has to get um, pearls and stronghold chest because it looked maybe for a second he was thinking about mining some gold and lower treasure and trading it out, but I think he knows he's already like so far behind, like a minute maybe on the forward. Yeah. Like Duga's already blind. Does he have six rods? No. But that Ral doesn't know that, you know. Ral just knows he sent the message, so maybe Ral thinks he has six, right? Like he's still behind. Is the point? He's behind on materials. He's behind on pace. He might be behind on the mental, you know, just like it's a tilter, right? Like a treasure seed, you just choose the wrong way. Like nothing on the surface was wrong with Ral's play. I definitely think Dougal made a better decision uh, and it paid off, you know, like the more consistent full check. Yeah. And we'll see. I find it. Uh, am I crazy? Why, why did Dougal not get that eye? I feel like that was a bit of a misplay there. It might have broke. I, I was watching Ralph's screen. I'm gonna. Oh, I, yeah, I guess I couldn't hear, so I maybe maybe it did. Yeah, break. we I only think, also have audio break. on the on the um, left screen, anyways. So not your fault. If that if it is a break though, that is really bad for Ralph because. True. True. Then he's gonna need a. T he's gonna yeah, need. Go. Oh see. yeah, there's a break right oh, there. Oh yeah. Okay, it was a break. Okay, I just missed saw it then. Yeah. So Ralph now needs. A two eye. eye, or I mean, he could get enough powder and get pearls and chests, right? In the stronghold, there are four chests. You can get on it's average, a I think, percent like, for each one. Yeah, on average, you'll get like yeah. one pearl. But that doesn't mean he still needs a one yeah, eye. It's not great. And though. it looks like Dougal's gone. One K. Dougal is just able to pearl to these cords also, and Ral can't pearl to these cords. So there's even more time loss coming in. Yeah, this is this is crazy. Um, I think Dougal, I mean, barring a huge mistake, he's, he's so ahead here, you know? Ral had that Ral drop. Had, he, it, Ral yeah, dropped, just... he, he has to just leave, you know? And, yeah, it looks like it's the same stronghold. Maybe got a little mixed up on the cords there, but Dougal is in a good spot here. It is terrain, but again, Ral, I mean, you're not throwing another pearl, right? Yeah, he crafted all of them. Um, oh, wow, just, yeah, this just is can't. not good for Ral. And we'll see preemptive here from Duke. That's a nice spike. Looks like good numbers. I mean, everyone's got different hardware, but uh, big orange high slice equals good. And oh, okay, oh, there's, there's the a pearl. pearl so it one eye for Rao, but like he it needs to be a one eye because he doesn't have two more powder. He only has one more powder, so it does Ooh, actually yeah. need to be a one eye. If it's a zero eye, the game's already over. I mean, unless Duke dies here, straight Enderman there. Maybe Rao needs those. <laughs> Um, but this preemptive point of Dougal right, and he can't go right. Ral mm. is catching up some time. I mean, Dougal is also navving the whole stronghold, right? Uh, so he knows he is getting info, even though he's not getting the portal right. room. And he's getting, he's getting his ass kicked. Creeper! Oh my god. He's Bit fine. scuffed here for Duke, but maybe it's working out. Oh my goodness. Ral's Very getting scary, to these dude. cords, though. Are they different cords? I think they're the same. Oh, like over. Oh, yeah. Maybe they no, are. No, look, though. I think Ral mismeasured. Ral's at 62.38. Duel's at 34.206. Ral missed. Oh, no. He's going to have to throw more eyes. Wow. This is a. No, he. It... I don't know what. I don't know what happened. I can't see the errors. Is it a negative 0 0.035 on the first one, maybe? I mean, he missed. He's going to have to throw another eye. Will it break? Dougal still has no idea where the stronghold is, right? This is like, this is a mental tilter for both runners at this point, right? Like, or where the portal room is, sorry. Um, yeah. But Ral, I think, has 300 blocks to go. Still needs a one eye. Might need a two eye. 
Oh my god, that's why. Duel didn't hit starter. And he just oh. now realized. Oh, that wow. was I starter. Didn't that either, yeah. So now, I mean, maybe now it's easy. Maybe now it's top left and it's just free. Uh, and it's good that he noticed, right? But at some point you have to think, like, if it's pointing you that way, like, preemptive will work, right? And he does hear the portal room. Gonna dig to it. Is it gonna be a one eye? Does Ral have any chance at all? We'll see. I mean, is he gonna actually find this? There it is. It's there like it a is. three eye. Okay, so he's fine. Um, but Duel is just gonna zero probably and put this away. Um, could use Pearls here to Hunger Reset, but doesn't need to. I do like this Hunger Reset. Looks scary because there's lava, but you're always fine. Um, yeah, if this is zero ball, he just puts it away. I mean, obviously, there is still zero choke ability. Um, yeah. We saw Arachi just die. Or was it Priffin? One of the two dying on a zero. I think it was Arachi. Um, if you're Dougal, though, do you even go for it? Again, you don't know that Ral is in just a terrible spot, right? Oh, it's back 1-8. Google hit that in the 751, but it doesn't look like he's going for it. Which, you know, I have to respect, right? I'm not sure about the explosive count, but height on 1 and 8 is really weird. Um, especially having no food. Like, I, I definitely respect the play not going, right? And he doesn't know that Ral is in the overworld fighting demons to get to the stronghold. He does have the right cords now, but... I mean, Dougal would need to just whiff the, whiff the one cycle terribly. I think, like... It's just, it's almost guaranteed off of the three minute force perch at this point for Duel to win. Like, I, I don't even yeah. know if Ral can get into the portal room and the end and a you know, 1 and 13 fast enough. I, I genuinely don't think he can. Um, but we'll see. Maybe it's an instant av. Uh, if he's going to be at starter, right? Like, he might not mess around in the stronghold as yeah. much. Um, and then you kind of just, you do have to play for 1 and 13. He can't zero, he has one pearl. Google did find a pearl in a chest, but he also wasn't at starter, so I have no idea. It's just, it's so wild how different that is. I have no idea why Dougal missed. It, it just like a coordinate RNG, but I think that's the perch. Yeah, we'll let's see, see here. Looks Looking like it. I mean, Ral's in the stronghold. There's the snap. I think he has like five or six bets too. Looks like this is probably gonna be it. Yeah, it just it was really that Bastion play that made this the difference here. Uh, ben? Yeah, that was definitely it. I mean, among other things, but that was definitely the main time save is Dougal forcing the backup blocks. So he had extra pearls yep. and leaving the Bastion just much better than Rao did. Was literally a, at least a minute in terms of time, in terms of pearls used, in terms right. of food used. It just, right. it just completely seed completely adds up it's just crazy um yeah that is insane um oops i clicked the wrong Either, thing uh, shipper village that's funny let's go here though look at the splits on that seed and yeah i mean four minutes is wild and yeah exactly a minute there almost between the bastion and the fort um but that, that still doesn't even show the whole picture. Ral entering the fort on 11 pearls, low yep. food. Dougal has like over a stack of pearls. It just, it doesn't show the whole picture at all. And then yep. obviously this, this four minute uh, mishap there is just um, the mismeasure, right? Who knows what happened? I think Ral desynced his first eye, maybe his, maybe, maybe his second eye because he didn't build up. Desync, desynced one of the eyes. Uh, and unfortunately, Nimbot can only do what you give it, right? Like it can only give you the stronghold cords based on exactly. what you measure. So if you if you look at the wrong spot of the eye, you desync, it doesn't know that. It can't see your game. All it sees is the F3C. So it gave him a false 100%. Um, and I guess Ral just thought idea. it was good enough. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think Dougal played it almost perfectly apart from, you know, the stronghold mishap. I guess you just kind of look behind you and check your non-starter, but you're in a five way. You built it at the right cords. Like I don't blame him for not looking, you know, that was just a, um, unlucky mistake i guess and just a beautiful play getting to the fort and that was really the that was really the difference maker on the seed um good our, stuff from, our pick is in from, or from Dugo. village what do you think i mean oh. again it's village and then shipwreck ral has to win both right so like 
Does it? Um... Okay, hold on. Sorry, I just so how so did Raul pick this as well because he lost? Is that how it yes? Works? The way it works okay, okay. is, uh, it it shows Dougal's head on the room portal C because he won the seed. I see. Um, yeah. Okay. But it was Raul who picked the room portal, and then the people who lose. If you lose, you get to pick the next seed. Now again. Does it really matter because you have to win both anyways, right? But maybe you want to pick the one, like, is it, is it too, like, getting yourself to 1-1? One, one, I don't know. You know, I, I, I'd have to think about it a lot to see if it matters, right? Like, which one you pick if you're Rao. Um, because if Rao wins the village seed, Dougal gets to pick seed three, but, like, he only gets, like, Shipwreck's the only choice, right? Like, it doesn't matter, right. you know? Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's like... I don't know if the pick really matters here. It's definitely uh, way more interesting, like the bands and, and the first seed pick, right? Because getting a 1 0 lead gives you a lot of leeway in how you play that second seed, the, the mental going into it. Sure. Um, Absolutely. So there are slots there, but again, it depends on the player. And I mean, we'll see them crank out this, uh, this village. And is this going to be. All right. The third 2-0, the Three, third insane two, upset. I mean, four, I'd like to think four. this one is less of a yeah, less of an I mean, upset these... than the other ones. I mean, if you just look at the ELO, you look at the, the PBs, the Dougal literally being yeah, yeah. ninth one spot away from the qual. But again, it is still an upset. Dougal did have to go through the quals. Raul had to Raul had to just auto uh, auto qual, I guess. Um, we but are. we'll see. First village seed Feinberg, it's your it's your kind of seed Feinberg. I just I I think there's just so much routing in the village seeds. I I like it. Like route, it's already different. It's already different. Punch yeah. hay into blacksmith for Duke. But getting the blacksmith second is honestly sometimes nice because yeah you get to um see what other people get from the thing. But as I say that, I think Raul turned off advancements in his chat. Hmm. He, it didn't show up what Dougal got, right? Is that a mental thing, maybe? Like, you just you don't want to know if they're ahead, right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe he got in his head being, uh, like, you see Dougal. Yeah. You see, you enter the Bastion first. Dougal enters the fort. You have no idea where the fort is still. Like, that's a tilter, right? I, I mean, that tilts me, right? Too. Like, I, I think it tilts almost everybody, right? Does that affect your gameplay? Um... It, it's it's definitely good info to have like objectively yeah. uh but i mean i guess is it yeah, worth the mental trade-off right yeah, i know i know a lot of people also play um obviously it doesn't matter here because it's you know who you're playing but like a lot of people play or some people you can turn off like viewing who you're playing you can turn off yeah. chat entirely right uh because at the end of the day like you do get that info but it is just who beats the seed faster you can't interact with your opponent at all you're just True. playing um but it looks like here dougal's found the lava pool doesn't have flint i think he's gonna go for a wood light here uh i like the play Raul has flint they both have very similar food oh first try flint so that's gonna be a nice time save for Raul. uh Ooh, can yeah. he find a lava pool in this oh wow he does so Raul might be in the nether first here depends on how fast this wood light's gonna crank out for dude um Oh, he's got a he's got a catch. Wow, yeah. Or a start. I don't, I don't know the word. Um, but it's but yeah. It's no, Raul's in the other first, I think. By like two seconds. Yeah. Um, just very subtly. Definitely not as bad as a will as you think, or uh, as it could have been. Seize the bastion. You're on the fort. Both players get basically the exact same spawn. Um, and it looks like they might nav this terrain the exact same way. Uh, I mean, they at least started it, you know. And we'll yeah, see. For sure. Looks like housing, I think. Yeah. Gonna run up a manhunt here, see if it's wet or dry. Make a decision based on that. But I mean, we're seeing the same thing. Dougal's basically shadowing Rao. Uh, and it looks like, ooh, it's dry on the good part. You definitely manhunt here. It looks like they're both going to. Yeah. Um, not really scary either because the lava's just on the other side. Like, you don't have to run through the lava. You, you kind of have that flat thing, so you're going to get a lot of pigs. Mm -hmm. And we do see a difference, though. I was going to be curious to see Dual instantly going up to the backup blocks. I've talked about this a lot, like, in calls and with people. Like, if you're going to get the 12 blocks and ranked for consistency when 
like when do you get these three blocks, right? Because Rao's starting trades early, Google's starting them later, but he's going to have a little bit extra pigs, and he doesn't have to get these blocks later. But again, if it's a seed where you don't need the extra gold, does it matter? Is it faster if you need it? Like, it, it, it's just so dynamic. And I mean, on the last seed, it was treasure, so it's a, obviously an entirely different fashion, but Dougal needed the extra gold for those extra pearls, and it literally made the difference in the seed. I mean, among other things, yep. but uh, he was able to pearl a lot more, so... We'll see who leaves the Bastion first. We'll see how much gear they have. It's just, the problem is, it's not a problem that just has a one-size-fits-all answer. You just, you can't yep. know. Um, is Raul leaving? Is he pro-hanging? Is he gone? I don't know if he has everything. It looks like it, but he's not pearling, which maybe is just because you're kind of throwing a blind pearl, but maybe he only has 16 pearls. He has 12, Avi. Neither runner went up yet, which might be the right play because you're leaving out of the bottom of housing anyway, so it's very awkward to get that, uh, to get that top stuff. And you know that this home portal on your fort is very, very accessible, right? Yeah. Is that going to land? Wow. Fucked up pearling from Rao. He's got 16 pearls. I think he had two spare, but that's a time loss and a food loss. doesn't matter that much on the food because there's a village seed, but that's going to be a time loss. And, oh, dead. Fire res? Alive? Another oh insane god. time loss, though. I mean, definitely just a raw misplay there. Oh, Saw. oh my god. Strider? I thought that was with a skelly for some reason. You, I, thought, you thought he was going to get RKO'd? I mean, I just, he might get RKO'd here. I'd be really careful here. This is... If I'm Rally, I just heal up. I just focus up. It, yeah. It's just, it's just, uh, I, I don't know. Reset the mental. Yeah. Play it slow. It's okay. Um, definitely some tilt from the last game. You know, you want to make sure you avoid having that yeah. impact of this one as much as possible. So, very interesting to see. But, pretty similar paces overall. Just maybe a little scary from Rally here. Yeah. Dougal definitely made up a lot of time on the, um, on this floor just from not like falling down it twice um, yeah but we'll see i mean Rao has some okay strays that was a nice accent there uh, and dougal's just committing to the spawner so if Rao gets some god strays it will be faster than um the spawner and that's some nice wither skelly play too he's definitely like recovered from the mistake but was it too much time loss like is it is it already over i don't know I mean, Dougal still obviously has to play lights out. Um, but if the end is zero ball, the there's no variation in the end split. Might have burned a rod there. Not sure. Yeah, but, I was just gonna say. And Dougal, also, Dougal has one rod. Thing. These rates are awful, so I don't know. Yeah. It's interesting to see that Raul not going, or sorry, Doug not going for like 5RD at all. I mean, obviously not the best fortress for it, but Raul, you know, just slight different strategies in, in approaching this. Do just entirely re relying on the spawner. Yeah, I, I also think it's a problem that is really not like a, like a one size fits all solution because obviously, ideally, you want to just try to get as many strays as possible. But when it's on a mid sort of fort like this, like you might yeah. only be trying to get one or two. If it's a wither skeleton or a regular skeleton, it's just raw time loss. Uh, spawn is very consistent, especially. I mean, these rate. Oh, well, do us five rods now. The rates were bad. Uh, so if, you, if you're killing a ton of blazes, it's just, it's so hard, right? On a fort like this, I'd, I like the spawner play a little bit more than on like an SSP fort, for example. Yeah. Uh, especially because they do have a lot of food, right? So you can, you can afford to take a skeleton hit or two. You can afford to mess up on a wither skelly here and there. Um, and have the food to recover from it because it's a village seed. But uh, both runners are on five rods. Like, Rao's made up some time, but they're fighting for the sixth one. And they do... They don't have to obviously get seven, but they should because it's home portal, right? Which is why we haven't seen either runner exit the nether, because they are going to be going back to their fort. Um, the the home portal on the fortress, I should say. Uh, and they, they're just fighting for these rods. I mean, these rates were, like, really bad, and then they picked up, and then they got really bad again. Yeah, dude was on <laughs> six, and... I mean, do you go on six and hope they don't break? I mean, now that there's blazes here. Like, you always uh, you, yeah. you think about that, and you see the blazes, and you're like, dude, just you kill the blazes. 
But like you could you could make an argument yeah. to go on six because you're on the fort, so you just have to come back or like maybe you even True. force a stray out here, right? That, that that's what I was thinking, but I mean he has seven, so whatever. Ooh, a little scary, but <laughs> as like Ralda, as. Ralda waiting though for the seventh as well, so yeah, very interesting. I mean, while you're waiting here too, you can craft explosives, you can charge your uh, like a crossbow, you can prep for zero, get some blocks. Like, it's not complete time loss, you know, waiting. Um, but we'll see. Is this 2K or 1100? 1100, okay, so. Definitely, I think Raul only has 15 pearls, so might be zeroable still for him, but definitely still for Dougal. Looks like he's getting wood. I don't know what the um, explosive is like. Four oh, five bed two anchor from Dougal. Yeah, because he got those extra blocks and Raul didn't, he can zero and Raul can't. Mm, yeah. I mean, unless Raul hits some three bed one anchor crystal uh, crossbow, uh, I don't know, but um, Dougal can zero, which I mean, if it's zeroable, it might just, it might be lights out. But I feel like I've said that all day, and there's been some insane stuff happening in the end, so we'll see. But... You never know for sure. But this theoretically could be our third 2-0 victory in a row. <laughs> yeah, third 2-0 upset. our third yeah. upset, yeah, yeah. Again, Crazy. this one isn't as much of an upset. I, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't sure. um, say Dougal is a very underrated player, but he did have to qualify. He is the 15th seed, is how it played out. Um, so we'll see. And he enters in lava. So we'll see. Yeah, Raul just can't zero at all. One one pearl spare also. Like, there's just no way. Uh, so do on an okay spike. If I mean if he gets this portal room and gets the uh, gets a zero, it's over. Unfortunately, not gonna see a sub ten. Um dude, he, does he hear the I think he hears the surfers again. We have no audio on the second one, but he's definitely not nabbing how you should be nabbing, but is this it? It is. Wow, finds it. Two eye. Uh, and Rao built, I think, not in the lava, so he's gonna have to dig down. But again, this might. If Dougal hits a zero, it's over. Let's see. Is it front? One and eight. Ooh, yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, you have, some, you have some soul speed bridging. You have to You have to go for it. Ooh, bugged a little bit. 88, 89, 90, 91. No soul speed, so he gets a crank. Three, two, up. Soul speed. Oh, oh. <laughs> Still makes it. Wow, he looked at the dragon too and saw he had time. Is that high enough? No! No! He does he is it three beds now? Is it three uh, beds now? I don't remember. Two beds, it looks like. Bro. I mean he had it. Oh he had God. it. It was just it was um a little bit of a panic with the soul sand and the nether bricks having different block heights and then. But again. He's still ahead. He's bowing first. If it's two beds, it's two perches, though, right? Like, yeah, this is this should be Ral's game. This is Ral's game. It's still close. No, I think it's closer than you think. How many? What is it for Dougal? Two beds, no anchor. Can't mind the anchors because you pre-place them for zero, which you have to, right? Like to get the most damage. But he's got to bow all these towers. Ral's gonna perch. But again. Like, what's Raul on? Three bed, one anchor? That's that's three bed, one anchor axe territory for sure. But like, if you mess it up, he didn't pre-place the anchor. He didn't pre-place the anchor either. This is, I think it's still anyone's game. It's up to Raul to nail the one cycle. Yeah. If, Makes if, the sword because he if, knows. He wins. Yeah, I mean, Dougal could be getting a perch here though. It's still a crystal up though. Gets it down, no perch also, one and eight. Has, has to hit this crystal too. Cause, I, once you hit the crystal, you're getting a fireball. You're not getting a perch. Every missed shot is missed time. Is that a perch for Raul? Can he get there? One pearl. Snap. Oh my god. Is it gonna be him though? Perch. Wrong side! Oh my god, we have no Three very solid beds. Three very solid beds. Oh he got it. This he should be got it. it. He definitely got it. Yeah. Alright. Raul takes the dub. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. Turnaround. Dude, we're gonna see a C3. This is insane. That we're gonna see a C3. I, I mean, guys, nerdy, as you love to say, it's not over till the dragon's dead. Am I right or it's am I right? Over. Until now, All the right. dragon's dead. Raul will take that round two. Is that we will have, we will have a tiebreaker. Tie oh my god, I hear them twice. <laughs> a ship seat, I believe. I think that's what's left. Wow. Uh, Dude.
Yeah, that ship seed. I mean, so man, a short intermission. What a crazy seed. What a crazy, what a, what, what a crazy back and forth there. I mean, Raul saying least deserve win, but honestly, like playing very, you know, staying cool and collected, a little scary there, but managing to get the uh, the the four. But I would say that's very very well played from Raul. Um, and you know, of course, uh, I don't know having having the dragon flip on you, low anchor, low bed situation is is scary. And and Raul. He Didn't got matter, the damage off. It. That was yeah, very exactly. impressive damage, especially for, like you said, the flip side and a non pre place anchor. That was very impressive. Yep. Uh, look very at these splits. Stuff. The Enter Fortress, guys, is very sus uh, because it was a fort first spawn. Ral just didn't trigger the advancement, but Dougal did while they were moving around the fort, uh, getting to the Bastion. So uh, that two minutes there is not what it looks like. But again, yeah, I mean, Ral in the end, 50 seconds slower, and Dougal did go for zero. And Rao couldn't. So it was on Dougal to lose the game. And he choked the build a little bit on multiple places. The staircase up with the soul sand. And then the anchor placement with the nether brick and the soul sand. And then it was just a late first bed maybe by like a couple ticks. It's just, yep. it's how 1 and 8 goes, right? It's just the target block is always slightly different based on the end terrain. So you just kind of have to hope it works. And maybe the timing was off. Maybe it was RNG, but it didn't work. And... I mean, we're seeing a C3. Can we complain? Uh, I don't we think we complain. can. I don't think um, we can at all. And it will be a shipwreck. We'll throw it over the seed selection, but Dougal only had one choice, right? There's only shipwreck left. You can't, we, we, uh, we can't play the same seed type twice. So it has to be a shipwreck. Neither player is banning it. Obviously, like if one player doesn't like ocean seeds, you can only ban one of the ocean seeds. True. You know what I mean? So the only way that they can both get banned is like if both players hate the ocean seed, right? But Ral gets to know what Duel's ban was before he gets to ban, so you can play off of that info also. So I, 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 I would be very shocked today if we see a shipwreck and a buried treasure um, banned, right? Like I think we're going to see one ocean seed at least playable. Maybe they don't choose it. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's like the seed three that doesn't get played. But... I don't think we'll see a, a best of three today without an ocean seed, but who knows? I mean, we've seen some crazy stuff yeah. already. Um, and I, I'm, I'm ready for the C3. I don't know about you, nerdy, but I'm, I, I'm like, I'm very excited. Okay. It's yeah, it is interesting that it's pretty much entirely mental getting that second pick there. Um, there's not really any like objective advantage because three, you have two, to if you, if you're one. that player, you have to play both seeds if you want to win uh yeah, exactly so it's kind of interesting i don't know i feel like i feel like that's interesting it's entirely mental getting the second seed pick um but regardless let's see the third seed here first third seed of the day should be a good one and as a shipwreck so i wonder if these runners did change their settings um looks like Rao did and Dougal didn't i mean again it doesn't really matter it's like one or two seconds to up your render and maybe like if you're on 5RD, you can map list for the ship if it's close, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see. I mean, okay, already a difference here. Wow, Dougal's going to stick the ship wood. Rao's going oh, to swim to an this. island. Yeah. This is very interesting, too, because there is TNT. Rao's going to get some blocks here. And now, Dougal, yeah, can you blow up Netherrack in the end? Yes, but what if it's a floating spawn? What if it's a basalt? What if, what if there's no terrain? Like, this could matter a lot. I like Raul in this situation. I like I like his positioning better. Do you like Raul in general or just in this situation? Just in this situation, <laughs> entirely. Um, you know, <laughs> terrible person. Otherwise, no, I'm just kidding. But um, but yeah. So uh, I, I like uh, Raul's positioning here. I think it's much better. Ruin um, portal doesn't crazy. Get it from Dougal, but he goes past it. Yeah, I don't know. Again, it's just like could go either way. Um, and they're going to different ravines. Dougal's on the island that Rao has on his on the right side of his screen. Um, who knows what the intended one is, but Rao's is definitely real, I'd like to say. Um, and this is just brutal flint raids. They both have a wood shovel. Imagine we see a wood shovel break. Imagine Oliver scouted this. Oh, no, we get the, we get the flint. <laughs> Zero for 64, wood shovel break. But... Google's Ravine's real. Surely Rouse is real also. They're going to enter slightly different spots. 
Maybe it matters, but I mean, yeah. Dougal has less wood. Eight planks only, no blocks, really. But, oh wow, looks like it doesn't matter at all. Shit on for going to the trees, Ral. Unlucky. Um, but again, I mean, the blocks still maybe do matter, right? Like, um, you can use them to build this out correctly. Like, Because cause what's Dougal going to do here? Is he going to use his wood to build this? And now he only has five, six? You know, yeah. has to build up with gravel here. Two gravel, choked it, gonna go up, right? But like, it still will matter. And wow, Ral, oh, sorry. Wow, Ral, nice. Um, is actually entered sort of mid down, top down. So he's gonna get these extra gold blocks. Maybe learning from his mistake in the last seed um, of needing the extra gold blocks. I think it's just always correct. I, I, I will always get these blocks. I will, um, Always get the extra gap blocks and stables. I think you just always have to play for the consistency. Because if you end up needing them, you get more pigs. It's it, it's just so... I don't know. I think you always need to get them. And I'm glad that Ral's getting them in this seed. And I think he's actually slightly ahead uh, in terms of starting the trades. Uh, probably going to have a very similar amount of pigs. Dual probably has a little more because he gets some mana on pigs and also the three gold block pigs. But... Ral did start his trades quicker, so I think they're going to leave this Bastion at around the same time. We'll see if they have to go up for stuff. The only difference is Dougal has Manhunt Chest loot, but it doesn't really matter. They both have, like, similar amounts of obby. I don't think he got anything um, crucial from it. So maybe we'll see them go up for 20. Dougal's got 10. Ral's 14. Must have just picked up more trades. But we'll see. Oh, never mind. It's average rank trades. 24 obsidian out of the fucking pile. So, they're gonna be gone, and looks like Dougal's pyrang first, but Raul also has his stuff. Um, similar food situation. Raul does have an apple. Which, honestly, could be huge. Didn't save gold for it, but it is still food. Yeah, on these on these kind of seeds, just super low food. Just every little bit really okay, does Ral, count. Okay, Ral got the... Oh, he took damage there. Ral got... What is happening? What is oh, Dougal was doing that tech. If you look straight down when your pearl lands, you can, like, see through the lava for a bit. And see the terrain what around you. What the hell? I... Like, while really your off. feet are on... I know, it was very weird to look at. But they're both... Um, oh my god, Ral's falling down the same hole, too. Is he going to do the tech? Nope. They just looked at the terrain. They both actually picked the same terrain, which is very interesting. Um, is that pearl reach for Ral? Does it reach? No. Very similar pace. Um, but this does look like an SSV fort. On low food? Uh, we could see a run or die here. Trying to play really aggressive for strays. Yeah, I mean, oh no, speaking of which. I mean, it's just the, the low from the pearl. I mean, Dougal's higher, but... Yeah, Ral, bring out the apple. Oh, oh my god. With a skelly. Oh. You're low. You have a ghast. Nice, nice kill. That was that. crucial. Yeah. I mean, if you get hit by that, fall off, any fire, it's over. Right? And yeah. now Dougal's on two hearts, one rotten flesh. Any wither skeleton hit, dead. This any is, yeah, this is skeleton, bad. Two blaze hits, dead. But it looks like Ral does not have much better strays here. I mean, honestly, if you can just avoid a skeleton, withers get dealt with. They take long yeah. time to deal with, but they get dealt with. Skeleton on Ral, nice, nicely done. It gets the box out on those Wither Skeletons. They're both at the same exact spot here, but Ral's ahead on food. Dougal has to play a bit safer, or just balls to the wall and doesn't die. Like, I don't know, who knows? But it doesn't look like either. Early first portal. Yeah, true, that. early first portal for food, hunger reset. It might be exactly what he's doing. Nerdy, super smart here. And that is what he's doing. Savannah, food, potentially. Any piggies? So would I. Not bad. Oh, what? Oh, you got. Is he. What's happening with his bow eye? Let's just not be getting. There we go. Wasn't getting a good um, read or whatever. There it is. One eye. Oh, 11 11. Cool. Doesn't look like there's any close food, though. Like, I, you have to hunger reset, right? Take some fall damage. Nice. That was very well overlapped. Just a nice play there. I love seeing that kind of stuff, man. I love seeing that kind of stuff. Oh, that was a good reminder, too, mentally for him. Crafting the, the beds with the book knows he needs to get some extra logs. That would have been terrible to forget. 
There you go. All right, Ral has the same stronghold cords this time. Not going to make that mistake again. And they're both hunger resetting here. Wow. Like, just just almost the exact same pace from both runners. Dougal has, Dougal has one more rod. That's it? Like, maybe Ral has two flesh spare? Like, his portal's on this tree? So, like, I don't know. It's the same pace. It's the same pace. Basically, Within yeah. seconds. <laughs> but again, if it comes down to seconds and it's zeroable, it, like, that's it, you know? Like, if Dougal's going to end 10 seconds faster, it's game over. Um, and we literally, we saw a match today. We saw Priffin lose to Moly while he was one cycling. Uh, like Priffin had the dragon dead and Moly won the seed. So it, like, I mean, the seconds don't matter, but they do. If you know what I mean? Like, is, is that stupid to say? I, you know? I, I, no, I think, I think <laughs> what you're saying, you, the gist of what you're saying, I get exactly what you're saying. That's I, 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 I agree. I think I agree. That's up. It's, oh, Rao was getting strays and going back. Okay. That's a nice play. Um, wasn't on fire already, but I mean, they just spawn sometimes. Has four rods. Well, two rods and, and uh, four eyes, I guess. And it is zeroable from both of them. So we'll probably see a couple pearls to the stronghold. Hunger reset in the portal room. Or in the stronghold. We'll see. And Dougal's out first, but is Rao close behind? Does Rao need one more rod? Rao might. Might be behind on some rods, yeah. You're gonna pearl sure hang that. and try to get a rod. Yeah. So Dougal is ahead again. Yeah, Ron needs one more rod. Wow. And if it's like one, like it's just one blaze, right? That's like one stray. Is it this one blaze? No, oh, it is two. Okay. Two blazes. Dougal finding some um, ravine terrain here. Looks like he made up some time. I guess he blinded on one extra okay. rod. Um, maybe got better strays, maybe got better spawns. Who knows? Um, Something along those lines. Maybe killed a few more blazes before leaving. Too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> true. Could have, like, back front loaded the, the rates or the whatever. Exactly. Google, yeah. no starter. Again, there it is, though. Imagine the portal rooms just about four away. <laughs> Gets the spike, though. Is low. Is losable. Can die here. No, if there's a always mod. losable. Dude, Any situation I, in all three good. seeds, Dougal has not navved the portal room. He has dug into the portal room <laughs> on every single seed he's played today. Oh, uh, that's good. He that's just, good. Hey, you gotta what is, like, what is happening? Let him know. Let him know. Let him know? I mean, know. is this it? Is it zeroable? But he choked the last one. He's in first, though. Front, maybe? I'm going to keep it up here on both of us. Gets the... Go, you can make it to 95 here for sure. 95. No Netherrack or no uh, no Soul Sand incident? Oh, you're so early. You, one more turn, bro. Could have went to 99. As long as we don't get a bed break. Late, really late bed, but... And that was early. Bro! Oh! oh my god, this my is scaring me. God. Okay. Oh my, oh my god. god. I think he has it. It's close though. Okay. Dude. Oh my Dude. god. He, I mean, he does it. That, is that a nerve zero? Is that just like you try to overcompensate for the bad timing? Oh, Ra went to 99 too. Wow. Oh, wow. And Ra's yeah, gonna that hit that. Good. Literally, I mean, the seconds don't matter until they do. And here they yeah. did. That's crazy. Exactly. Dies in the zero. And that's it. And it's our third upset. At least it was. At least it wasn't a two-zero, right? At least it wasn't, wasn't a two-zero. Two that was that was a close game, man. That is, wow. is unfortunate to see Raleigh go so early, but you know, at the end of the day, well played to Duke. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, look at these splits. Just completely, basically neck and neck the whole run, right? For sure. Like where's really, where's really the close. where's the difference, right? Like ten seconds on the blind, like I mean Dougal blinded on one extra rod, but look, he um he lost one second from blind to eye spy. So was it like yeah. was it the boat eye me measurement mistakes? Was it some terrain mistakes? Yeah. Like I think Raoul built his portal higher and also eye spied, right? Um nine seconds on the nav. I mean Dougal did dig through the wall. Is that the nine seconds? <laughs> we'll never yeah. know. Um, but I mean, look, like, look how evenly matched it is, right? Only behind by eight seconds into the fort. Um, and again, the seconds don't matter until they do when, when both, uh, 
when both runners play perfectly, it does come down to the to the micro, right? When the, when the macro yeah. decisions are there, when everything's on point, it's like who's doing all the little stuff faster, and that's yep. what mattered in this seed, and that was it, right? Turns out that Raul's, um TNT Island. I mean, again, only twelve seconds, um, and he was losing by more than twelve. But I mean, I think it was a great match. Got to our third I, seed. I completely agree. I like. I don't think either of them played uh, played badly either. It's just it's how it goes, right? Someone, someone has to lose, right? Uh, and unfortunately, Raul was the loser of this seed, but. We have a few minutes until we get our next match. I wonder if they'll go early. Um, I'll get some updates on Oliver. I also ordered some Chipotle because I'm wow. starting to feel a little bit hungry. Uh, as That's I do, pick. right? Good pick. What are you going with? You very, go with? very, very rare thing, right? To see, um, to see Feinberg ordering food, right? Very rare. It doesn't... Very completely <laughs> rare. Doesn't happen often at all, right, guys? <laughs> Um, I'll put this on maybe 10 minutes. I got a chicken bowl like I always get nerdy. I eat the same like six things. I, I, I know, but like, I, I was hoping that maybe you'd, you'd branch out. Like no. one day you're going to tell me like, oh yeah, I had a croque madame and some, uh, oh yeah, I, I, went, I went and got some uh, steak tartare, you know. Oh yeah, you know, I'm having some, uh, some puffer uh, fish sashimi or sashimi. I'm tired. What what is what is some like what are some abstract foods, guys? I don't know. I would love to see Feinberg try out some some wild stuff. <laughs> I just like I don't know. It, it's just like my mindset in life is like if I try something, there's the low roll chance, right? And I know that Chipotle is always going to be like a nine out of ten, right? That, listen, I, I don't disagree. So like, why disagree. should I try to get the one because in ten that it's a ten out of ten if it could be a one, right? Then I like, you know because, what I mean? Like, <laughs> because like you could dude i don't know man you gotta try because like when you try stuff it's like it's hype when when you hit it you know yeah so that's, fair, and then, that's and then, fair and then and then that's like a long-term dude, investment it's not start a again. singular thing no, it's like any time in the future that you want that thing and bam there you go that's true i guess yeah it's like it's like an unlock it's like a recipe unlock in life exactly exactly it's like it's like you oh my god that makes sense like if you have the iron tools you mine the diamonds like you have to you yes. have to, you have to yes. try to make the diamond hoe but then you unlock it and it's a recipe for life and then you know right yes it is un like that it's easier to try like <laughs> movies because then like it's like you know it's like a boring movie is worse it is not as bad as like a you know a, a, a bad something that tastes bad but i don't know i feel like if you <laughs> Just slowly try stuff more and more. It, it's good. It's good. Yeah. It also doesn't help that like I, I like. I mean, it's just the lifestyle I'm choosing, right? But I I feel like to me cooking is just a raw time loss, right? I can be on the grind. I can be on the the work grind. Um, really, I'm always working, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but that's 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 how I look at it. Is it the bad mental? Probably, right? Um, we'll see. Um. Currently one player in the audience, but I mean, now nah, we have some time. We can just chill. We can chill. Maybe it says my DoorDasher is going to be here in two to four minutes. Dude, I walked outside today too at like 7 a.m., like 7.30, 7.40 to go get some Dunkin' Donuts. I think I saw one other person. It was so empty, which like I get it. It's a summer and it's early, but it's wild because like if it's like a, during like school and like like passing periods or like just on the hour yeah. in general, right? There's like thousands of people outside so it was it was such a weird feeling to just be walking and there's just nobody there were like three people in the dunkin donuts though which was wild to me because i saw like nobody else one of them was the girl that works at the subway across the street so she was probably getting something before subway opened at like eight because it was like 7 40 or something but the other two people i had no idea maybe it was like the person who works at target or the person who works at like another thing that opens at eight but there were like I saw more people in the Dunkin' Donuts than I did on my entire walk there and back, which was crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> but it was still more people than I've seen in real life in the past like three weeks. So. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I feel that. I I definitely feel that. I've been... When's the last time you went outside? It's nowhere near as embarrassing as me. Because if you take I mean, out the yesterday, thing yesterday, I mean, wait, what does outside count as? I don't know. Like, what was yesterday? Like. Like, what did you do uh, yesterday I mean, like, that, like, went outside? 
I, I went climbing, but that's like inside. So I feel like that doesn't count. But maybe it does because it's like exercise. So no, I don't you know. went I don't like know somewhere. Like I, I'd, I'd count as yeah, like, yeah, I'd yeah. count that as like outside. Like I think if you said you went to like the gym, that like that's going outside. Like yeah. you let you left your house. Like I'm not kidding. Like there are stretches of like a week or two where I won't like the only leaving of my apartment building that I will do is I will open the front door to pick up my DoorDash and go back inside. <laughs> I know. Like, I'm, I'm trying to say, like, just because it was yesterday doesn't mean I haven't had those days. Too. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've had plenty of those days. <laughs> guys, I do it for you, okay? I do it for chat, guys. For content. If, for if content. I'm always, if I'm always in the lab, I'm always cooking up something. We're getting some, we're getting some bangers, right? The the rain playoffs weren't built, uh, weren't built on a day, right? As yeah. a famous saying, as they say, right? Don't. Uh, they, weren't, they weren't built by people who. You know, go outside. Went outside. That, that, that well, they weren't built by me at all. Oliver sent me the OBS shit this morning, and I saw that. <laughs> so like, I what I really do, I'm the spokesperson, right? I'm like the I'm like the brand ambassador, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, um, nerdy, you're gonna entertain them. I'm gonna get my food because I'm starving, and then we're all gonna right. throw it into. I see people in the audience. We're gonna throw it into our next match. Sit tight, gamers. It's gonna be a freaking good one. Got a good one coming up. Who's up next? Loki and Anko Boy. Very exciting. Very exciting. Chat, what have you guys been up to? Well, how how's how's your guys' weekend? What'd you guys get up to? Let me know. I'm gonna I wanna hear. I wanna hear. What 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 do we do this fine fine uh this fine weekend? To the beach? Nice. Bike tour. World for nice. <laughs> Can you go slowly with your hand? I I'm sorry. I I I honestly I probably would have accidentally. I touch my hair a lot. It's like a bad habit. But now now that I'm on spot, I I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna decline. Do you need Lego Star Wars? My messy room. But there's there's Star Wars there. There's more too. There's more too. I got a one out of 10 on YouTube. Oh my God. It's actually a crazy thing. Cause it sounds like a one out of 10 is like bad. You know, I'm like, oh, one out of 10, that's terrible. 10 out of 10 is better. But in YouTube, it's the exact opposite. It's the exact opposite. You discovered photosynthesis. What do you, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? A party cruise. Oh wow, that sounds cool. Man, yeah, I just uh I've been uh trying to wake up. Trying to wake up throughout the day, guys. Trying to wake up throughout the day. One one day I will have a proper sleep schedule. But like 9 56 a.m. and I've been up for three hours. That is crazy. No, I've been up for no, yeah, three hours. That's that's crazy for me. How many subs to smash the Eiffel Tower? Um, probably like the equivalent of like the sub gain would have to be worth the Eiffel Tower. Because I love the Eiffel Tower, you know, like uh, financially speaking. I've not played only up. It looks funny, though. I, I, I feel like I would enjoy that. You know, what I was playing last night chat. I don't know if anyone has ever played this game. Probably. But I was playing GTA 4. I was, it was fun. I enjoyed I was enjoying it. I don't know. My friend is really into that game. And so he really <laughs> wanted me to play it. Um, he, he, he prefers it like vastly to five for some reason. I don't know. So he was just tell, he peer pressuring me into playing it. And it was fun. It was fun. It's a good game. Good game. Do you want to go bowling? bowling i suck at bowling is one of those things where you look at it and it looks so doable but it's just not it's so hard man at least for me at least for me oh wait you mean in game oh my god i'm so dumb i did go bowling i did go bowling in game yes i did i i beat my date in bowling i'm sorry i didn't i didn't process that I did win though. I won. I won though. I won. 
by like twice the points. The person that, that absolutely. And hello, absolutely YouTube. Terrible. What's up? It's uh. Sorry, I don't know where I was going with that. Why did they all do Omega Low? What happened? I I. It's a long story. <laughs> I I thought that they were asking me if I liked bowling, but they were talking in GTA Four. Oh, I like bowling in real life. I suck at bowling. Bowling's hard, man. Bad. I think, dude. I think I got my bowling like PB. People don't call it PBs though. They call it like PRs in real life, right? Uh, I've no idea. I swear, I got that shit. PB is um, bad. I went bowling with peanut butter, poundy scissors, and curry in mini in Minneapolis like a month or two ago. Were, didn't you come bowling? Weren't you there when we went in San Diego? Yeah, I don't think I did Pounding. amazing there though. Yeah, oh. It was like Poundy, Moly, and you and. There was someone, maybe like Dylan. Because he was in our RBB. Yeah. No, but they were doing other shit. Everyone like split up. Who knows? All right. Anyways, screw it, boys. Um, let me figure out who's even playing, bro. <laughs> um, surely is the right game. Let me update the bracket too. Oh, let's go. Oliver's so smart. And he did that already. Um, all right. Let me see what he told me for the pick bands. Perfect. And we'll be ready to go. Hog, chat, are you ready to see? I mean, it's in the bracket, so you guys know, but you don't know the fun facts, and that's the most important part. The first like player the of our first of our first player of our fourth match of the day. Loki. Woo! What do you think about these stats, Yeah. What do you think? Oh man. First even completely even win loss. Uh versus the opponent. Um I'm like shocked these guys have only played twice, man. I swear I play ranked and like I Q into Loki and Ankle Boy all the time. I swear Ankle Boy is a demon on the ladder. Like he probably has more games than, than Loki. Or it's gonna be like a high number too. These guys are ranked demons. Yeah. 55% win rate, not bad at all. Um a lot of games played. So, you know, quite experienced. Um, yeah, solid stats overall. Uh, again, both double sub nine for the ranked time. That's very impressive. Like low eights as well. Uh, looking at those Minecraft accomplishments, we've got the world record SSG enter uh, or end enter. Uh, that's very impressive. Um, third place SSG, sixth place FSG. So clearly a very mechanically talented player. Um, yeah, 116 know, Demon. Same. I mean, the thing that stands out to me here is a 55% win rate. Like obviously Loki. Um was qualified through being top eight elo so i mean if you lose 10 games to like me or silver and then you um beat like second place 10 times like i ever what I, my point is like every win and loss isn't created equal right but 55 percent win rate is very shocking i feel mm -hmm. like it's a lot lower i mean yeah, every, everyone else true. has had at least 60 percent, right if not more yeah i think so um I think we'll right. see let's throw it over to our second player Inko boy woo Oh, wow. And I mean, talk about win rate, another 55%, but uh, the ranked average time, 1250. Loki's yeah. was 1350. So Loki wow. is on average an entire minute slower. Um, what do you think about these stats? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, pretty similar. Um, I would say like, for me, the honestly, the thing that stands out the most, I mean, they look pretty similar, but there's two things that I see that ranked average time quite low. Uh, 1250 is not bad at all. Uh, and one thing that's interesting is this is uh, one of the first that we've seen like a pretty substantial difference in the ranked time in the RSGPB. Um, yeah, I mean, not necessarily like a bad sign or a good sign. But just interesting, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe that indicates like a lot of rank experience. Yeah. I don't know how much they've been like resetting, you know? Right. Um, obviously a player of his caliber, like looking at these stats, you'd think he'd have a sub 10, like at least one. Right. Uh, yeah. But it could just be not a lot of resets. I don't personally know his PC specs, right? Like I know maybe if he's like, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's single instance, but if it's like four instances or six, like maybe that that's a part of a factor. Right. And ranked, obviously your hardware doesn't really matter at all. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, these stats are really similar. I think their rank time is the exact same. PB. Yeah. 
The thing that sticks out to me is the average time. So I, I'm giving my points to Ankoba here for two reasons. First reason, better average time. Second reason, he's the lower seed, and the lower seed has one in all three. And so I'm a stats guy. You know me, I'm a stats major. By process yeah. of induction, that's a math thing, not a stats thing. It is a thing, yeah. Um, Ankoba's going to win. And we're going to have eight upsets today. That's how it works, right, chat? Anyways, before you guys can question me on my reasoning, we're going to throw it to... The pick ban process. Nerdy, what are your initial thoughts? What oh, do you I love think? This. this is like my favorite part to analyze. Okay, so we I start off it. with the BT ban. Oh my goodness. Okay, so once again, to me that indicates, you know, well, we can really look to this um, in the sense that we saw previously looking at the stats that the Anko Boy maybe not as familiar with RSG resetting. Um, so maybe not wanting to go against Loki, who's obviously very experienced with BT um not wanting to lose that time maybe throw in a little bit of weirdness but then on the flip side maybe the person who wants a little bit more uh you know some some more linear seeds we we got that ban there right away from loki and then following up that playing a very linear seed in that rp so it's going to be interesting we'll have to see um what anko boy goes next i would predict if i had to guess i think that if anko boy has the choice uh they would have gone for village um so I, I would expect to see that potentially but we'll have to wait and find out yeah i wonder if this is going to be like a common um pick ban hype you know what i mean in the last match yeah. it was also temple bt being banned we had yep. bt village banned in match two and in match one was the only match we saw a buried treasure seed being played um yep. Let me scroll up a little bit. Match one bands were RP and ship. So very weird, but we've seen very treasure desert temple twice in a row now. And maybe like, yeah. it could be a common thing, right? You have one player who thinks yep, they're maybe exactly. less mechanically gifted. One player who thinks maybe they're not as good in the decision-making aspect. So the BT banner is the person who doesn't really trust their overall mechanics that much. The desert temple banner is someone who doesn't trust their overall decision making that much, right? It's, exactly. It seems like yep. it yep, seems yep, like yep. it makes sense, you know, in my head. But what happens if we get two players who are very confident in mechanics? We're gonna see a desert temple village ban. We're gonna see some ocean seed. I don't know. We'll see. But I don't know about you. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Let's see if these players are ready to go. It's interesting too seeing their uh, seeing their elos in the um, in the like lobby here because it's the season two yeah. elos. Oh, not is like it? it really, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> it, it, not like it really matters again because it's just um, it's kind of like who's played the most at this rate. It's only been like a week or two on the season. Yeah, but um, it is interesting to see. Room portal seed. I mean, it's gotta just be a linear overworld, right? Like that's just that's how it goes. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. Wait, oh, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. You, you <laughs> didn't change the seed, LMFAO. Run it back. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> uh, guys, this happens. It happens. Okay, it happens sometimes, right? It's a little bit unlucky. <laughs> Yeah, wait, I was gonna say it's the it was the he world? didn't he didn't yeah he didn't change it. That was the that was the uh the ship seed from the last match. That was the Ral Duo great. ship seed. That's good. Guys That's good. we're all handling a lot, okay? All we're handling the most out of anybody. You gotta catch some break, okay? I'll take the flag for that. That was my fault. Which honestly doesn't really work because now that I said it was Oliver's fault. Um, but it, it was my fault, guys. At the end of the day, it was I'll my fault. I'll take the blame, actually. I'll take the blame. And it sounds like someone in chat did say the winner of this plays Dougal. That's very interesting. Knowing who you're going to play. And I mean, Dougal's probably watching this right now. Right? You, get some, you yeah. get some info on your opponent. You get to kind of know what you're pick banning. That's going to be very interesting to me. What the, what the pick bans are going to look like for next week. But we got to focus on the present. Surely there's a room portal on this seed. There we go. It's still on the island, though. Bro, maybe someone whips out the BT. Oh, there's some food. Wow. So even more of a linear yeah. room portal than we'd, we'd expect, you know? Um, you don't have to think about food at all. Inko Boy didn't get stone from the... Is he going to get it now? Maybe he, gets the, maybe he gets the gold block and makes a gold axe. I like this play, too. 
Like, it's crazy that there's still variation in this overworld, and it just seems like the most right. linear thing. You know what I mean? It just, it yeah. truly shows that, that, like, this game is just so crazy. Bat trust, am I right, guys? <laughs> so <laughs> wild. <laughs> like, what, what is he talking about? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they're both just going to get in, right? Like, I mean, a few seconds, right? Again, doesn't matter till it does. Um, but similar gear. Doesn't, oh, wow. Far Bastion, it looks like. Maybe some terrain, but Basalt, kind of hard to get blocks. Looks like the terrain actually does get really nice over here near this warped. I like the way Ankle Boy's handling this here. Because, um, again, you don't want to build with your wood. Because if you even if you have to get, like, any wood, it's a big time loss. Saw the fort to the right, too, which was great. Um, tried to rescan. I feel like you just see it, though. I wouldn't go for the rescan there, but, again, I don't know. There should, like, in every rank seed, the way the filter works, there should always be terrain somewhere. Yep. 60. Uh, you gold pick through the wall here? Ooh. Gonna try to force the right. I kind of like that. Loki's kind of getting to the same spot here. And yeah, wow. Okay, forcing the right was definitely the right play. This is way farther away than I think he thought. Like, this is, this is like, max distance rank bastion almost. Like, negative 200 on the Z. And I'm yeah, honestly shocked that he's not been getting any blocks with a gold pick and using his wood here and there which could make a difference right because ideally you only need like four five six beds for zero if you have anchors but if it's like a one and eight or you have to go for some weird setup or you set up the anchors and the dragon flies right then you need those extra beds to be able to one cycle and not have to full bow because we saw Dougal had to full bow in a game and he lost to Rao. so i i'm always a big like you should save that wood right especially with the with the gold pick Getting some netherrack? Mm -hmm. What is Ankle Boy doing? Oh, it's not the middle. Okay. I, I'm just stupid. I've never seen this rap before. Any stories in chat? Is this a... There's no way those pigs follow him, right? Like this... this uh, That's just chalked, right? Like, like that was the most insane stables manhunt setup I've ever seen. Um, But he's in a gap fast. And Loki's still messing around on these triples. Is he trying to do double triple? Is he this is the middle double? Okay, so he's gonna get in the gap fast too. Um a little difference here too. This might not matter, but it could. Left side gap versus right side gap. And the only reason why it would matter is the gold blocks are 90%. It is possible someone gets an extra gold block. Hmm. Very yeah, no, interesting. I haven't been counting, it's gonna be impossible to actually keep track, right? But it's very possible. Uh, that that extra gold block could make a difference. Just super weird. Uh, and it's just because they approached it different ways. Like, Ankle Boy did some weird manhunt shit in the bottom of stables. Never seen that before. And Loki just tried to force the middle. Uh, and did top down, so the left gap is closer. Um, but I like this from Ankle Boy. He gets that pearl trade. You know the, the gap pigs are just always so slow. Stables... I mean, it's the it's the best Bastion if you have the triples. It's the worst Bastion if you don't. That's just like, I don't even think that's a hot take. Um, but he's got these trades. They're kind of cranking. Only 12 pearls, though. And he got the backups also. Holding 16 gold, but he's got some... I think he's got gold on the right side. Um, yeah, he's still getting some trades. But 12 pearls is rough. And surely, I mean, I'm pretty sure Ankle Boy got every gold block except for one. Mm. Um, so I, I I haven't been keeping track of Loki, but we'll see on these pearls. Again, there's also, I mean, nah, Ankle Boy sells so much gold to trade. He must have just gotten, like, no pigs. I think the Stables Manhunt was not the move. Because he didn't get any of the pigs from the top of that, like, the double in the middle. I don't yeah. know. Like, Loki's already got 16 pearls. Ankle Boy's still sitting on 12. He's got, like, stacks of gold there. These trades look so slow. I think Loki's that's making a, up a lot of time here. Two stacks of pearls. Okay, Ankle Boy finally gets his first stack. But look at this, 18 string. Loki has 30 string. Wow. Waiting? No. 30 string. What's the what's the glowstone looking like in the anchors? I couldn't catch that. I don't know what's happening here though. Like, do you go for the bottom bottom chest? Do you do you try to loot for string? Do you full bow? Like zero's off the table, right? If it's like two beds, one anchor, like you're not you're not getting enough to zero. Maybe Unless, for you. Like, like you can zero, you can zero that, do you think? I, yeah, I can zero that. I can zero that. I can zero that. But yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this, uh, Angle Boy getting glowstone. Ooh, for explosives. I like this. 
Oh my god, they're getting the same glowstone patch. Wow, that's cool. What? I mean, I'm assuming, right? No, I mean, no, it's just, we, I, it just surprises me. Oh, uh, maybe, no, maybe Ankle Boy Pearling got some glowstone. Well, they both got glowstone at the end of the day. Ingo, it's not the same glowstone patch. Loki just passed Ankle Boy's glowstone. It was on nah, the left. Yeah. <laughs> it is like super very whack. Positions. And they both saw the fort, yeah. We will have to see, though. Yeah, okay, so... Two bed, two anchor from Loki. Gonna be no blaze bed. Looks like Angle Boy's probably in the same situation. I think it's the right play. I think I think if you have the crying... What is Angle Boy have two bed, one anchor? Angle Boy might have two bed, one anchor. He might have not stuck around for... Unless he pre-crafted an anchor, he might he might have two bed, one anchor. Which is a lot harder than two bed, two anchor. That blaze is gone. Oh. Drop RNG. Neither player can blaze bed. Well, I mean, obviously they can. You can do anything in life. I mean, the players could forfeit right now and go home, but I, I would hope they wouldn't do that. You can blaze bed. I don't think it would be ideal. Oh my, Loki clutched. Oof. I'm like watching Echo Boy. Oh, ah. oh. Oh my God. The commentator oh curse. My oh my God. That's. That's dude, if, bad, I, dude. if I'm watching that's, that's these over. games and I'm the higher seed, I'm getting nervous as fuck, man. These are all <laughs> upsets. Like, this is Enka Boy's game to throw. Yeah, I mean, this is this should just be entirely Enka Boy's just win. I mean, I mean you have, you have two death, golden carrots. Reset. Yeah, that's, a, that's yeah. literally a six, seven minute time loss. You have some info on the seed, but like... What info do you have that you didn't have, right? Like, it's a ruin portal overworld. You don't know, like... It's not like you get, like, mapless chunk info or enter info. It's all in your face. You saw the fort. You... I guess you don't have to E-ray? Like, like how much time do you realistically save on the run back? Like, 20 seconds? 30 seconds? Like, not, I guess not, you also, not you also know, time, like, yeah. that it is a good gap. I, I don't know. It's, it's so scuffed, right? Like, it... And... I, if you're behind by six minutes versus seven minutes, does it really matter, right? Like, when you're playing someone that's just also incredibly good at the game, like, like, does it matter at all? Like, if you're behind by one minute, you're losing, right? Much less behind by six. Uh, it's totally this, Angleboy's yeah. game to lose. But, I mean, it's, it's like possible. One of those situations, it's one of those situations where it's probably best to honestly not even try to play fast if you're Loki. Because you... You... I mean, you should go quickly, but oh, it you're saying like you yeah. think Ankle Boy just has to die, so you should just like it's try close to, to that, play, not. try to play consistent again. Yeah. Pearl? No, damn, he was trying to get a pearl hanging to the fort. That's my quirky. Yeah, like that. yeah, and and Ankle Boy is gonna know very very soon that something is up. You know, like when he when he because he got the fort advancement, but he's not gonna get the Finding stronghold, Ingo Boy's gonna know, and then he might play safer because of that, right? Yeah, maybe not going for zero or something that could really just force a death. Because that—that's what Loki needs. Loki just needs a death. Yeah, he is—he is playing this like kind of scouted though. Knows that this is the middle double, so he dug down, to start the gap ASAP. There I do go. like that play. So it like it will be a little faster. It's just it's not gonna be enough, man. There, there's got to be something. It's not gonna be enough. I mean, I have to say, like, one thing that I'm impressed by is the quickness and decisiveness to reset the seed. Uh, very good stuff. Not letting, yeah. you know, emotions slow him down at all in that sense. It would be very easy to just, like, want to take a pause, stop. Or, like, forfeit, you know? right? Like, if you're playing regular yeah, exactly. rank, you, might, you, you, you will just forfeit, right? Like, yeah. I, I don't know these players' forfeit rates, but I know... Um, that's like 70% of all matches are forfeits, right? So uh, it's obviously a little less like at the at the highest possible rank, but if you die against someone good, you basically know you lost. So if you want to forfeit here mentally and then you just can't because it's like a tournament setting uh, and like could be even worse on the mental, but he just got right back into it and is playing well so far from the rerun. As you can see, unfortunately, it is a rerun, and Ankle Boy's getting to cords. Looks like he's got just 20 blocks left to go. Um, choking the cords a little bit, but not a big deal. Some more glowstone. I still think he has two beds and one anchor only, but I don't know if it'll matter because you just, you just, you literally full bow. 
You know what I mean? Right. Like, I think he has arrows. I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's see. No good spike. That's a good spike. There we go. Yeah. Right down the middle. Let's see. Ankle boy. Pop up here. There you go. There it is. Oh, he has he has pre-crafted glowstone. Okay, he has yeah, he has like three acres. He has four. No, yeah, he has three acres. Dude, don't make four. Okay. <laughs> um yeah, I can make a bow also. No, it's his game to lose for sure. Two by three anchor, very doable, especially with a bow. Forty-four arrows. Has Maybe three bread? Like a lot. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with What are we here. what are we what is he looking for? I don't know. Maybe half considering the string? Maybe. But he made the bow. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Again, it's so, again, you know. it's his game to lose, right? Like you can you can make a lot of minor mistakes here, and as long as you don't die, it's just fine. You know? Like don't right click that anchor on accident. That's basically it, right? Like Yeah. <laughs> Don't get fireballed and then miss a pearl clutch. Don't like blow yourself over the bed. Like, there's no zero. There's no risk. Like, uh, I'm gonna pearl, pearl out of that early. Also, doesn't shoot all eight that he could have. But again, like, I mean, he can see that it just says Loki entered four. You know, you know, you're winning by minutes, right? Right. Um. I mean, Loki, to his credit, got back here really fast. Compared right. to the first play, like, is it that he has info? Yes, he did get back here really fast, but the five, six minute time loss is just way too much. Um, I think a boy just will get the force punch before Loki probably even gets into the stronghold. Yeah. Not much else to say. I thought no. That may Not be the snap right there. Oh, there weird is. snap, but he got it. He was ready for it. I mean, no, you need to like, you need to like blow yourself up here. Oh, three plus one. Oh. Well done. Very well. Done. Well executed there. And we have once again another, at least what seems to be heading in the direction. Of I mean, yeah. The lower seated player has won the first game every single time. There's only been a single match today lost by the lower seated player, which is crazy. The splits, um, not too much we can really learn about it. I mean, we can see that the pace was basically even. Yeah. Until Loki died. Like, yep. Nether, Rune Portal Overworld, almost the exact same. Bastion Enter, almost the exact same. They both took, like, four minutes in the Bastion. I mean, partly because stables. I'm honestly shocked that um, Ankle Boy didn't lose more time in the Bastion. He only lost nine seconds, it looks like. It felt like he was waiting on those trades for so long. But maybe he got better chests for 20. I don't know. Felt like he was waiting for so long, but. You got it and yeah. hey good stuff i mean like you could you we could say like you know wasn't exciting but still like that's turny turny nerves a lot of pressure on the line here for ankle boy to execute that um didn't have like, a super easy one cycle but he made it all work yeah i have Very a good well question played. in chat lower and higher seed what we're talking about um the way that these 16 runners qualified uh the top eight I mean, when we say lower and higher seed in general, we mean like if we go to the main overview here, um, low key in the top left here is a seventh seed and Ankle Boy is the 10th seed. But specifically for um, the ranked playoffs, let me talk about this while we look at our seed pick. Specifically for the ranked playoffs, the top eight runners got auto qualified because they were the top eight players on the season one leaderboard. The bottom eight runners had to go through a qualifier last weekend with over 
65 people participating, I think. So, Oliver, what happened? Switch over. Oh, did you start? That's <laughs> yeah, okay. We missed five seconds. No big deal. Uh, it's all it's, good. To be fair, that one's my fault. I um went to the main screen to show someone something, so that one's my fault. That one, I'll take the blame for it. Oliver did the wrong seed last time. That one's my fault. We, we'll take, Next we'll one's take gonna the blame. Be on me, guys. Next one's going to be on me. I'm going to say the wrong thing. I think it'd be very impressive if you may, messed something up, considering you have no control over the OBS or the... I mean, seeds. <laughs> I could like, I don't know. A wood light setup from Ankle Boy. Dude, villages are so cool, man. Uh, and Loki picked the village too. Uh, village versus shipwreck. I mean, again, you have to win both, right? But ideally, you'd pick the seed like that you'd have the best chance of winning on first, right? Um, Probably. Because yeah. you want to, like, you want to get a one-one. Maybe it gives you some momentum. As opposed to just getting too old, like yeah, I mean carrots. it's entirely mental, right? That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's carrots no from low key, at all. flint, room portal. If there's looting, is the game over? Come on, please check it. He's not gonna check it. That's so sad. It's probably buried. I don't blame him. But Ankle Boy gets the wood light, so he's just in slightly faster here. Um, these blacksmith wood light plays. It's like very common in ranked to like have seeds like this, where you just get obby and no iron, and you have to kill the golem. I should learn one of these right. setups, man. Like, I think they're really good. I, I can't, like, personally say from experience. I just have no idea. All I remember is I was playing a private room, like, a month or two ago, where it was a seed like this with, like, six or seven people. And Hacking Noises was the only person to do the Woodlight setup, and he was in the nether a minute before everyone else. And we all forfeited the seed because we were pissed off. That he just won, like, he, like, he won the whole seed off that, which is, it wasn't that much of a deal here because Ankle Boy still had to do a lot of stuff in the village, so it was only maybe 10, right. 15 seconds, but it was just objectively a time save. He's at this chalice first. So, um, I mean, just well played from him, knowing, like, game mechanics, knowing, right? And especially Loki picked the village, he's got to know that that could happen. Like, I guarantee you, he's definitely seen a, a ranked seed like that before, where it was right. 10 obby and no iron, you have to kill the golem. Some pyre. I think it was not gonna fully pyre though. Oh my! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! He's dead! Bro! Oh my goodness! Oh, that is. Oh my oh. god! Loki won't know this either though, which is crazy. Dude, what the? Fuck? Oh yeah, that's brutal. It's less of a. It's less of a bad mistake. It is. Two minutes, 2.30 kind of. We did see one seed today where somebody won by like two minutes. It was when Doodle right. played Rao and Rao had no pearls and he missed the stronghold, right? So like, if Loki has like a nuclear meltdown level throw and or dies, it's still winnable for Anchor Boy. Right. And if Loki dies, if both players die, the player who died second is the biggest loser, right? The only benefit if you die second is maybe you got the stronghold cords and your opponent didn't, so you save a little bit of time. But like, if you die second, I, it's just bad. You just shouldn't die at all, right? I'm shocked, right? Turning nerves maybe from both these players, but it's very interesting that different players died both times. Like, you'd think if someone gets nervous from dying, they lose it, they like die again in the other seat, it'd be like a total meltdown, but. They're going back and forth, right? Wow. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. That was that was fascinating because I don't know. This is the first time we've seen like two different people on two different seats die. And, and you know what I mean? Like yeah, it, yeah. this is this is this is like very early, very decisive deaths. Um. I mean, you lose two seeds, you're out of the whole tournament. There's no loser's bracket. This is yep. the best of three round. If you make it to the top eight, it's best of five. So you can, like, afford a death maybe a little more. But, like, it's just so brutal. It means so much to just insta-lose a seed. Like, if you make a small minor mistake, like, you kill a blaze over lava, the rod doesn't drop. Or, like, you have to throw three eyes, misplace obby. Like, like a rod you misplace obby had a mine, it still almost won that seed. You know? 
Like, wow. that 40 yeah. second mistake doesn't matter as much, but if you're dying, like, that's the mistake. It's basically, the, it's literally the same thing as just hitting a reset world in most cases, right? Like, it's the mistake to make. Um, and so it is shocking that we've seen it a, a few times today. Um, but again, who knows what sort of nerves these players are playing under uh, or anything like that, but... Oh my god, Ankle Boy oh falling god, again. again. Holy oh shit. God. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Like, oh just, god. just it. Is, Dude, you know awesome. what this reminds me of, though? The first ever bridge route that we ever de developed. Do you remember? Where you I built do. a bridge okay, and you had to spleef yeah. the pigs? Chat, anyone know? Oh any god, OGs? Any that. 2021 Andes? Bro, that wood bridge and seeing the pigs on both sides sent me back. You guys know? Oh my god. That was some content, man. I missed that. I should, re I should like relearn that route. <laughs> that was good, man. Shout out to Ankle Boy for giving us that moment of nostalgia here. Uh, I agree. Okay. I mean, Loki's gonna realize pretty soon that Ankle Boy must have died. Like, the longer he's in this fort and the longer Ankle Boy isn't in the fort, it's gonna start to click at some point. Like, this dude died. Oh, also, I'm just stupid. It, he already knows. Because he can see the advancements, and Ankle Boy never got war pigs because he mined the chalice and then died of the hog on the bridge. So Loki already knows that he's at least a minute or two ahead just off of that you know yeah because um, especially because he's gonna see the war pigs like he saw it kind of later now um so you he may not have noticed it, i feel like maybe you don't notice that it could be but i feel like i'm time. always paying attention but i guess if you're like zoned in on like doing something mechanical on the seed you might not i feel like i'm always zoned in you, but now you, he knows yeah, now he knows for sense. sure because he just got the fort, right like now he knows he's ahead like, you're, you're an entire split ahead at this point, you know what I mean? You blinded right. when the other person got on the floor. Prop Ooh, 100% one eye. Uh, there we go. It's ocean, so it's very annoying. Do you have a water bucket? No, no bucket, because it's uh, pearl. Oh, throw again. Get in. 2RD. It just won't land because of water. <laughs> oh, it hit a fish! Bro! What the fuck? What oh happening? my god! It's not gonna matter probably, but what the fuck? Dude. If he two rd it, might have saved it too. Does he need those pearls? Tell me he has more pearls in the back, right? Tell me he doesn't have 10 pearls. Okay, oh he has goodness. another stack. Okay, I, I figured he had another stack. Oh my god, man. Dude, I don't even li I don't even like pearling there. But like he had the soul sand, so I kind of liked it more and then he still fucking <laughs> Dude, that was funny. I've never seen someone hit a fish. <laughs> what is he doing? Fish is just chilling, man. It just it just got randomly hit by a pearl. I mean, that's I feel like up. maybe there's nerves now. Like he just spent like li like an extra pearl instead of bridging five blocks. Loki might be freaking out a little bit here, but I, I don't know. Just from watching, like, I, I don't know what that play was. I don't, the last minute to me made no sense. Like, if you show me the first six minutes of the seed, I'm very impressed. If you show me the last minute, I'm like, what is this guy doing? You know, like, like a Minecraft guess the elo. Like, I, right. I would peg, peg him at, like, 2K for the first six minutes. But if you clipped it at the blind, right. I don't know, 1,400. So, hopefully he picks it up at the end. There's just no way. Oh, my God, 35 wool? I feel like... This is weird though. Like you don't have to go for zero, but I feel like mentally you have to go for zero. You know what I mean? Like you have to. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like like you don't want to be a bitch, right? And then like, then if you actually have to zero next seed, like not go for it. Obviously, it's fucking cage fifty eight, so it's over. Um, no, I hear like, you saying that. Do you know what I mean? Momentum. Like, like momentum, you get it. Yeah. You get the momentum. You get it in your mental. Like like instead of beating the guy by like uh, maybe a minute, you beat him by two or three, and it's like damn. Also, I think Angle Boy died again. I've been focused on Loki the whole time, but Angle Boy needs more trades. Oh, was he task overlapping? I don't know what's happening. Wow. Imagine this is I flies. That would be fantastic. Unfortunately, it's at the first. Also, the first portal is like forced to uh, 
snap. It, like, can't, it has to hit surface almost. Um, it's, it can be like at most five Y levels below the one in the nether. So you, I don't think you physically hit strong unless you build your first portal like on the nether floor. It's like one of the only like truly non-vanilla things in ranks. Maybe the only one. Um, is that the portal snapping's weird? But it's just because like people don't get caved, right? I think it's a good change. I didn't like oh, it at it's first. It's definitely a good change. I think um, it's, I think it's a great change. But it's nice, yeah. Yeah, uh, getting getting caved is just always the worst. It's just a terrible yeah. feeling. But I still have seen people like if you build your portal in the nether like Y seventy. You get like a Y sixty five cave in the overworld, like Y one twenty miles. Or like Y one forty shadow tomato. Inka boy forfeited, wow, he sent the one eye and missed. And just gave it up. First forfeit we've seen. They are allowed to do it. Yeah. Um I guess he just figured it was over, right? He's in the end, you miss your second portal, because like what there's still a line, right? You hit the stronghold, go for zero. But I mean who knows? It would have right? been crazy though, yeah. He, I don't know. I mean Maybe maybe he sees he's in the end for a while, so he knows he probably didn't go for zero. Not sure how much this is gonna tell us. I mean, it's just like what Ingle Boy died. This game is last time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ingle Boy died two minutes and thirty seconds in, so he found the stronghold two minutes fifty seconds later. That was kind of it. I mean, other than that, like he's in the Bastion first. He just dies, you know. Mm hmm. What are you supposed to do? Yeah. I mean, what do you think about this, dude? I'm gonna have you talk for a bit because I'm eating. <laughs> okay, I, 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 dang, I was gonna give you the, I was gonna give you the mic, and then I was gonna eat my my bagel. But you know what? <laughs> I, I'll, 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 I'll take the, I'll take the hit here. I'll, I'll take the hit. I'll, I'll, this is my, this is my, uh, I don't know. I need to like hunger reset or something, like a low food run. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I mean. Good match so far. We've, I mean, this 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 has been maybe on the less exciting, I would say, of the of the spectrum for the uh, compared to the other matches we've seen today. But you know, still, uh, I would love to see a close finale between these two because we've seen, you know, one match where Loki died, one match where Anko Boy died, and I would love to see in the last match it to be no deaths, just clean, clean battle. You know, exactly. Like like you said. It's nice to watch when both players are on, like, at least playing the seed out fully, you know? Like, even if someone's behind by a lot, there's still catch-up opportunities. But, like, if someone dies, you kind of just know where the seed's going to go, right? So, yeah. it's just, uh, it's hard. But we have Shipwreck. It says it's Ankle Boy's pick, but again, I mean, it doesn't matter whose pick it would be. You're playing the one seed that's left. Um, I think we can get right into it. Let's do it. That was a pretty quick seed, though. I mean, I guess Ankle Boy did forfeit, but Loki was in the end sub-10, or sub-9. So, could have sub-10 with a zero. Haven't seen a sub-10 yet today. Will this be the one? Maybe. Let's Very see interesting. It. Here goes the loading screens. Pretty synced up, too, which is nice. You always love to see that. I like seeing chat cheering for their... Uh, their streamer with the messages, the the copy bosses with the the Loki has the Steve thing. Has, <laughs> any, anyone in chat know has Loki ever used like a like a skin, or is it a full Steve Andy? I mean, I was Steve Andy myself for a while. Holy shit, buried treasure! Eagle Boy doesn't know where the ship is. It's under you, bro. Down. You see it? Bless your soul. Nine iron, dude. I, on nine iron. I'm going up back to the island because it's close. I'm making shears and stone tools. Ooh, That's what I like I'm doing. that play. I like that play. I like that play. Because you have to get a stone axe anyways, unless you want a wood axe. Oh my god, you pre-check the food chest, TNT. You go up, it's it's over. You don't even do shears. You do a freaking iron pressure plate, bro. Like look out, like like Loki's freaking out. He's like, do I want to get the stone? No, I'm going back. Am I gonna get the wood? Am I get a wood axe? Like, I don't know. I would play this overall way different from the way these players are playing it. I guess that is some actually like merit to checking the food chest first is there could be TNT. I've never thought of that. And then you could yeah. use the TNT. Because if one of these, I mean, I guess like, again, you could always 
whip it out in the overworld, but or in the nether, but if you don't have good nether like terrain to get a TNT off, like if you're floating or in a basalt or like just on an island, like it's very hard. Um you'd much rather enter the nether with a stack of dirt than without a stack of dirt. Um but I don't know, I mean it looks pretty linear from both these guys. And there's probably only one way to go for the ravine and it's right there. Even though there's no kelp, ocean only goes one way, so they're both going that way. Yeah. But Mr. Ankle Players. Boy, it, did Ankle Good Boy job. find a cave somehow? I missed that. I was watching Loki's screen. I think Ankle Boy found a cave, so I think he caught up a little bit of the time that he lost for. I mean, he caught up all the time. He's ahead. He's in first. He caught up all the time. Wow. Yeah. Just found like some god cave. I mean, it's a ballsy play, right? Because you know. Oh, look at that. Loki's getting blocks. Oh, hey, Bills. <laughs> this is good, though. It's going to be slower, but if he needs the blocks, it's much faster. Right now, like, I don't know what. Ankle Boy's just got to dig a little bit. They're probably going to get to Bastion at some other times. But. Loki's got an insane gas up, but it's probably fine. <laughs> Oh! As I say that, he takes three hearts. It's only bad, like, if it shoots on the piglins or, like, direct hits you or puts you on yeah. fire or something. Like, this one's going to the Bastion, but I think it's fine. No pig punch here is a bit sus, but he's probably fine. Pig punch there from Ankle Boy. I mean, you don't want to die, right? But I think if you have ten hearts, you punch a pig there, try to get, like, a couple stragglers, but... Looks like it's fine. Both players doing the same route. I mean, this is just expected, too. Like, if you're entering housing from the same spot, there's very little variation. I mean, Ankle Boy's getting one gold block and the other two later. Loki's getting all three. Again, this is like a very time neutral play. Like, maybe within like one or two seconds of actually mattering. Um, both doing basically the same thing. Very, very similar. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Before. A close scene? Yeah, they both saw the fort too, so there's no like terrain issues, right? It's like throw good pearls, you're at the fort. This should be close. Assuming neither of them die. <laughs> Hopefully, right? But Loki did make up time. Like, he was in the nether second, and he got to this bastion first, and he's going to be done with his trades first. Unless he got rolled on piglins, he's going to be done with his trades first. Which I think is, like, I don't know, better terrain. Got some, had some blocks um, from the TNT, which was nice. Like, entered the nether and almost immediately just ripped the TNT. Yeah. Skeleton here is unfortunate, but dealing with it very, very well for Mango Boy. Yeah, and there's nine bread from the ship in the overworld, so it's not the end of the world. 24 flesh as well, so probably won't yeah, need 100% even with like that. It's the iron axe out, which is nice, both players. I mean, wood, wood axe is like impossibly painful. Stone axe, you can like maybe deal with for the blazes, but wood axe is just no way, right? Like, I'd rather make an iron yeah. sword than a wood axe, and I hate using an iron sword. That's how much I don't like a wood axe. Wow. <laughs> it's just like, you need to hit both crits because it's eight damage instead of nine, I think. No, I well, agree. I, I, I agree with you. It doesn't even really it make sucks. sense. Is, but, it, uh, is, it, is it like seven damage instead of eight? Is wood axe mm. seven? Yeah, and then like stone is eight? Yeah. Is stone eight and then iron is nine and then diamond is nine with a better cooldown? Or is wood seven Something and stone like that, nine? Yeah. I don't, I should know this, man. Yeah, stone it's is 9. Like I thought it would that. go 7, 8, 9. It doesn't matter. Ankle Boy's the fort quicker, which, again, makes no sense to me because I thought Loki was just trading faster. Like, I, it looks to me like a player's winning, and then they go to the next split, and then that player is just behind. They're just, yeah, they're, they're trading. That way. Yeah. They're trading these micro time saves and time losses all over the place. Um. Which just means, I mean, they're both, like, very, very, like, evenly matched players, right? If, if we're swapping these splits back and forth, like, there's not been yeah. one player consistently ahead in this right. seed. Or, I mean, and I guess we can't really uh, yeah, compare the other seeds because they both just, uh, they both died. Ankle Boy, oh my god, he has seven routes already. Wow. Dude, Loki, Loki's gonna get whopped on strays here. Has four, and he's committing to a blaze TNT and no strays. Now, he's on 20 RD, like he's not forcing it, right? Enko Boy purled to the more open part of the fort down there and kind of forced it. Now, did he did he see better spawns? Like, yeah, maybe, right? But Loki isn't fully playing this 5 RD. This is going to give Enko Boy, like, a big leap. Because 
Loki's blinding slower and has less rounds. Wow. Yeah. I think Inkaboy have enough wood though. Loki did need to get trees there. Is Inkaboy gonna remember to get wood if he needs to? I don't know. Loki two eye gets it. No breaks. And the boy's going. He's gonna be in the stronghold very quickly. Surely he has wood. I, I couldn't see like how much he got from uh, spawn or whatever. Uh, the shipwreck, right? Because you're kind of just limited to the shipwreck. But Inko boy is yeah. He's on the X. Just as we to Z. He's look great. But I think Loki's gonna just have rates here and it's gonna be gone really quick too. Yeah, five one two gone. It's closer than it looks. I think. But is it zeroable? Inko boy missed, but I think they're going to the same chords. Did he build it too high? Did he miss? And he has a hundred. That's unfortunate. Wait! Loki's going to different chords! What? I think Ankle Boy missed! Oh no. Let's see. Let's see if Loki hits it. Oh my god! No! Loki Lo missed! Oh no! Loki was the one that missed! Bro, what? How did Ankle Boy hit surface? I'm like, why 40? Oh my god. Ankle Boy hits the stronghold for the portal room. Loki's, Jeez, Loki's man. 300, 400 blocks away. I cannot believe we've seen two people miss today on two eyes. Like, Ankle Boy missed in the last scene, but he threw one eye. I cannot believe we've had two misses just desync like it's just raw nerves right like everyone knows what it is everyone knows how to avoid it like there's no yep. excuse right you just if you think you desync you can like see the errors on nimba too you gotta throw another eye right it's just i don't know man nerves or what it is but it's unfortunate it, it, this was a freaking close great match until loki just missed i thought ankle boy missed too but I, I mean, you, you don't know, right? Yeah, it, it, it seemed like it. Yeah. Like, Portal, Y65, digging down, Loki's going to different chords. There's a measurement here. Yeah, does it... 300. Ooh. Rough. He gets it, but where's the desync? I think it's... Is there a desync? I mean, he got 100%, though. There, there's on one eye. There's too many pixels. I think it's the first eye. But that's a desync. Um... Yeah, but yeah, I mean, sure. the winner of this seed goes on to round of eight. The loser is out of the entire tournament, and it looks like Inko Boy is setting himself up to be our fourth upset of the day out of four matches. A higher-seeded player hasn't won a match yet. Oh, I might have done the transition too late. Oh, that's pretty good. Three plus one for the fans. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Or should we we like take off style points? Like a, I think a, we should go back to the full seed. Just have him play again. Like a 10 second or make him just stand still for 10 seconds next uh yeah. in the round of eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be good too. That'd be good. Wow <laughs> man. Inko Boy takes it. I cannot believe it's been full upsets all day. I, I actually can't believe it. I was saying this yeah. earlier, but I um when I was filling out my Bracket prediction? Like I did my own just for fun? Yeah. I picked the like higher seed, like the person who's like supposed to win, basically like every time. And it's just been wow. the exact opposite. Man, I wanna make I, I should have made a I should have made a bracket. Now I now I regret it. It's okay, you can make one for top eight, because I don't think anyone has gotten all four of these right in a row. And that's true, chat. We did see our first sub-10 of the day for Anchor Boy to close it out. I don't remember oh what the God, exact time notice. was. It was a mid or high nine. I mean, 8.03 and enter. We don't get the end game split here, but not a big deal. I mean, just well played, right? Like, 
Loki just must have mismeasured, but Ingleboy was still ahead. Could have been a cool looking per trace, but I don't know what it is, man. It's just some desync. Like, like I said, it's just a mistake that shouldn't happen at this level of play. You know, I don't, I don't yeah. know what to like really compare it to. It, it's like, it's like forget. Not, it's not like forgetting where the golden the bastion is. It's like I don't know. Blaze betting the wrong way and blowing up the spawner, right? Like it just shouldn't happen. Like you have all the info on Nimbot too to where you should know. Um, so it's just unlucky, right? It's just how it goes. Um, you win some, you lose some. And Inkleboy won some. And Loki lost some. So maybe we will. See an Inkleboy winner interview. Let me see. I'm asking our tournament organizer, Oliver, if Inkleboy wants to talk. Is there a site to see the entire bracket? There is. Let me pull it up for you guys here for a second. Um, I'll pull it up here, guys. One second. Here's our bracket. It's exclamation mark bracket if you look. Um, let me update it real quick. We had an ankle boy 2-1. Versus low key. So that's what it looks like. The round two matches and semifinals and finals. All three of these will be played next weekend. All these are coming right up. Back to back to back to back to back to back to back. We still have, we're, we're only halfway through our day, Nerdy. How are you feeling? Feeling good. I think this, uh, I was going to say, I think this next match is my most anticipated of the entire day. And who, is, who, is, who is next? I didn't, I didn't get to see who's next. Next up, we have Rainex, who's obviously, you know, very good friend of mine. Absolute god gamer. The legend himself. Going against, I think, one of the most interesting stories so far of Pulsar, who is the number one seed from the qualifier. Absolute, like, just shredded the competition. Maybe a relatively unknown name, uh, just coming in and just owning. I don't know. Super, super awesome. So for me, yeah. this next match is just both players. You know, I don't know. Very exciting. I don't think they're ready yet, but uh, I mean, we're already talking about it. Might as well throw it to the player spotlights of our next bracket match. Like you said, Rain versus Pul Rain versus Pulsar. What do you think about Rain's player card here? What do you think? Um. It's a very rain thing to just mention that as his Minecraft accomplishments. He has one or two more things in there that he may should. What maybe could I? What could I add but... up? BTRL, IRL winner, regular, first BTRL winner, multiple rivals winner, former world, world record, record holder, <laughs> RTA world record holder, second place. I don't know, man. That was probably just scratching the surface, right? Like, yeah. But look, look he did. Ma he did help make a gap stables viable. I think. Let me look it up, guys. Let me look it up. Oh, I'm on. No, this will work. Um, how do I do? Like, before we have some time to kill. Before, like March 2021. Yeah, let's see what. Uh, like one of the first things Rain ever sent me. Now this was all like, uh, like I yeah yeah yeah. This is it. We were talking about set seed stuff for a little bit because he uh, he played set seed a little bit after he got uh, sub fifteen or one of his world records or something. And then this is is this yeah? It's an unlisted video from February twenty twenty one. Of like base, it's basically the same stables route that we do that we do today. Um, let me here. I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Let me see. Let's see if I can bring it up for the squad. Um, I'll mute it too. This it's basically the same thing we do today. Um, I don't know if a lot of people actually know that Rain was a pioneer. So I'm actually happy that he um, showed this off. Let's see. This is Rainex's uh, contribution that he wanted to share with us for his 
notable accomplishment. So we're giving it the credit it deserves here. Let's see. So the dig-in spot's a little different. I do remember we used to do this for a while on the right. You check the left side. I haven't watched this video in years, but... And there's a manhunt stable as wow. Like, look at, look at the tech over two years ago. And it's the, sa it's the same trading hole. I mean, you're missing, like, one block for the pigs to get stuck, but it's the same idea. There's small differences here and there, but, like... Not only is he an amazing mechanical player, but, like, the innovation like is just unmatched so that's good to see that is good to see anything else we think you should talk about about rain nerdy you eating your bagel um i'm i eating my bagel but all right i'll, I'll cover it if you're eating a bagel i just noticed I no, eat, no, I it's, eat no it's good i do enjoy talking about this but yeah, I mean, very, very high win rate is probably the thing that yeah. sticks out to me here. 68% win rate's good. His PB is better than his rank time, but he, again, only played 130 rank seeds. Like, just might not have rolled the god rank seed, you know? Um, two and two against Pulsar, also interesting. No one has really, like, whopped their opponent. You know what I mean? Like, I was even really surprised, too. I guess, I guess because, like, Silver and Ral in my head on like the one and two seeds have a big gap between like them and third place. But Rao is playing Dougal and Dougal like is not bad, right? Like he's literally ninth. So that makes sense why that was close. And then Silver, I think, has to play Automat. And I'm pretty sure they've probably never played because Automat's only played 20 games. I don't think Automat was ever in the top 50. Like I don't think Silver could have ever played Automat. So I don't know if we'll ever see... Um, I don't know if we'll ever see like a complete one-sided thing, but I don't know what the stats look like for the rest of our games. We'll see. Um, but what we can see right now is Ranix's opponent in this match, Pulsar. And now, Nerdy, I know you like Pulsar's, Pulsar's story. Tell us a bit about it. Tell us why yeah, I mean, it's impressive. I mean, here's what I see. I mean, I think the most obvious thing is Barely above 50% win rate, right? Uh, and also, wow, I didn't realize this is a, that is a lot of games played. So here's kind of this. I'm going to tell you guys a story. I don't know if this is true, but this is what I feel like is happening. I'm, I, I haven't looked at the stats. I feel like maybe Pulsar really practiced a lot, a lot, a lot, and, and just really slow, started to get better and better over time. And throughout those thousand matches, uh, really amped up skill wise i i I'm, i could be wrong but that's what i feel like I, I feel like that's what happened maybe not um maybe they just stagnated but uh, i would guess that's probably what happened there uh coming to rsg is very difficult so uh it's very easy but man i would absolutely love to see pulsar like make it far in this tourney that'd be awesome that'd be awesome uh you know just absolutely shredding in the last uh, new qualifier. So, yeah, let's see. Yeah, they had... I mean, this ranked average time is not insane, right? But again, there's a thousand matches of sample size here. So it could be like, if you looked at the last hundred, the average could be better. Like the last 200 average could be better. And also like win rate, but who knows? Like a thousand matches is crazy. I, I, I don't even know if I've played like 500 fully in all three seasons. I have no idea if I've played... 500 and they've played a thousand yeah. in just season one um and and, and the you know, important thing to notice like those we, we like this I, I at least to me i feel like um like the win rate may be low or whatever but to me that could even indicate that they're really pushing themselves to like go faster and go and and, and you know um and, and really improve rather than just playing super super safe uh so and to me that i think regardless of whatever happened uh, even if it's, you know, barely above 50%, the thing I like about this is that I see this and I say, wow, that really paid off. And to see the result in the last qualifier was awesome to see someone just absolutely shred just from practice, uh, just from a lot of repetition, a lot of practice. And it, it really paid off. Yeah. Like Nerdy said, if you guys weren't watching the qualifiers last, uh, last weekend, Pulsar was the only player to go through the entire qualifiers without dropping a single seed 
There were eight people that qualified. We had two people that won the tiebreak seat at the end, and then out of the other six, Pulsar was the only person out of those six, and I mean the only person, I guess, out of all 70 that even signed up and played, uh, to finish in the top half of every single seat that was played. So it's just insane consistency. Um, I'm going to be a bit of a Debbie Downer here as we switch to the seed, uh, seed selection graphic, but I don't know if the consistency will really matter. Playing Rain, like just the insane speed. Like a couple yeah. of Pulsar's <laughs> wins, he was like 30th place in the seed out of 60 or like 14th place in the seed out of 30. If you're playing Rain, Rain's going to be first on that seed or second on that seed or third on that seed. You know what I mean? Um... I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not trying to downplay, like, the just insane domination of the qualifiers uh, and the grind. Obviously, has played way more ranked games than Rain has. Like, I think it's go either way, for sure. And what do you think about these seed bands, Nerdy? <laughs> okay, did I miss anything? My audio just cut out for, like, a full minute. Did I, did I, did I? You're good, you're good. I, I was, okay, I was okay. people talking. I'm so sorry. What Thank do you, you think for covering about... Me. The uh, yeah. pick bands. Also, people in chat, everyone's saying first BT of the day. You must not have been awake at the early hour of 9 in the morning, okay? Because the first match, it was four hours ago almost. There was a BT seed, guys. But we're getting another one. Let's fucking go. Can we get some LFGs in the chat, Nerdy, as we talk about what do you think about these seed bands? Yeah, I mean, this is very interesting. We talked about two players that are maybe mechanically uh, skilled doing this, potentially, being confident mechanically. Uh, and, and this is exactly what we're getting. We're getting two players that are very skilled mechanically that are now both banning the same type of seed, essentially. Um, and so the result is Rain X gets buried treasure, uh, and I would guess, if I had to predict, I would say that Rune Portal or Stripper... I mean, well, obviously, Rune Portal or Stripper... I'd maybe even say it would just be Rune Portal next if you really want to focus that just, like, pure mechanics, like, super linear stuff. Um, but either way, we'll have to wait and find out. Um, I think this is going to be a close one, for sure. I think this is, like I said, this is my most anticipated uh, match of the day. So we'll have to wait and, wait and see, but... Man, buried treasure up first. I'm, I'm, I'm freaking excited. Let's freaking go. Yeah, and I'm, I'm ready to hop right into it. Um, Let's do it. Uh, oh, someone, it rains practicing zero in the background. You hear the anchor? I thought, I thought I had this stream set up incorrectly, but always on that <laughs> grind. Always on that grind. Love to see it. Um, this tournament and, for rain. This tournament's just warm up for his. Uh, warm up for the runs later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Warm up for the practice later. Oh, exactly. Warm up for the exactly. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have watched the HPG highlights video, but there are three clips of rain hitting some impressive zeros, in the sense that he messes up the zero and recovers it in a jaw dropping way. So he is, like you said, I think he's warming up for the practice later. That's a good point. Yes. I agree. And this is a BTC, but there's a this is not a very treasure nerdy. This is a completable ruin portal. The four ob you don't need a bucket. And both players this again breaking wild. the chest, looking for that. Is it is it is it on them? Oh my god. Pulsar just already. Pulsar a with ahead. that out. Yeah, a few seconds. Not that was bad. a faster BT. To be fair, I was on a rain screen, that spike looked weird. I'm on his side here, but I mean Pulsar already we had. Pulsar did very well. Uh, <laughs> I know you can cheer for Pulsar in this match. I'll be ch I'll cheer for Rain X. Me and Ringo, me and Ringo, way, way back. He he showed me the stables good gap viability thing first, which is insane to me because I've never thought of a, a single good idea to improve spearing ever. I haven't developed any <laughs> tech, so I'm not sure why he wanted my approval first as someone who didn't even play any percent back then. But Listen, that was his one notable favorite. accomplishment, so I feel like that means a lot to me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hold that with me. I'm shocked I have to get Flint here too on, on a RP seed, RP uh, room portal. That's what the cool kids say to abbreviate it. You think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I wonder as many abbreviations as possible. Pulsar is doing the ravine. Rain's gonna do this room portal. I think it's gonna be the same. Oh yeah. I mean, Rain's gonna get a higher spawn in the Nether, maybe. Oh, sorry, ghost bucketed. Ghost blocked. What the fuck? Rare. 
Nice completion nice from Rain. Again, something that he practices probably more than anybody else. Silver's probably gonna get mad that I said that, but uh, oh yeah, wow, look at this. Pulsar's at Y40, Rain's at Y58. It actually mattered, maybe by wow. a lot. This is at least a few seconds, if not more. Is it a heads up play that Rain wanted to do that? Did he not see the ravine and not really care? Like, I mean, Pulsar, we've, we've Pulsar knew the ruin portal was there. He chose to not use it, you know what I mean? Like he knew about both the uh, both the things. Um, yeah, this is like a oh, super oh, rare oh, situation. Oh my god! But yeah, rain. Oh my god! Rain. One rain. Eat that gap. Clutch his gap. I mean, he he, he had to run in, like through four skeletons. I'm not sure how much of that was his fault, but it's a good recovery. Yeah. Stables triple, single triple. We saw a lot of people lose a qualifier seed to playing single triple, but is it double? Yes. I like playing double triple, especially when they're connected in ranked. I'm not sure my thoughts about divorce double triple. That's why I call it when they're split. I, I don't know who said that to me the other the other day, a week or two ago, but I, I'm sticking with that. Divorced, <laughs> divorced triple chests. But these ones are married, um, so I'm very for this idea. Ranked juicer trades almost guarantee that you get what you need in eight gold blocks. Um, and also, it's like additionally the fact that if you oh my god <laughs> if you like see the double triple your opponent is probably gonna also do double triple do you know what i mean so if you then do the gap and they can get out on the double triple then you lose then you just lose like a minute if not more but if you do the double triple and they also do and it doesn't work then you both have to do the gap does that make sense so it's like basically i think always correct like no one should do the gap on purpose but again, you can't know the trades you'll get. You won't know. Um, but, I mean, there's enough pearls. The four was, like, on them, I think. But I could be wrong. 18 pearls. Pulsar is 17. Are you just pearling or something? No? I don't know where the extra pearl trade went. Or extra pearl. Um, Rain's out. Is there, need yeah, to be a home? Out of the Is there a home portal pearl hang here or no? I'm not sure how much Abby we're working with. It's hard to inventory track everything, you know? Yeah, for sure. But it doesn't look like it. Has to be a little careful careful with the pearls. Only four. Oh my teams. goodness. Pulsar Ooh. scaring me there. Oh, fell into lava there? That's some fire yeah. though. You said that well, at the no, same time they, rain they had through a very, some... very tall fall. They Oh, it's fall damage, perhaps? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I get it, I get it. Rain ahead. He's got to be behind on the food department, just from that skeleton mishap. And yeah. this, these strays don't look great at the start, but he is in the fort first. Um, so there is a lead there, but he's going to know Pulsar's close behind. Pulsar's going to get this advancement really soon. I wonder if he's... Oh, wow. Doesn't get by that guy. Gas. This is, this is like, very chaotic for Rain here. Upwards gassed is very hard to hit. Got a blaze down there on the side also. Like, are we going for that blaze? This is very chaotic on the strays for Rain. So Pulsar could make up some time here if he just commits to the spawner. But the thing I like what Rain's doing, I don't know if he's doing it really on purpose, but he's getting these strays while keeping this spawner loaded. So it's going to cycle through these spawns. He, like, he came back right here. There's like, he's going to kill six blazes at this spawner. Um, just because they were there. I mean, that that hit was a bit bad. But he's got five rods already. Right. I'm not sure. Pulsar is trying to find a different spawner. I guess he's trying to commit to the strays. Um, it's two down there. I mean, I think the rates were good. This might work out for him. But if it doesn't work out, it's a lot of time lost to then have to go back to that same spawner. Um, whereas Rain kind of overlapped his strays with the spawner. You know? So... Right. Does depend, and yeah, look, Pulsar's gotta have to go back now. Um, getting some strays along the way. Has five rods. Is that the sixth? Doesn't look like it. Nice two eye measurement from Rain. Don't see any desync in the pixels that I can see. I'm like nervous now that people are gonna miss. Like, I, I just didn't even mentally think it would ever happen, and then we, we've had two people fully miss today. It's just, I feel like with eye measurements, I can totally see that being a nerves thing. Like, very precise movements, very precise measurements. 
Yeah. That's the kind of thing that can easily get messed up by nerves, so. You're right. Um, and I'm not I'm not sure how like the, the eye measurements work entirely with um with the what am I trying to say? Like the zoom macro stuff or the, the stretch macros or whatever. Because for me with just the OBS zoom, I you can just pause buffer a lot. And I guess it is slower, right? Because you're it's just fully RTA. But yeah. um I feel like you should just never mess it up if you can just pause buffer always. Yeah, I mean I, yeah, but nerves nerves are a weird thing. Nerves are a weird thing. You know, yeah. turning turning you'll mess up one cycles where you never mess it up even, you know. I don't know. There there's something about turnies that, that really does elevate the the nerves. Oh for the, sure. The shape. This is yeah. really interesting too. Both runners getting the cords. Pulsar made up a lot of time. And they both have like no pearls. And it looks like they're both gonna start digging through the wall at around the same spot. So it's actually very it's very interesting how there was a lot of like um, different play in the fort, and now they're just, they've just transitioned into doing the same thing. Yeah, Rain trying to get in the wall here in, like, the same spot. Hey, it's just, like, they're at, like, the same chords. I mean, obviously, that's how it works when you are trying to I spy. Does Rain not know? Are they going to different chords again? Yeah, it's definitely possible. I mean, Rain's digging down at different chords. Pulsar could be going sideways. Yeah, but it looks like Pulsar's going sideways. Okay, okay. Maybe, yes, maybe not. So they're, I think Hopefully they're going not. to the same chords, yeah. No, I, I don't want to see someone miss again. It's just so sad, you know? Like, it's such yeah, a good match, and then high. someone misses, and it's like, damn, well, what do you do? They're gonna, oh, same cave. Dude, they're ice at, like, the same time. This is insane to watch. This, this is, is really close. This is where the seconds matter. I mean, is there stream delay? Like, who's actually winning? It's like exactly tied. Spike it, it mid. Really close. I don't, but that I think that there's like no stream delay on either one. So. Oh wow, straight mid. Pulsar's going top right for like five seconds. I think it's not zeroable though. So it will matter, but not that much. Oh, it is zeroable. Wait for rain, it is. Wait for pulsar, oh, wow. it is too. Because it's a three eye. Oh, it is God. zeroable. I'm not gonna zoom in because we have to watch both. Yeah, we, we just have to. No food. Rain and rain look, oh, bro, two and a half. Pulsar zero. Pulsar rain might get the zero off then. But if he dies, this looks like a hard tower. 94 and he's going to push God. it. 99. I think he gets there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pulsar may pull this off. Two very good first bets there. I mean, he has, a, he has like nine Ooh, explosives. No, he's gonna get it, right? This, this is it. Wow. Oh, he has to do the anchor, but that's fine. Wow. Wow, man. Pulsar. Wow. Dude. Insanity. <laughs> I mean, what? Oh, Ring and Rain gets an insta perch. I mean, he doesn't get there in time, I don't think. What a close game. Wait, wait, wait! Pearl Star can't go down! Wait, what is happening? Oh my god. Oh my god, no, he still makes it. Dude, what? I think it's game. Oh my god. I wow. just like. Wow. Did he have no pearl and no boat? Oh, no he didn't pearl. get his boat from the dig in the wall. Dude. What? Jeez. Wow. What a crazy first game. Absolutely insane. I mean, credits to Rain for like not forfeiting after he sees free the end and like actually one cycling, it literally could have mattered. Like, dude, what? I stopped That's watching, crazy. I thought it was over. I didn't realize he couldn't get off the fucking, oh my God. I thought Pulsar, he might die like, out for a second. He was only yeah, like two hearts. Look at this, Pulsar making up time somehow in the fort. Fort to stronghold like a uh, terrain split or I thought his strays were worse. Like, I was even commenting on the fact that the fact that he went away from the, like, blazes and then back, and then Rain had to, like, was at that spawner the whole time. I thought Pulsar was so behind in the forts. Yeah, me too. No, I, I did as well. It's just, it, I just, damn, Rain looking at the Enderman there, just really unfortunate. Yeah, he probably, like, hits the zero too. I mean, we, we'll never know, right? But... 
Rain as you said, he's zero right warming now. up for and practice, and that's what you practice. Ahead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh man, that was crazy though. Absolutely insane first that, game. Yeah, that is insane. <laughs> uh, I cannot believe it ended like that, man. If Pulsar, no, if Pulsar lost that, like it's almost good that he won because I feel like if you lose that, the mental is like shattered. You know, you get the free the end first. God. You didn't pick up your boat. You have to go down. Like, wow, that That's is just under turning games. pressure. That's pretty easy to like fall too far and I don't know. Yeah, that's insane. Well, we have our next seed pick. Nerdy, it's either Shipwreck or Ruin Portal. It's Rain's pick. What do you think it picks? I think Rain picks Ship just because it's still pretty linear. Yeah, there we go. Nice. It's still pretty linear. It makes sense. You know, he's more used to it probably. But... It's I don't know. It that just makes sense to me. Rune Portal's a little weird, you know, a little quirky. Ship is uh I feel like that's right up Rain's alley. Yeah. I'd agree with you. Throw another Rune Portal for C3 if Rain wins it, but I mean I got nothing else to say. I want to see these guys play again, man. That was I was on my edge of my seat the whole time watching that seed. Wow. I I'm I'm just ready to go, man. I am pumped to watch it. Literally down to like that must have been like five seconds. Like rain was oh my god, <laughs> and the fact that it's like a tall tower too, so he has to like scale down it more. No right. pearl, no boat, no water bucket even to like pour down the side and go is just crazy. <laughs> so crazy. Dude. Yeah, wait. Was a white, well, what happened to the water bucket? Was the water bucket is just never there, right? Because it's like you just have a lava bucket in the, in the nether and you never pick yeah, it up. Yeah, I then guess so. There was just no, um, no boat because he was doing like the wall dig and just didn't have it. Didn't pick it up. I, I don't know if that was on purpose or an accident, but no idea. Craziness. Yeah, no, this is... This is insane. But here we are in the shipwreck. Both pretty similar decision making so far here. The biggest difference I see is the fact that uh, Pulsar chooses to go for the food chest second. Uh, I think it's such a minimal thing. Like stuff, you get to overlap yeah. the, the food craft, which kind of does matter, but I don't think it's really a big deal. That's, a, that's the only thing you're getting. Yeah. Like even if you get TNT on a seed like this, you're not getting anything. Rain beelines the center. Also, yeah, nice. didn't see it. I'm not sure why. It looked like very visible from Rain's end. Um, is it this? Did, did Rain really get here this quickly? He must have, right? Yeah, Pulsar just did a loop around the island. Okay, so Rain's got a sizable 20, 30 second lead going to the nether. Nice. Surely we'll get to see a C3, right? Visible forward off spawn. Terrain to really Bastion. Really, a double upset good. again. Surely, come on. We we need a higher seed to win, but at the same time, I mean, Pulsar is playing hot. Axe the gas. Oh my god, he could have killed the gas on axe. Pulsar's ravine is like fake. He's doing some sort of lava pool portal, so it must have been different. Um, enters. Which is weird. I still don't know where Rain went. It's hard to visualize everything. But I haven't seen the Bastion. At least I don't think so. Oh, Pulsar enter entered uh, way closer. He saved like maybe 5 10 seconds. Obviously lost time like entering slower, but he saved time like uh the enter was in the way of the Bastion. Obviously he couldn't have known that, but it's just interesting. <laughs> oh, I need to uh add one for Pulsar. Sorry, guys. Forgot to do the plus one, the little circly dots on the top. That's my fault. Actually, that one's on nerdy. Hey, can I blend that one on you? It was on. Yeah, I'll take the, <laughs> I'll take the heat. Sorry, he guys. Said you, he said you take the heat for something at some point, right? You, you can take this one. It's a small thing. I'll eat, I'll eat this <laughs> one, yeah. Oh? Nah, Rain's got armor. Okay. 
And it looks like they're both finding the same turn to the Bastion, though. Like, squeezing through this little Soul Sand gap here, which is nice. But, again, Rain's just ahead. And look at this shift in routes, too. Pulsar is playing Manhunt. Rain, um... Rain did top down. Interesting. Like, so much variation on the same exact seed. It's just crazy. Rain is low. I guess 10 carrots. Okay, you're just fine. On the whole seed. You're just completely fine. There's lots of food, lots of stuff to deal with here. Yeah, I mean, he should eat, though. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. You know, Two and a half rain. is like scary. That's true. That that's a good a... point. Yeah. <laughs> Gold carrot craft. Only gonna craft nine. That's fine. Doesn't matter. And if you need more than nine golden carrots and two bread, there's a bigger issue. You know, like you're you're dead. True. Or the seed's really bad. Twenty pearls. Stack of string. Two anchors. Definitely zero bull. No obby, I mean, obviously some obby, but not 20. And I think Rain went up also. I, like, he started top down. So I think he has the obby up there, so he will know that he doesn't have 20. Pulsar is going to have to check the top because he did manhunt. So, yeah, Rain leaving these trades with 17. Just can't get 20, I think. Have to play home portal. Again, I don't think it's really a big deal. The home portal is literally on the fortress. It's just like has to be aware of that, you know? And it looks like that's what he's doing. I mean, there, there's only, there's no more chests to check, right? And Pulsar is gonna experience the same problem. Pulsar dropped his pickaxe, but covered it, pretty pog. And nice fort under for rain. Literally, again, doesn't even need to pearl hang here because your home portal is just on this fort leg like, somewhere, or somewhere in the fort. So. Just completely unnecessary. Basically, to be no time loss. Honestly, the biggest time loss is like, um, you're gonna have to swim up out of your magma ravine, and that's probably even worse for Pulsar now that I think about it. Yeah. Because he was in that weird lava lake cave thing, right? Whereas a magma ravine, you can like plop a soul sand down, go up the bubble column, and you're just right there. You're back on the surface, right. place a boat. You can even organize your inventory while you're in that bubble column. It's like the most insane task overlap ever. Whereas if you're in this lava cave, you have to fully nav back to where you got in, and then you have to... Oh my it's God. just very scuffed. Rain is making it work There's here. An army here. Oh, and he couldn't oh, get the block no. off. Oh, it was like, it. it was a good idea. It's so, like, improvised there, too. Such a weird spot to do it in, especially with those many guys. Like, one of them is a late straggler. But, I mean, props for trying that. that. I would have just tried to, like, punch them all. <laughs> or something. Four rods here for rain. Pulsar on. I mean, I'm in the fort, yeah. I, yeah, I don't know if they fort. even got 20. Did they get the backup backups? We'd have to look at the inventory check. I, I've been watching rain this whole time, if I'm being honest. Um, for this part of the seat, at least. Pulsar could have gotten 20 off of like the backup backups. But I, I can't imagine, right? Maybe they know they want to force 20 because of that lava cave thing. You know what I mean? Right. Maybe that's yeah, no, like for sure. part of the thing. But no, they have 16. Like 16 yeah, yeah. So and they have it's one just, less than rain. Uh, gold carrot trades maybe or something. It, it, it Ooh, is just so raw funny. being slower by like, I don't know, at least a minute at this point. I mean, they have five rods already, so these rates must just be insane, but... You have to play home portal in your cave. Rain's already measuring eyes. You're not even back in your cave yet. Are they just... Wait, they're just going to blind. What? Wow. I mean... No. Me I mean... What? If you know you're behind, you know your home portal sucks, you have a seed to play with, it's completely wrong. But the 1 in 10 that it's right... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it could definitely... It, you can win this. Like, this is... 606. Not... That is close. Oh. That is definitely a much better outcome. I mean, Rain's going back into the nether with the stronghold cords, but I think that saved Pulsar time. And there's look pearls. At that. That 11 eyes, though. 
little scary. Did it break? Yeah, that is true. It and broke. it's probably going to be a different stronghold than Reigns. I mean, we won't know. But, I mean, Pulsar's doing a great job here, too, of overlapping um, pearl throws with inventory clearing and eating food and crafting mass and stuff. I mean, it's good stuff, and he's cranking cords, but can't zero at all. No pearls. Zero eye, run is dead. He's now 137 blocks away. Could literally eye spy before rain. Which is yeah. very interesting. I mean, Zero's going to save Rain here. A Zero Eye is going to save Rain here. But this made Pulsar a lot of time back, which is, a, it's just a crazy play. But you're up a seed. Like, you would not do this yeah. if you're down a seed. You would not do it on seed three, I don't think. I, I, I just, I don't know if I'd take the risk. But I guess you're, like, what? You think that, hey... You're gonna lose and now this this gets in Rain's head too, maybe like how the fuck is he ahead of me? Like how did he cut you know what I mean? You're like how Right in your head it just it just makes no sense. That's um, crazy though. Different strongs though, like I said. Zero bull on Rain's end, not on Pulsar's. Different yep. nav. I liked, ooh, nice. Rain found it and looks like he found it first. Can also zero. Right I mean, he messed up the last zero. Um, so we'll nah, see. He, 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 it's a pretty consistent think? player though. I, I expect him to hit this. Let's see it. Right Back next. tall. Oh my God, almost looks at another item. Oh, that was seven. Brutal. 100 oh my god not nah, not nah. okay nah, good nah. that's good discipline that's good discipline nice try and wow oh what 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 do we miss i'm never going to focus cam again man like what the fuck <laughs> what? how is that what my fault is? how is that my fault man? i mean must have gotten creeping in the stronghold or something like Oh, zero eye maybe too? Yeah, we'd have to we'd have to look at the VOD. We currently don't have the budget for a replay system. What I mean by that is we have no idea how to make it work. Uh <laughs> um, Hold on, if it's a zero eye, there's no way you full reset that, right? Yeah, Do I'm you? not sure. I don't know. I don't know, I have no idea. Because all you need is to get like one rod and one pearl. I Guys, it, it was a that. different it was a different stronghold than what Rain had because he just blinded in a random fucking spot. So it doesn't matter. It's a we we have no idea. Someone has to watch his vod to figure out what happened. And currently, the more important thing is Rainx about to nail this one cycle and bring us to a CG. Three plus Let's one. Come on for the fans. Ah, nice. That's why he's a goat. Rain pulling back a seed. Very nice. Couldn't zero. That was scary. Pulsar covered that 600 blind distance really fast. Like that was um, that was almost really bad. Like look at like let's look at the splits here. Like Pulsar saved 50 seconds on this blind, but or no, no Pulsar saved a minute and a half from the Enter Fortress split to the Fine Stronghold True. split. Or to the, yeah, to the I Spy split. Pulsar saved a minute and a half with the blind travel play. Wow. Um, but again, I mean, literally, if that's like a 1K blind, then there's no time save. And if it's a 2K blind, your run's instantly over. It worked. Ooh. And I mean, I guess he played for it, right? You play for close, you have some golden carrots, you have some pearls. You know that if you do home portal, you're in a cave, you can't get up easily, you're already behind. Like, it's not the right play but in this seed it was the right play if that makes sense and it almost worked and, which is uh, crazy yeah it looks like maybe he died to a skeleton according to chat is that what chat's saying we'll trust chat twitch chat's never been wrong right i think i think he had to have died i don't think it was just a zero eye but up next we've got rune portal very exciting I mean, it should be just a very similar world. I'm, I, I'm ready to get right into this, man. I love watching these guys play. This is awesome. This is, like I said, my most anticipated match of the day. 
Um, so I'm excited to see where it goes. So far, I cannot say we have not been entertained. It's been a very good match. It's been... I mean, both matches have been close, entering the end on both, from, from both players, so... Yeah. Wait, no, I guess... Well, no, I mean, Stronghold, stronghold I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you mean. But I, we're never going to see a closer game than that than the first one. I'd be very yeah. shocked if we see a closer match in the rest of the entire playoffs than that first seed. Yeah. End fight is just insane. Looting? Nope. Damn. <laughs> no water. Immediately apparent is a very sus. Very sussy. Um... So yeah, I'm not sure where these guys are going to get water, but there is food. You probably don't need to kill any mobs. I mean, it's just... Both these players just crushing mechanically. Um, wait, why did Pulsar just reset? Did he craft a pickaxe instead of a bucket? Oh, no. I, it, I don't faster. know. I mean, 40 seconds, not a huge deal. But that is not what you want at the start of a seed, especially yeah. for the mental. But like especially it's against Rain X, you know. It's a very, very like easy mistake to make too. A lot of these ruin portal seeds are just pickaxe, you know. Right. Like a vast majority of them, it's it, you have to really be thinking, bucket, bucket, bucket. Like, I don't blame him. You know, like obviously there's a mistake, but. <laughs> ghost pick. Oh, ghost blocked. Holy shit. What the? Save the... Oh, he's good. Yeah. He has, he has enough water for sure. And yeah, this is just going to be a solid 30, 45 second lead for rain just off of not making a pickaxe, you know? And obviously these runners have to get pickaxe in the nether, but it is guaranteed three iron in every bastion uh, at least. And stables? Yeah. Divorce stables maybe? Can't tell if the back's a triple or not. Prince probably gonna wanna go get this way. food. Yeah, I yeah, think not it's a bad call. Oh oh my god. Lava close. Wow, it doesn't take a hit and gets four. Holy Nice. This is really nice too. Has gold armor for the stables. Yeah. So, no worries about food or damage taken. Is this a divorced stables? I can't see. Oh, they need iron anyways, yeah. I was like, why is he not starting the route? <laughs> but there's, there's no route to start, actually, Feinberg. You've been fooled. It is divorced stables. I mean, surely, like, you get the... Surely you get the gold out of the... Or the iron pick out of the top chest, right? Like, you don't have to get one of these weird chests in the middle. Oh my god, griefed by Hoglin. It makes total sense. The Hoglin hits you from below and it knocks you upwards. That what, physics Minecraft Dude, moment. Look at this. Scavenged all the fucking nuggets from all these chests and it's enough for a pick. Not a single ingot in any chest up here. But enough. Oh, is he going to dig down and try to find the triple? Super heads up smart play there. He's going to... Oh wow, that's heads up too. Putting a block down. Just insane game knowledge, knowing exactly where you are in the Bastion. Nice from Rain. Yep. Does Pulsar have his... Um, oh, Pulsar takes a lot of damage here. He has his Iron Pick too, so they're both starting this triple, and I'd imagine they're going to just... If you're running this one triple, you're getting the gold from the other one. Is just how you're going to play it. So, we will see. Oh, Hoglin again. This is, this is Rain's biggest op of this seed so far. Had one friendly Hoglin at the bottom, and one... Not so friendly, Hoglin. Maybe the first one was like a Poglin, you know, like a Pog Hoglin. A you like pog that? Hoglin. Hoglin? I, I I like it. Yeah, no, I like it. I like it. Yeah. I, the only thing is, like, I feel like when I think of Poglin, I think of back in the day. I don't even know if you know you were in in the in the community at this point, but like you know, back in the day, like when there would be like a good classic trade, like you get good trades after trading like five gold. You and you would, and they're poglins. You would call that poglin? Yeah, yeah, totally. So 100%. for me, when I would get pearls out of classic trades, it was just normal because I was cheating. So I didn't well, have a poglin concept. So Jazzhack, yeah, thanks for the fair. ten subs, poggers. 
Anyways, is Pulsar leaving this first? I'm not sure. Rain did like a completely disconnected double, like double single triple route, which sounds really wrong. Double single triple. <laughs> like that's, but you know what I mean? Like he's just trading at both of these separated. Yeah, I know exactly um, what you mean. But Pulsar, okay, Pulsar doesn't have much either. He was just purling. Yeah, I'm not sure. Double, um, single, triple. I, I really like that, Feinberg, you know? I, I really enjoy that. Thank you for that. That <laughs> I... makes sense, I think. Double. Single, oh! Triple. Oh my god. Rain hit a tree with his pearl and had a pearl clutch down. Minus some food, minus one pearl might matter, but it looks like they're doing the same exact thing right now. Dude, these. It's so fun watching these two, man. I don't know what it is, but they've been neck and neck in every seed so far. Like within yeah. seconds. It's Both so cool to watch. Well. They're gonna pearl the spawner? I'd imagine, right? Has I got an extra pearl trade too. Pulsar, Pulsar, I don't know how many pearls he has. Rain waited on these trades. Oh yeah, don't forfeit. Holy fuck. Rain oh waited on these uh on these trades for a little bit. I mean Pulsar definitely has more than eleven or ten. But I'm not sure how much more. Because Rain Rain was uh pretty low on pearls yeah pulsar has 17 rain definitely has 20 at least but 17 should still be good enough for zero zero eye like back cage like in some scenarios it's not but like i don't know especially if you have to throw pearls to second portal cords um yeah it was a good point out from someone in chat too that pulsar did start this seed literally 45 seconds behind from that reset so oh wow yeah it is impressive that he managed to catch up and they're both dealing with this like lava spawner here <laughs> uh, rain has to make a wood axe you can make an iron sword five bed one anchor definitely zeroable for rain looks like he might try to blaze bed though and then i'm not sure about i'm not sure what you do on four bed one anchor territory not sure if that's something that rain wants to go for maybe it's a do or die seed. The person who loses goes home. Um, well, I mean, they're all at their homes right now, I'd imagine, but the person who loses does not play next weekend. Yeah. Is what I meant to say. Um, but yeah, I mean, these rates also are just like abysmal. Um, Pulsar is also very low. He's trying to block off the lava. I mean, I'm not sure what it looks like up there, but it see like seeing four full lava streams. Just makes it feel like there's too too little too late. And he's gotta get a hunger reset down. Misplaced obby, misplaced two obby, but it doesn't matter, you have so much. He's gotta get a hunger reset down. Yeah. I don't know where this food sure. difference is. Like it just must have chugged the golden apples, got no pigs in the overworld. Rain got a pig, rain also got the hoglin. Um so this is a lot more time save from or time loss from Pulsar's side from having no food here. Um because it's definitely a time loss to have to build this first portal early out of the way of the spawner because you're just scared of dying of blazes. Oh my god, Rain has no fire res. He's good. That could have been really bad. Like a double wombo combo fall off. GG. That looks like we're good. Surface, Man. both in the same savannah and the same jungle. That makes sense. Put the portal kind of in the same spot. We'll start getting some food here too, but again, he's just in the same split as Rain, but behind by four rods. And looks like it's wow. pretty far too. Assuming, yeah, 1400. So you're gonna need some food to make that with pearls. And Pulsar also doesn't have that many pearls to throw. He's gonna have five pearls to throw. Rain's gonna have 10. So if you have to throw two, three pearls to get there, it's a zero eye. Maybe Pulsar can't zero. Maybe Rain can zero. Maybe Pulsar doesn't even have enough food. I think he, uh, no, he's got one pork chop. Okay. But he's Wait, just... Did you just say maybe Pulsar can't zero? Um, with the pearls, right? Oh, I, I, I thought, dude, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I, you thought I, I thought you meant like physically bad? able to. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I thought you meant like physically. Able. I was like, bro, we saw it on the first seed. What are you talking about? Did you forget? But then I'm. Getting yeah, done. he's I'm pretty bad, I'm washed. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Yeah, you have the two of the best zero cyclers in the game in, in the booth right now, as you guys know. Um. So uh, well, I no, see why no. you would. Dylan, 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 and Fulham are are the experts on that. Experts on that zero cycle. Yeah. <laughs> and look, Pulsar's at one heart again. Even with the pork chop, 
Going to the same stronghold, but Reynitz and Snav. Zero for the win. Surely Pulsar doesn't die again. Please don't die, Pulsar. Is it not prepped? Is there no... Oh, okay. oh I don't think there's enough... Um... I fault. I don't think there's enough um, beds, maybe. I mean, oh yeah, because he blaze bedded. Four bed, one anchor. My fault. True, true. Um, Pulsar's got to find it, though. I think it was down this doorway. It is. It is losable. There's a 1 in 13 chance. Five bed, zero anchor, yeah. Not zeroable. I mean, does he fucking send it on five beds? Uh-oh. He needs a pearl? He threw too many pearls. He didn't count his pearls. What? He needs a pearl. Oh, no. It's even more over than it was. No. Oh, not that chest. Oh, my chance. God. I don't think he counted his pearls correctly. Because there's no way you needed to throw a pearl to get to cords, right? Oh, there's one. Okay, there's okay. the pearl. There's the pearl. There's hope. There's hope. It's such a small It's not over until the dragon's it is. It is there. That's true. Rain might have gotten a snap, though. He did. It's oh, going to be oh. over. Wait, did he just miss throw the eye? I don't know. Either way, Rain Rain's got three more beds. Zero, oh, he dropped the place better. And there it is. Nerdy. Give it up the for the dead. first non-upset of the entire event so far. We finally yep. got the higher seed winning. It only yep. took five games, man. It only took five games. But the higher seed wins, <laughs> and he's higher seeded by one seed. It's literally eight versus nine. This is crazy. Yeah. The closest one, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That was uh, that was a close um, that was a close game neck and neck pretty much throughout. Match. Um, yeah, <laughs> great game, um, very well played. Like, Rain, if oh my god, I'm still very impressed by Pulsar overall. Um, not the best last game, but pretty much every other game was super super close, and even in that last match, it was still still pretty close overall. Yeah. Keeping up with Rex is, is always something to... to I mean, miss. look, he's only he's only 25 seconds behind into the stronghold, and there's a 40... Or a 25-second Enter Nether mistake here, so yeah. it wasn't that bad. Okay, wow, look at that, though. The Enter Nether to find stronghold is the exact same, like, wow. uh, difference. So they were literally yeah. tied if you, um... If you disregard the, the overworld mistake, which is so crazy. Um, yeah, that, that, that did set him back. But we're going to talk to Rain first about the seeds. Let's throw it over and throw him over. What's up? Hey, Rain. Hello? What's going on? <laughs> what is going on? How are you feeling, Rain? How, how, how do those, how those three matches feel for you? Uh, I felt all right the entire time. I, I think the first match that when I lost... Um, I don't think I could have done anything different. Uh, no, actually, my fortress play was kind of ass. It was weird watching it. I thought you played the fort better. It's obviously hard to watch, like, two people at once. But it, it looked like you were just, like, around the spawner more and getting some better strays, and then he caught up in the end. And, I don't know, man, you got to watch the VOD back. Like, you looked at that Enderman, so you couldn't zero. You were ahead a little bit. And then, I don't what know if you would have had... It? It was like back hundred. I don't know if you had um back a hundred health anyways, Damn. or back ninety seven maybe ninety four. I don't remember. If it was a hundred then. Pulsar I don't think go. it was not. They said no. They said ninety four guys. Oh, like 94? I said, like oh, okay. I said, I don't know the uh, I don't know the fucking towers guys. But anyways, back ninety four. Pulsar hits it, gets free the end off the anchor. Um, I don't know if yeah, you that's knew exactly zero. what I was thinking happened. No, yeah, he got exactly free the end off that. the anchor. You got the insta perch, but Pulsar. Lost his boat while crawling in the nether, didn't have a water bucket, didn't have a spare pearl or the health even if he had one. So he was placing blocks down the obby tower as you got the one cycle and killed the dragon. Like you were Insane. four or five seconds away from winning that, which was so wild. Um, yeah. And then the second seed, I mean, it was, it was just awesome watching I got watching shit on guys. by skeletons on that seed. Yeah, you uh, yeah, in one question. of these going to the going to the housing, you you got some bad skelly RNG, maybe a couple of them, but it's how it goes. I mean, dude, watching you guys was crazy. Like it, it was so neck and neck in almost all the seeds. Yeah, like, that was a really good. That was a really good match. Pulsar made a iron really pick, 
in I saw that. I was like, this what? One. Oh, yeah, because you can't... You can't I thought see... I was missing something. Yeah, you can see the advancements. Yeah, that's true. I forgot. Um... <laughs> iron picking. I was like, what is happening? Like, how did this... How did they get so much fucking iron? But... Yeah, and he was... um, <laughs> He was... Like, managed to not lose any time from the Nether Enter to the Stronghold Enter, but he threw too many pearls. I think you got an extra pearl trade somehow from... I don't know, just maybe more gold somewhere. Maybe. And so he had to he had to get um, a pearl out of the stronghold chest. So that's why he was in the in the end a little bit later. But I mean, you crushed that. But anyways, you would have won even if he entered at the same time. Um, I mean, you got you guys both played really well. It was probably the best match that I've watched out of the five. I don't know about you, nerdy, but I enjoyed this one. The I most. think it was my favorite. Yeah, I think. I mean, I I expected this to be. A well, good game, I don't think anybody yeah. died, right? I don't think it was. No, I mean. Uh, well, what happened in the second match? Why didn't he? Why, why didn't he enter then? Oh, he um, dude, he blinded. Did you? Were you um, shocked that he I spied before you? Yes. He blinded oh. because his home portal was in a cave, like some lava cave. Yeah. He didn't find the same enter that you did, and so I guess he figured it like don't have a ton of pearls. I'm already behind. My home portal is gonna be slower. He blinded. It was six hundred. All land was able to throw like five pearls, and then we literally missed it on the mainstream. I went to full screen you to watch you in the end, and then I went back, and then he was dead in the stronghold. <laughs> so I guess he died to a oh. skeleton. I don't know, but it was like bad navs. But yeah, he, he must have died um, in the stronghold. But anyways, uh -huh. you are playing the winner of Silver vs. Automat, which is the match after this next one. Um, yeah. Any 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 words uh, to, to the winner of that? Um, doesn't matter. Either way, it's gonna be easy. Damn, that's, that's <laughs> right. That's right. That's what I like to hear, man. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Well, he you played great for, for to save face. Exactly. But that was a that was a great match. You guys both played really well. It was awesome watching. Um, congrats on winning, and we will see you back next weekend. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, guys. Yeah. GGs. Damn, dude, I, I enjoyed that. That was a blast. Like, I don't, I don't know if it was my favorite match because I was like sleepy in the morning and I can't fully remember the first couple, and it's like some <laughs> recency you. bias here. But, dude, that I mean, I feel like every game was like so fucking close and interesting, like. The blind decision from Pulsar in the second seed is just such an amazing heads-up play. The insane end fight ending in the first seed, like, I, dude, it's just insane. And then this third seed, too, like, Pulsar was behind in the overall, but, like, he made it up. He made up the time with less pearl trade, like, one less pearl trade, yep. less food. Like, he made up the time. Like, they, they both played insanely well, man. Crazy. I'm I'm sad Crazy that Pulsar couldn't make it through. The 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 best qualifiers player. How how um ironic is that? That the best qualifiers player, the only person to True. not get a mark, is the only person so far that has been eliminated. <laughs> like that is <laughs> that's that's just that's just up next. I, I didn't I, dude. I I keep typing the thing and then I hit the button and it doesn't work. So. Surely I haven't misaimed every time. I'm gonna blame um, I'm gonna blame the British for that because they have a uh, Big Ben, right? And that's True. The, that's the timing thing. That's a British thing, right? That's Big Ben. Is it in I, I England? think so. I think so. <laughs> True. <laughs> Guys, True? I'm so sorry. This is like bothering me. I, I need to quickly. I need. We have, we have time to kill, so I can I can talk about this. What are you talking? What, what is bothering you? Dude, my BTTV just isn't working. I don't know what happened. I've like tried BTTV settings. Have, have you re just refreshed the page? Yes, but okay. it's, it's that, that still not working. It hasn't worked for like a few days. I don't know what I did. I just don't oh. see any BTTV emotes. That's weird. At all. Like you guys, are, I'm just seeing a bunch of Giga Chats, but it's not like Giga Chats. You know what I mean? I didn't see the, isn't it like a Dylan version? A Dylan something? I can't see that one either. It's making me really sad. I want to see, and I can't see the emotes. This is just—it's <laughs> a disaster. Unlucky. Sorry, I just needed That's to. That's okay. Giga Dylan. 
No, do, you, do we have I, anything more to talk you about? You can't or? do this to me. This is mean, man. <laughs> Sorry, what? Yeah, do we have any more to talk about, or should we hop into the next game? What do you think? I mean, if people are ready to hop into the next game, I'm down. We'd be a bit ahead. Oliver sent me the seed pick bands and everything already, so we're ready. I mean, I mean, we oh, we, wow. we obviously have to look at the. Um, I mean, dude, you'd have to think like, it's it's no longer like dead early in the morning. Everyone who's playing in the rest of the day is probably already awake. You know what I mean? So they're probably already available. Yeah. So the only the only downside is that theoretically, if we get like way too ahead of schedule, then we might have to wait like forty five minutes. But it's okay. I think we, I think we should just get into it. Yeah, no, it'll, it'll be the best three. It'll take a while. We can we can stall but a little bit if, on the. If, uh... if we have to if we have to stall later, we can just we I I, I we can play I, I'll play in Scrabble or something. <laughs> we'll figure something else out more Minecraft related. Okay, I mean I, I hate passing up Scrabble, but. <laughs> Um, let's we'll, we'll, throw we'll it to the first player in the next match. We're going to start a little early. Um, Oxidiot. And I'm going to let you talk about this for a little bit. I'm going to try to find a new Spotify playlist. I swear it's the same 20 songs on this one. All right. All right. Let's look. Let's do some analysis here, chat. So best rank time, 846. Very solid. And RGPB of 921. This is like kind of the expected uh, result of having, you know, a better ranked time than RSG time, of course. Uh, we can see average rank time of 1308. Throughout the day, we've seen some, some pretty good ones. That is definitely on the better end, I would say. Um, or maybe towards the middle, somewhere in there. Uh, definitely the better half. Uh one thing that I find interesting about this is that we can see 500 games played, but only one against Rannick. So... And I think that's because Rannick is our qualifier player. I'm pretty sure they were like 60th or 70th in, uh, in the rank okay. leaderboards. They might have yeah, literally only sense. had like one, one uh, chance to actually play the other person or play like play yeah. each other. Um, there you go. And like people are Still pointing out, these are season one rank stats, but Oxidiot has gotten a sub eight in season two already in ranked, and it's only been yeah. about a week or two. Um, and yeah, I mean these accomplishments are great. Uh, TTEG winner is good. Top ten AA. Uh, I love being an AA enjoyer. AA sets you world record. Stings a little bit, but I mean, what can you do? Good run, good runner, and. Mm -hmm. Sub 10, right? I mean, basically everyone in this event has had a sub 10. And uh, the people that have not had a sub 10 definitely, like I hate using the word deserve for a sub 10, but like definitely have the skill for sub 10. Have the skill, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and just like maybe they haven't been focused on any percent or whatever. Um, right. But yeah, let's throw it to our challenger, our lower seated player qualifier warrior, Rannick. What Rennick. stands out to you here? Third place in Israel. That's awesome. Uh, True. Again, similar situation here. You've got uh, ranked time just a bit lower than the RSG PB. A little bit slower on both those compared to Oxidia, but not too much. Here's, yeah, here's 1509 average ranked time. So that's notably slower. Um, not necessarily a bad thing, but... Um, Definitely, you know, at the higher level, that's going to be potentially something that could be concerning. 51% um, win rate is, again, on the lower end, which as we we would expect that from any of the qualifiers rather than any of the uh, top eight people. Um, and yeah, played one match against Oxidiot. Um, this is overall, like not th these two players this i think it's gonna make for a good match i would definitely say Rennix, uh seemingly at a disadvantage here but it could of course go either way and this is not like uh not gonna be easy for oxidia by any means yeah the stats don't paint the best picture for Rennix odds but again it didn't look great for pulsar last uh last match stats wise and it was it was very very close um now, you could say maybe Pulsar heated up more at the end uh, because of the qualifier performance, but I don't know. We'll see. Nerdy, what do you think about these pick bans 
back to what we think is uh, sort of standard. Yeah, yeah. This is this is what we would kind of expect. Uh, I I think the most notable difference here compared to other things is we're seeing a shipwreck ban. I don't know if we've seen that at all today, um, or at least I can't recall. Um, shipwreck's interesting. I feel like shipwreck is sort of in between uh mechanically hard and uh linear like or sorry mechanically like focused versus like you have to route it a lot like desert temple like desert temple is definitely the least linear of all of them yeah uh and then the most linear is definitely just like rp or bt uh and then i feel like shipwreck's like dead in the center uh so shipwreck that's kind of interesting yeah, the shipwreck decision is more like where are you getting your wood like leaves potentially i mean True. it's very yeah. rare we did see tnt in the food chest today it's just a very rare thing to happen but shipwreck can be a little non-linear like where you get maybe leaf structure blocks stone axe stay in the shipwreck wood front load it does get a little whack sometimes especially if you know it's going to be a shipwreck compared to like having to figure out if it's mapless or not uh if you're playing ranked normally but i'm hyped yeah. another mapless seed um and yeah i think i mean it looks like oxy is a little more comfortable with their mechanics and ranik more comfortable with the decision making like we said more of a um normal pick ban procedure but i'm ready to get into it um, let's do it a little early but they're ready we're ready screw it right get the timer ready yeah, I mean, Rannick, uh top 20 this season. I think last season, like I said, they were like 70th, 1760. Yeah. Um, close to top 50. Maybe. I'd have to look at the leaderboard. I can't remember. But yeah, the biggest thing that stands out to me is like the on screen stats just Oxidy with a 15% better win rate in ranked. And they both have similar matches and a two minute faster average rank time. Like that is just yeah two minutes to me is an insane amount of time but we'll see i mean there's the bt find from both and again very linear um just gonna be tnt bust it down as you do and it's just gonna go how it goes oh <clears throat> a fantastic Wait, so, hold on. Oh, no, okay, yeah. My, my brain's moving slow. My, my brain's moving slow. <laughs> Bear with me. Bear with me, Chad. It's been thinking. a long day. You were up else. early. It's okay, nerdy. But anyways, we, we um, there. this is very, yeah, very strong start here. We've got lots Apple. of blocks. I, I mean, look, BT, it's it's just the... Oh, the ravine is it's, right. It's just the speedrunner's dream. The ravine's right there. Know. Wow. This is like a low one enter. Yeah, this is like I was gonna say. This is a this is a beautiful seed so far, absolutely could, beautiful. Could we see um, a gnarly sub eight completion live? Sub nine completion? Ghost bucket or a misplace? I don't know how to how to explain that. But Rannick choking the portal, gonna lose about ten seconds, and this could matter. Gonna have to do an L, but I mean I love my L portals. What can I say? You do love your L portal, Spinberg, but it's okay. We all forgive you. Not really, but oh, I'll fine. forgive you in this context. Well, they both uh, spawn in the same ravine. And it looks like this is treasure, so if they don't see the fort, hopefully not another Raul Dougal situation. That one was a bit rough. Um, yeah. We'll see, though. Definitely an accessible treasure, but again, it's going to be weird. I mean, you just use your blocks to get up for sure, right? Like... There's no reason to dig into lower treasure. Um, gonna dig on the side here, maybe. And Oxidia typed the direction of the fort in the chat. So yeah, it definitely is visible. Oh, and Rannick saw it in the, um, like a different part maybe. So Rannick might have saved some time there by spotting that part of the fort. I'm not sure if Oxidia saw that. Um, but we'll see when they both leave the bastion. And a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh my Ooh. goodness. That's, I mean, sometimes piglins have some J's on. There's nothing you can really do. But they didn't that steal the gold. That's pretty good. And no crossbow guys have a lot of food. It's a good recovery, but it's obviously not. Oh, that's not good either. Um, You have no gold distract. Are you going to aggro here? Yeah, that scares me a lot. Recraft. Okay, this is smart. It's very scuffed, but it's going to give Rannick back the lead. 
sort of trading minor mistakes here. The L portal, yep. like um, Obby miss or yeah, Obby I guess, but like lava bucket misplace, uh, treasure bastion, gold nugget shenanigans, trading the time save back and forth. Um, These are neck and neck. Like I feel like I literally am watching the save speedrunner sometimes. <laughs> And I mean, treasure is a very, very linear bastion to route. The, the only thing that could get a little weird is um, playing for some backup blocks, potentially, if they don't get enough pearls or there's just not enough gold blocks. But they're literally mining almost the same gold blocks, same part of the rampart, same time. Yeah, neck and neck. Uh, but it looks like there's enough gold blocks. Should probably get enough pearl trades. Uh, but obviously, need more than just pearls. String, fire res, obby, all that jazz. And treasure, I'd say, is the bastion that I have to get backups the most often ranked. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Treasure is definitely a tough one. Oh. Eight pearls. No, they're not, they're not going to get 20. This is going to be a home portal seed. Yeah. This is this not is looking not... great here. Treasure slacking. 12 obby, 16 yeah, pearls, you... 32 oh. string, one Oof. anchor, too bad. Yeah, you have to you have to get some backups. It, there's so much that you're missing. Oxidian has more string somehow, which doesn't make a ton of sense. Because you should, unless they got a, a backup earlier. I guess you could get glowstone here too for extra explosives. Maybe you don't need the backup. Because it's not like you're going to get 20, you know? You're very... Uh, yeah, I feel like getting one more stuck. pearl trade would be really good. I don't know, yeah. maybe I'm... Maybe Six, no, in, 16, like 16 especially on home portal, is very, yeah. very, very weak. Because you have to use one to hang to the home portal. So then you're down to 15. You probably want to use one to, like, pearl to the fort. So then you're down to 14. Now it's just completely zero. not zeroable. Can't really throw any to second portal. Can't really throw any to hunger reset. Like, it just gets very brutal. Right. But okay, Oxidiate also saw this part of the four. This is good. Uh, and they're both gonna launch a Perlang. There's a Perlang. Oh, are they gonna build up? Wow, they're both doing the same thing. I would, I guess you're saving pearls for zero. I don't know. I guess it's closer than I thought too. I would have maybe pearled up to the four and then pearl hang down from it, but both make the same play. I, I mean, it literally is like we're watching a, a mirror copy of the same runner almost. It's just like basically yeah. the same situation. Yeah, a little stream delay on one side. <laughs> yeah. That's all it is, right? Like, come down to strays, maybe. Oh, where's this guy? Okay, Rannick finds the outside first, but Oxidia like, has a stray. Probably just going to come down to the speed of the spawner split as this four looks very enclosed but they're both getting some bad strays so it's good that it's at least uh evening out the luck on both players um oh but as i say that rannick's got four blazes on their screen wow first rod hmm. not even a spawn over here just raw god strays yeah i mean that's the kind of luck that is really really nice there for Rennick. We'll just see if it transfers over at all. Oh, they were going up the stickers for a blaze, that makes sense. Another blaze. It's definitely weird here, stray versus spawner. I mean if your strays are good enough, the strays win, but spawner is definitely the more consistent long term play. But oh wow, that's a brutal blaze TNT. Holy shit. That's I mean, you just, Unfortunate. Do you have to find the other spawner? Is Rannick gonna make the same mistake? Do they hear the lava? I feel like it's lava maybe you could have heard or seen the dripping. Not sure if it was entirely an unavoidable mistake there. We'll have to um, see. Well, yeah, I mean... Rennick may just go for just the mining, yeah? No, they have TNT. <laughs> they might be trying to TNT, but you can see the you can see the lava particles on the on the top. Yeah, they yeah, just looked like they saw it. Wow. Nice awareness play. Uh, and it's saving them time, maybe, right? Like, they have six rods. Oxidia does three. They were in there four at the same time. Was it the strays? Is it the fact that Oxidia had to mess around with the spawner for a year? I don't know, but they're at seven. They're out there at their home portal. And Rank in the lead. Which is, I mean, honestly, not what I was expecting. Yeah. It's very close, though. <laughs> 
It's not that is true. It is within 10, move. 15 seconds. Um, oh, Oxidia went back to the home portal on six rods too. Look at that. Yeah, I was just going to mention that. Six rods is... Ooh, that could be really bad potentially for Oxy. If there's a break at a zero, I true. <sighs> but, um... It is also possible that it doesn't matter and it's just a raw time save. Um... Well, let's see, Rannick doing boat eye. Oxidia's gonna throw two. Is Rannick gonna get out on this one eye? Yes, they are. 1463. Is that gonna match up with Oxidia's numbers? Yes, it will. It's 12 away. It's just because they threw the same, uh, or slightly different spots, I guess. And Rannick's in first. No breaks from Oxidia, so that's nice. Didn't end up Very losing nice. time. Rannick lost time getting that seventh rod that didn't matter. But obviously, it's always hindsight, right? Definitely the correct, uh, safer play to get the extra rod. And looks like they have to throw pearls to get to the stronghold. So there's zero. It looks like it's going to be off the table. Um, I mean, unless it's like a re eye. Do I? <laughs> what are these cords, by the way? Negative 118, 140. You got to throw another pearl over there. Yeah, you just, I mean, you have 12 now. Perfect chords. Wow, this train is insane. Yeah, Oxy is, I think, trying to not throw pearls too, which is really interesting. Like yeah. trying to play the train as much because they know that they might have to zero to win. If Rannick enters in half bows. Ooh, oh my god, that, that dude, that looked, that looked like the portal room to me. I don't know if anyone else saw that. I, like, the stairs of the five-way looked like the portal room. I almost freaked out. Did, did Brannock, uh use preemptive? I, yeah, did yeah, I miss... there, was a, there was a fast preemptive. I don't think they got a very yeah. accurate spike, though, which is why you probably missed it. It was very easy to miss. Um, and so I'd like to see them re-preemptive here because it was... Yeah, there we go. Nice, nice. That's not... A good enough spike, I don't think. Um, and Oxy's in the same stronghold. Oh, wow. This is a lot of good info from Rannick, though. It has to be deep here. Every other path is closed. So if Oxy ends up making the same, like, play of checking this kind of and then turning back, it's going to be a really nice time save for Rannick. Oh, yeah. There we go. Rannick. Oh, are they going to commit to it, though? Oxy does. She commits to the down staircase, and it's the exact same pace, but Oxy might have zero. Oh, uh, it doesn't look like it, though. Not enough food. Maybe it doesn't want to go for the hunger reset. And, I mean, they're digging out of the cage at the same time. Like, how how much closer can you get, right? Like, this is insane. And it's just raw. It's raw half bow at this point, right? Raw half bow, raw perch. Yeah. It's unfortunate it has to come to it, but the whole game is RNG, right? Like, that's how it goes. Everyone knows. Oxy's starting half bow first. I mean, if, I, if you're Rannick, you can't even start. You can't even half bow right now. True. Oh my god, that looked like the purge. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around, turn around. Bro, turn around. Okay, I couldn't tell. It was like going over the note again. But obviously I have no audio. So this is interesting. Rannick. Oxy should win this end fight most of the time because of the half bow, especially at that speed. But lost out on potentially getting an into perch. But Rannick uh, already missed that chance, so it's still literally anyone's game. It just needs to roll the perch odds, even if it's a one percent. Just has to roll yeah. it, and oh, is oh is that, is that oh it? is it? Oh wow, it, it is. is, and they catch wow. it with no half bow. But it flips, and the anchor's on the bad side, and the oh. bet is bad, oh. and it's not oh actionable. But they have TNT. But oh it's awkward God. placement on these blocks. It's awkward. They get it off, though. Will the dragon... No dragon visibility. Dragon turns. It works. Nice. It works. Oh, my God. Wow. Dude. Wow. I can't... Wow. That, what a clutch by Rannick. To do that in attorney context. High stakes. Easy. Wow. Keeping it cool and collected, placing the wow. TNT. What a what a what a finish there. I mean, I'm not gonna say they played it perfectly, but they clutched it out when they needed to, right? Like yeah. 
the anchor was on the wrong side, got bad damage on one bed, but realized they had the TNT, got the TNT off. I'm shocked the dragon didn't um didn't turn either. And um yeah. mess up the mess up the damage. But I mean look at the look at the pace on these on these runners, like Granik was ahead finding the stronghold. I'm shocked that they lost time into end I guess it was just all nav. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm looking at the wrong splits. No, they gained they gained time from the home portal to the stronghold. They lost time in the nav. That makes sense. I was looking at the wrong splits. But yeah, I mean, look how close this is the whole time. I, I mean, honestly, much closer than I thought it would be, by far. I thought yeah. Oxy was just gonna sweep away with it, but Rannick when Rannick played that seed nearly flawlessly. But they, they, I mean, they both did. You know, like I couldn't see one major mistake from either runner really. It was just an awkward seed, low pearls, like I don't know. That was crazy. Uh, Very yeah. good stuff from both runners, but yeah, the clutch in the end. That's all that mattered. Man, that could have been that could have been bad though. <laughs> that could have that was really, really close. Yeah, that was crazy. Waiting on the second ban now, or the second pick, I should say, and then we'll have that to you guys in just a second. That is crazy. The new seed pick is in. Let's see. Thirty. What do you think it'll be between Ruin Portal and Village? Yeah. What do you think Oxidia picks to win seed two? Between Ruin Portal and Village, I think we're gonna see. Hold on. Who banned Shipwreck? Rannick banned Shipwreck. And then hey, Oxidian right. in their text channel said, Frick, that was my ban. Let me think. And then ban Temple. Does that change Ooh. your decision? Oh, that does. That does. That does. I'm going to say they're going to ban. I think we're going to see a village. Oh, nerdy's wrong. Oxidian. No! no. I guess you're wrong. That's okay. I mean, mechanically heavy seed, but I mean, like neither of them played that last seed badly. Like that's yeah. a rank seed that like what like there's really no takeaway from it. Like maybe you try to force like, I think maybe they both got all the backups or like uh, Oxy got all the backups. There's only so many backups in the top of treasure, and then you have to go lower, and you don't want to go lower. So it's just like, I don't know. That was like, I, I don't think there's a learning experience for either player really. It's just like. The other player played well, you played well, lost on half bell. Like at this point it's like clean up clean up all the minor mistakes, right? Like try to get right. slightly better strays. Like just don't Rannick whiffed his portal on the overworld, which I mean ended up not mattering because he still won. But just all those small things, that's it what you iron out iron out, and then it's perfect gameplay. Because there was no wrong decision making in that seed that I could tell. Right. I no, I, I don't disagree. Wait, they're playing uh, the same one! Yeah, I was gonna say, this looks really similar. If, I think this is the same seed, isn't it? Or is it... It looks very similar. It's the same it's, overworld. Maybe they watched it. I don't know. Nerdy's fault this time? Guys, I take the blame for the last <laughs> one. I told Oliver he might, he might reset it. But it could be a different nether. It could just be a sister overworld. Is that how it works? He said WTF. Maybe same overworld if nether. I don't know. <laughs> this is. It happens. Long day for everyone, early for everyone. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, Oliver hasn't ended the seed yet. Oh, there he is. Okay. There we go. You got that it. Yeah. That's, that's expected. That happens.
A missed copy paste, guys. It happened. Why don't I cross these out? Oh, that's a, such a smart sentence, man. Surely humans don't make mistakes. That was smart <laughs> that you said that. Yeah. Surely I everyone mean, has to be perfect. Everyone right? has to just be completely <laughs> perfect. So, a lot of time, how about you come over here and run this tournament and then do it perfectly? And then I will. Uh, and then you can have some criticism, okay? <laughs> Anyways. Oliver will pull a new Ruin Temple Seed from the bank. And we're going to run it back. That won't be the same overworld. And it's going to be boss. I need to restart the timer. And we're going to get right into it. Oliver, Oliver's in call with them. He definitely is said. Like, Ranica or uh, Oxy hasn't muted on her stream. Which is correct. Um, yeah, there we go. Different seed. Looting. Oh, finally. Looting one. Let's go. There we go. Iron are. pick. Dude, this is, this seed looks fast. You Looting on that cow, too. Oh, my God. You're eating good. This is a could banger be, seed. Yeah, this could be the... I was going to say, this could maybe this is the, the sub-8 seed you were, you were speaking of, Feinberg. Think so? I mean, looting one. I don't even think... Yeah, like... It's weird you'd think, oh, look at that. Stone Age mistake, what axe, or gold axe. Oxy realizes, Rannick doesn't. Um, but Oxy did lose the time to going down, even though they ended up making the gold axe end. There's the looting cow play, push it in. No! No! Oh. Looting sheep? Disaster. You have to oh, offhand yeah, the FNS there. Baby sheep, whoa. Watch it. There we are. Rannick? Okay, the Rannick got one sheep. Like to see... Yeah. Ooh, Rannick's going far for the cows. This is the same cow, I think? Is the cow going to be one hit? Oh, it is. Wow. <laughs> Oxy's only got 11 wood. I was just about to say. Yeah, wow. I think... I don't think either runner really plays overall that cleanly, but, I mean, maybe we maybe we chalk it up to some turning nerves, right? Um, yeah, for sure. And I'm not sure, yeah. Uh, far-ish Bastion, not the best. See a slow spike for Oxy too. There it is. It looks like on an Axis though, it might not be that bad. And on Rannix screen, the terrain opens up really nicely at the top, so that's good. But we haven't seen the fort yet. On these seeds, a lot of the very time though, when the Bastion is very far away, the fort is just like usually next to it. Just kind of yeah. how the filter works. Um, but we'll see. Sure. Haven't even seen the Bastion yet, so I don't know. It's very just, clean really terrain, seen. though. I will say, like, yeah. this is one of those seeds where, like, you know, it, it's surprisingly fast, even though it's far away because yeah. the terrain is just so clean. I mean, you're just sprint jumping the whole time. Getting an armor pre-craft from Oxy. I, I kind of like the play because you don't want to take a ton of damage. It is a rune portal food type seed. Yep. One distractal, there's some chest breaking, there's some good action. Not gonna get that other triple, but it's pretty awkward too. Um I don't know. Maybe made up some time getting the Bastion. Not entirely sure. Uh looks similar. Rannick's still a little bit in the lead. Man, if it's another 2-0 with the upset, like we're five wow. uh yeah. we're four for five on upsets, which is just insane. Yeah. We gotta stop writing those into the script. <laughs> At some point those get a little bit uh you know, it's a little repetitive to have the, the underdog story the underdog? over and over again. Oh my god, <laughs> that scared what me. What the heck, The hog win. You're wasting oh. your looting durability. Hey, hey. There's only no. 32 of that. Hey, stop. They realized that was actually a big time loss too because the pigs just weren't trading. Because the hog win had to be evacuated. Wow. The Hoglet had to be evacuated indeed. I mean, the fort wasn't cool seen, right? right? They both have to still pirate, but they haven't. Unless I just didn't see the fort. Very possible. Yeah. 14, Obby, or 13, I should say. Probably good enough Obby. I mean, I don't think either of them checked the um, other triple, the farther one, but we'll see. 
And he's got 17 obbies. Still running trades too, which is impressive. 19, maybe you just get 20 off the trades. Usually how it goes, there it is. Have enough wool. Ooh, another pearl trade, don't even need it. Yeah, it looks like a high race for sure. But it's a nine chunk uh, spawner. It's just, it's just how it goes in rank sometimes when the fashion is this far away. It's just like a fortress is kind of hiding. So you end up high rank and it's like four chunks away or like seven chunks away. It's yes. Just, just how it goes. Important to note though, it might be, it looks like so it's not too far away, but it's also just very clean terrain. Uh, so this still is a pretty fast seed, even though you do need to use that pyre. Sure. Well, in theory, assuming it's not, you know, in a wall or something. Yeah, and it shouldn't be based on the filter. Like, surely we just go over this hill and we see it. Yep. There it is. Ooh, some skeleton action. Oh, wow. Oh my. Good. That's a little bit of time while ceramic in terms of food and, uh, yeah, for another sure. skeleton shooting at him. I mean, shouldn't die here, but this is some time loss. Like Oxy might just be able to fully make up here. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're in think, the uh, at the same time. I think Oxy got a little bit more food, so she may be in a better position to tank a little bit more damage to something like those skeletons. Yeah. I don't know. And she's at the spawner first too. Double spawner. Wow, this looting split is gonna be really fast. Surely, two for one. Six for three. Come on. Surely. Three for three, wow. That's I, that's what's so annoying about looting one, is like most of the time, it's literally the same rates or worse than you could have normally gotten. Like how are you, how are you four for six with looting one? Like it's it's so depressing. Yeah. Five for seven with looting good. one. Like I get, I get, I average better rates than that with no looting. Yeah, so it's just yeah, like, yeah. there we go, we got eight. Just an insanely fast split. Gonna probably be a sub 10, but I mean, who knows? I'm not sure about the full extent of the zero possibility. Yep. Cave? It looks pretty good <laughs> to me. Nice pearl. That's a really nice heads up pearl getting better um, terrain there to the mountain. Let's see if Rannick lands up in the same spot and ends up doing the same thing. Nope. Oh, yeah, same spot. Yeah, he has exact a pearl. Same spot. <laughs> No, they're just gonna try to send it in this cave, sure. Or like a uh, ravine oh, yes. kind of yeah, area. I feel like we're, I feel like we're losing potential. This could be bad here for Rennick, I think, in my opinion. There's Trying to set up this boat eye. I mean, yeah. as long as it doesn't go nice, that's not bad. No, it, it's yeah, pretty good lucky. now. But uh, Oxy already out of the or already out of the uh, the blinding, ready to go. They set it up, 14.01, and Oxy says 1479, or is that 14, uh, maybe 1481, yeah, it's probably the same coordinates. <laughs> the zero and the eight look the exact same with small pixels, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, one HP on Oxy yeah. is a bit rough, but this mutton should heal pretty quickly, and I mean, yeah, going to be in the stronghold first, but does that mean that she'll actually win the seed? No idea. If it's not zero, well, still half bow issue. They were in the end uh, faster last seed and lost to half bow. Like they half bowed. Yeah. Rannick didn't. And then they still lost. But this is uh, looking to be more of a sizable lead going into the stronghold. And again, it's yeah, also sure. going to maybe be zero. -able. So. Yeah, the zero bolt makes it so I much just, more decisive. I'm just not you know? sure about the explosive counts. Oh no, it's it's good. It's like it's two good. Stacks you were looking. Yeah. All right, that's nice. That's good enough not for me too. Two stacks of wool. Two strength. Two stacks of wool would be very impressive. Oh yeah, I see it. No, very zero bolt. Has nice blocks too. This should be well. No, I shouldn't say that. Very good chance of this being an automatic dub for for Oxy here. It's a build up. Is it front cage? No. Is it back 1 8? Is it back? It's back. New, ooh, more pearls. That's hittable though. 95. Hittable. And you have time. All right, let's see it. Lots of explosives. That bad looked great. Should be it. Should be seeing a C3 here. Bad. 
solid wow. stuff here yep, from there it is. Yeah. Clean six bed. And that's it. I mean, the food difference too, like look at Rannick's screen had a hunger reset in the portal room because of the food mishaps earlier in the run. So just very, yeah. very clean second half of the run from Oxy and just sending us to C3 for the low nine. Fast seed, not, not the sub eight that I wanted, but I mean, that's, that's a, tall, awesome. a tall ask. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful seed. And we can send it over to the splits. Nice. And yeah, I mean, like just yeah. very, very even everywhere. I mean, what, what was the enter issue even? Like Oxy just took more time getting food. Like the cow was a bit annoying. The cow yeah. and forgot Oxy wood a little bit. Oxy more food. Oxy struggled a little bit with that True. sheep, but then just getting more food generally. Um, and I think it did pay off in the long run. I honestly still kind of feel like the biggest misplay that i saw was Rannick kind of uh struggling a bit at the bottom of that little like river or, uh, oh the, no, the, the river i'm entering yeah, yeah. there's a Me, little bit like of a part, but yeah boat know. mismeasure yeah you're right and obviously if that i threw in a in a different spot then it could have been much worse um yeah oxy yeah. just kind of more decisive with that instantly getting to measuring just that that split you can see just better, um, maybe better terrain nav as well. Yep, and our fifth seed, if you guys couldn't guess it, is the village, Hoggers. I love village, so complicated. Village and temple, glad we get to see at least one. Um, I am gonna get something to drink, so I'll be ready in a minute. I know they are probably ready whenever, but I will be back. We will get started very shortly. This is exciting. I uh, good match so far. We got a twelve twenty six in that first match, nine twenty in the second one. Very very solid times. This might be like the fastest completion average so far. So that's exciting. We got a village seed up next, which I for one love seeing because there's just so much variation that you can have with with villages. So that'll be exciting to watch um and yeah i mean these these two players have been this, this has been a fun match to watch i would say this is on the better the better echelon of the matches so far very consistent very clean gameplay so far overall from both players um it's kind of hard to nitpick some like what went wrong oh for sure is fruit which is hype i mean there was like one bad pearl from rannick last seed other than that it was very very consistent and they were only on the strong with what 20 30 seconds slower but when it is zeroable like that that's yeah. all the that's all the time you need that's exactly that's it um so yeah i'm ready to throw it over ready to see um what is this is this our third or second no it's our third right our third 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 game three yeah we only had i know we had three two o's this is the sixth game I, it's all blended together too early we're not, I'm not built for waking up at 8 in the morning, guys. <laughs> I'm, I had to wake up at 6.30. I would love to have woken up at 8. Remember? <laughs> but you did this. You guys all did this to me. This is like Oh, yeah, blame me. Blame me. the U.S. time zone, not the EU time zone. Surely, nerdy. That's what you're going to blame. You're going gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna, to... I'm going to blame... I think everyone... I think the PST was designed to bother me and waking up early. They get messed up. Yeah. Like, targeting me specifically. <laughs> Village seed. Does Rannick even know where the village is? I mean, surely there's only a few ways to go. Find it eventually, but Oxy finds the village first. Yeah, Rannick sees it. Desert villages. These are also, like, in some ways harder to route because you usually don't have a ton of gravel access because there's just, I don't know, less lakes in a desert. You kind of have to play a river, um, which could just be there, right? But then there's also no trees. Now, again, the two things that I'm complaining about, there's a river right here, and there's also trees literally in this village. So, like, it's a complete moot point on both of them. But this overall is also really interesting. Nine obby. So you have to get a bucket, but you also can't get a pickaxe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oxy placed Weird. their log and then picked up seeds and messed up their log again. 
Yeah, this is this is a really weird seed. Um, Very strange. <laughs> Uh, I mean, they gotta be ready for anything. Like this is a this is a seed that you you Q ranked. You open the blacksmith chest, and you click the seed change button. And then your opponent opens the black seed blacksmith chest, and then they click the seed change button. And then you play a new seed. That's what happens in ranked ninety five percent of the yeah. time. But this is that five percent that you gotta be ready. You gotta play it right. Like this is not a fun overworld, but. It's enterable, right? Like, you get the bucket, yeah. you grab one, go to the river. I mean, it looks like they're both oh, playing it the no. right way. Manic made shears? Oh, yep. wow. And that, I mean, that's two minutes. Uh, that could just, that could be the whole that, thing. That could just be it. Yeah. Another. I mean, if Oxidia just plays smoothly, Wow, man. Yeah, like, this, well, like, play, plays it. well enough, right? Like. I mean, two minutes is yeah. a lot of time. Yeah, that's brutal. I, I, I that's, that's crazy. Cause it, it, that, that's like as bad as like a that misclick is like as bad as like a a death pretty late where you like don't lose all your stuff probably. About yeah, that or thing. like that death where Angle Boy died in the Bastion. That one seed, like it, it's very similar yeah. time losses. And, and oh my god, my die lose again. it again. Yeah. Major time loss. Should be able again. to get up still, but I mean, yeah, just it's still you tilting. Don't want to compound the mistakes. Yeah. Looks like Rannick. Oh, Oxy's getting gassed, but should be fine. Double gas? What is happening? Triple gas? I heard three fireballs at once. I think I see two gasts, but it felt like three. Like emotionally, I don't know. Yeah, no, I I feel you. <laughs> I, I, I just, exactly I don't know how Rannick comes back. Like, Oxy's going to realize very soon. I guess Oxy's screen doesn't even have the overlay for the, um, like, current match other player yeah. stats. The, the, she doesn't have the overlay there, but she will know that, like, okay, this guy hasn't gotten hot stuff. Like, what is happening? You know what I mean? Like, what did, what did he do wrong? Uh, and that's a nice way to deal with the gas. I mean, again... Bridge a little weird with a wood pick, but yeah, surely she'll realize that, right? Oh, there we go. <laughs> realized it when the gold block was taking too long to break, and we will be heading to the ramparts. There will again always be guaranteed three iron in Bastion chests. There we go. Regardless of if the seed has an iron pick or not, it's just always guaranteed. So that's a nice helmet too. Getting the gold there. I mean. It's not really time loss. Like it, it is time loss. You'd rather have an iron pick there, but you can't. You literally can't have an iron pick there unless you like looted the temple in this overworld. You can't have an iron pick. So, hey, yeah, maybe looting the temple would have been strats too. If you know it's a bridge, blow up the chalice. <laughs> maybe the temple has a notch, yeah. some pearls. I don't know. Well, yeah. I mean, I was gonna say the temple could be good, but the problem with the temple is, I assume that that's not gonna be seed found at all. That's just kind of random yeah. there. The only so thing you might get like no, some, you some, need... some sand. <laughs> I was gonna say you could like bring the lava down into the temple, but you would still need a water bucket. Like if you had if you had ten obby, I would maybe think about jumping in the temple. If I had ten obby and, and it's a wood pick and it's there? a wood pick seed, yeah, you build it down there, you try to get three iron or three diamonds. <laughs> I'd honestly think about it. Cause you would save like twenty seconds here on this bridge sheet, not having to go to a rampart and then back. Right? Like, you would just be able to start. I mean, you'd have TNT either way, but, like, that'd be my thought process. But, obviously, they have nine obbies. So, it's just a complete moot point right. out the window. Also, love this draw from Oxy. I don't know the name. Um, if we look at the bridge flowchart, like we were talking earlier, you could probably figure it out. But, I love this double single route where you just kind of let the dudes fall. Um, especially when there's no hoglin. It's just so free. And, I mean, Rannick's doing their best to catch up, right? But it's still just, you're fighting a two-minute mistake that just might be too much. Especially when the person who made the two-minute mistake is the person who is, on average, two minutes slower than the other one. Right. I mean, they haven't really been playing slower today by two minutes. Both of these seeds have been incredibly close. Um, but if you just look at the overall stats, like, it, it's not the person that I would... Trust being behind, you know? Trust the four seed, trust Oxidia. 
trust her gameplay a little bit more, but I hope Brandon can prove me wrong, honestly. Because yeah. close matches are fun to watch. That's more freaking hype. I mean, I believe. I believe. It's possible they, to come back. They must have seen that for it, too. I mean, they could maybe get, like, more eggs yeah, out of I trades. Say. But it's double single. Like, that's very, um... Like, rough. I, I don't know the better word. I was trying to think. Um, like, there's only just so many pigs in the whole bastion when it's double single. Like, you, you at some point, you physically can't get more. And it looks like there's some zombie pigs anyways that are messing them up. And Oxidia is already leaving towards the fort. Guess it was through the wall spawn. So, that, I mean, this is just a crazy time save. Or, uh, case, right? Like... There's that thing uh, again. Yeah, it's cool tech. Um, I don't see. I don't understand that. I mean, I'm never gonna learn it because personally, I would never miss a pearl into lava because it's just not. It's not what I do. But right. <laughs> totally disregarding the fact that sometimes you have to pearl into lava. But <laughs> can you explain that? So what, what's going on there? I think it's all? just because your camera is like directly on the bottom it's like you know that it's it's a similar mechanic to like the water tech when you're in a boat and the water just like you know okay. what i mean like you can just see yeah, through yeah, the water yeah. Ooh, they messed that up oh my god low as well gonna be on like one heart before this bread box in good box oh, in i think i see it looks to me like the person's like diving <laughs> i don't know it no it's so like a, it's like a double f5 i think maybe just a single f5 but it's because the camera is like directly on the ground. Is why it does that. But yeah, I mean, Rannick, maybe. Oh my god, this hoglin. Oh, on hard. That's why it was so much. I was going to say, I thought they had more health. But again, Oxidia's game to lose at this point. It's unfortunate, but basically, anytime we see a runner take a death in a seed, it is basically over. And it's so much more punishing in these best of three scenarios when one seed. Is half of your entire tournament yeah. down the drain if you lose it versus best of five even in the finals best of seven where you can have maybe one even two bad seeds and then crush the others yeah here there's no mercy you know yeah and for sure. oxy i mean blinding on five i guess they have 20 obby doesn't really matter kind of annoying that you're in a cave here but would need to lose so much more time to uh even have it be an issue. Because Rannick is still sitting at the trades. <laughs> waiting for pearls, waiting for 20, waiting for everything. Looks like they finally got it, but you're literally an entire full split ahead of the other person. Yeah, it is your game to lose, and you definitely know that. 1800, but it's still very um, doable. Ox has a lot of food. 10 bread is should be more than enough. I think it's like one bread is one pearl. You eat a bread, it heals you two and a half hearts like quickly, yeah, and then you throw that's, a pearl. That feels about right, yeah. You lose two and a half hearts. So they can throw like nine pearls, which is more than enough. But they do also need one more rod. Which they got, beautiful. It's gonna be some stronghold travel as Rannick tries to get their first rod. That's the kind of pace we're talking about. When you take a death, it's just too punishing. But even so, I think Oxidia has been crushing this seed anyways. Yeah. Like I think they uh, I think they're really, ahead really well. by more than two minutes right now. Um I mean Rannick also I think is just oh Rannick's just fully dead. Oh no. Double double Wither Skelly. Oh that's brutal. Two deaths in a row. I mean, Oxy might have almost died in the lava there, so it could have been a completely even seed almost, but... It's not over till the dragon's dead, but we need a zero throw, and Oxy knows Rannick isn't even finding the stronghold yet, so... I, I, I don't see the line. I... This should this should just be Oxy at the game. Like, I, there's not... The, 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 yeah, like you said, this just entirely requires a complete throw from Oxy to lose. There's a spike. There's no coming back. Yeah. It's important to note, though, that, like, you know, 
There's a very good chance, of course, very good chance of them being totally fine. Eat but... food! Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, like imagine you're say. on two hearts, you drop in there, there's like a zombie or a skelly. Dude. Seven bread, too. I mean, they're safe, but when you're this far ahead, I don't know. Seven beds. Oh, oh, oh there's the wood. Okay, yeah, I was just yeah, saying, I remember yeah. I saw that mine. Just... Yeah, yeah. I just didn't see it, man. Well, it's weird, too, because it didn't like bookcraft, right? So you'd think. I don't blame you. There we go. Zero to close it off, surely? Oh my god, that pearl was close. Let's see it. No, it's it's too far back. Not their fault. Back 97, maybe? I have bad at reading towers. 94, maybe? I mean, if it's 94, we saw Arachi hit 94. But... Hey, Again. I want to say uh, credit to, to Rannick, though, for keeping the mental strong, not forfeiting. Just uh... Oh, they were able to grab their stuff, too. Wow. Yeah, exactly. They didn't, they didn't fully reset. Yeah, no, I mean, props to them. But, actually, I mean, maybe a part of the decision to not um, go for zero is also you just you literally know your minutes ahead. Like, why throw? Like, who, right. who cares how fast you beat the seed? You, you have to beat the seed before the other person beats the seed. So if you know right. the other person is going to take four or five minutes, then do the 100% safe thing as opposed to the 95% safe thing, maybe, you know? Right. So I like to play. Rannick is... Rannick just can't get a can't get a bow eye measurement at all here. I don't know what's happening, but they've been measuring eyes for nearly a minute now, and there's an desync yelling at him too. Looks like it's the same chords though, but I don't know what's happening. I don't do the bow measurement thing, so maybe they just weren't getting the right like sync up. I don't I don't know how it works, but we're gonna. Hopefully see the perch soon from Oxy, and then it's just going to be GG. I mean, again, have to just be some sort of world-class level throw at this point. One cycle, full iron. Yeah, just like a... Five spare bread, build. spare pearls, like... Clutch materials! Yeah. I mean, there's just... There's everything, right? And that might be the perch. There's the pre-pearl, early pre-pearl. I like that. That's the perch. Let's see a 3 plus are. 1. Look at this height. Come on, right? Oh, bad first bed. Not their fault. Bad RNG, sure. Nice. Should be game. There we go. There it is. It. Not the fastest of seeds. 14 minutes. Definitely one of the slower ones we've seen today. But, again, it's fast enough to beat the other player. And Oxy's going to be, what, the second match in a row now? Where the top seeds sort of woke up and actually... Yep. Didn't get busted. Yeah, there we go. Maybe the second half here will all be. They just be they all the needed to seeds. like warm up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, super well played there from uh Oxy. I mean, obviously there was the sort of two uh, there's the death, but then also the sheer craft that was brutal from Ranix's part uh Ranix. Sounds so much like Ranix. Ranix part. But uh overall, um yeah, just but still like, even just like watching just Oxidi at play, like I I I can't think of like a hard any big like misplays. Just very clean gameplay, not the best seed, but just very well played. True. Ready for a winner's interview, nerdy? Very much so. Augers. Yo. Hello. Welcome Congrats. in. You did very well. How do you feel in your uh, in your three seeds there? Uh, I felt I felt pretty good. I was all the fucking like all the higher seeds losing kind of fucked my <laughs> mental. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, rain won about... before you, yeah. so maybe yeah, exactly. that was the boost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you did. Worked you out. did really, really well. Um. Had you did you have any like indication that you were like notably ahead? Because I know we noticed that you didn't have the yeah. like, little like player cards on. Yeah, I have all that shit off. Uh, okay. 
I don't know. I, I, I was just kind of focused on the seed. I figured nice. he might have been a bit ahead of me because I, I misplayed the Bastion a bit. I did a weird route because it was double single. And I was like, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, I like that route where you make them yeah, all it's, drop. It's pretty good. It's kind yeah. of bang. <laughs> it's, it's funny. Left. But like, I don't know. I played for it well. I played. I don't know. I just, I think, like, whenever I make a like, small mistake, that just, it kind of fucks my mental for the rest. But Yeah, for sure. Did they, like, die or something? They made uh, they cheers in cheers. the overworld, so they had oh. to reset. And then they also Dirt. died in the fort. But they were able to, like, go back to the fort and get their stuff. But it was, like, a two-minute mistake in the overworld. And then, I mean, another yeah. minute and a half. Like, they were, um... Dude, that overworld sucked. That overworld yeah, sucked. I was... We were saying, if <laughs> you rolled better. that overworld, you just see change. And the yeah, other person just what... also see changes. Like, you're just not playing... <laughs> Nine, nine obby, obby no pickaxe desert village but i mean you guys toughed like it out yeah. yeah and you were you were ahead on the first seed too and during the end the half bow just didn't yeah. uh didn't work out for you and then obviously the second seed was a uh, zero i think but yeah, everything like, everything blends together <laughs> it's like back 88 i think I don't remember. yeah and you went to 95 and i had some time and that was good but you were you were si like sizably ahead in that one and then obviously in this third seed it was a Two deaths. Well, a death and a reset by Rannick, so you were ahead there by three, four minutes. Yeah. Um, I mean, overall, you guys both were just playing really well. Apart from Rannick's, like, death mistake, like, yeah, I think he was 30 or 40 seconds behind you in the zero seed. Um, and then you guys enter then within, like, five or six seconds on the, the one that you lost to half bow. He, uh, he didn't have a bow pre-crafted and just decided it wasn't worth it which i is maybe the right play um i just beat you on perch just how it goes but you awesome, played man. consistently better and got the last two seeds so yeah that's awesome rng didn't completely fuck me <laughs> yeah congrats Thanks. uh you're gonna be going against uh moly g do you have any uh are you <laughs> any any words for moly before you uh before you head out uh, here? i'll just say I was rooting for Molly to win that because I would rather face him than him than Prithen. Oh, <laughs> okay, so, okay. Know, I'm not super confident. Okay, well, good luck. Very yeah. well played. Congrats, uh, and best of luck next weekend. Yeah, we'll see you then. Thanks for playing. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Augers. <laughs> rooting, rooting for someone to win for like the wrong reason. <laughs> you know that's good no that's the right reason <laughs> that's the right reason in my opinion i like um, that i like that you excited right. for this next match i don't know yeah they're not i mean yet. of course you know i'm excited <laughs> my boy silva is up next obviously i have like a maybe a slight bias but automat also i mean i feel like automat is also just like an og like i Automat was in like the fucking tournament I was in, like the Simply's Invitational, I think. So, oh yeah, like absolute OG player. So that's hype. So, right, nerdy, bro, think... what do you think about oh, this stat God, card, bro? Stats. Oh my! God. I got insane. I gotta ask yeah. Oliver to make me a stat card just so I can knock this dude's ego down a bunch. Okay. Like okay. this, okay. this we stat get it. card we get it. is we get it. Yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, this is a good one. So, seven thirty-seven. Oh my god! Like it's this, the, there's it's not the anything second, on here that's bad. It's the second fastest ranked run ever, and I will say, in this ranked seven thirty-seven. I played against Silver and I entered the stronghold first. We don't have to talk about what happened after that because he kind of uh -huh. cheated in the nav and surely I was going to hit the five explosive zero or even try to go for it. But. Uh huh. You gotta, I'm you got a bit of cope. You have to give me something, I, man. I, I do, do you understand the ego? Like, just the, the absolute mental blow being absolutely demolished in seven and a half minutes? Do you understand? I, you go I understand. The mental blow? I'm just saying, it sounds to me a bit like we're. I'm hearing a bit of cope here. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and I mean, um, dude, just this whole thing. The zero zero again. We'll we'll see why when we look at Automat's card. But I mean, Silver's accomplishments are very pog too. He put the rivals in. That's a nice shout. Definitely uh, not super MCSR related, but very year two years ago, back when Twitch actually had money. Um, Secure three rivals. They kind of had that god team. Silver, Dave, Emerald, and Mustard. That was always fun to watch. 
won eight yeah. world record holder. That was a good tower run. TRT TRT four. Sorry, we've had a lot of uh, TRT winners playing. Like what? There's only been six TRT uh, events, and I think like two or three people playing in here have won one of them. Yeah. And I mean, I've won one of them, so that's four. Like you know, that's is basically basically everybody, right? Um, former top five. I wonder what run that was. Maybe his eight forty seven was like top five at the time. I'm not sure, but again, I mean, 8:47 is still like a, a a very solid PB. That's a minute off world record. Sub nine, sub nine's where it gets yeah. real, you know. I think 8:47 was second place, right? I don't think it was think second. It was. it was like it was the top five one though. I think it was one of the number one first is the fastest zero at least. I think you're right. Fastest yeah. Zero. Um, um. But dude, 12, 12 20 average time is crazy, and 73 percent win rate is just that, absurd. That, that those two combined i mean 1220 is one of the highest i'm pretty sure 73 is the highest i think 73 is the highest by a lot i, th I don't think we've seen anything in the 70s these are both the highest by far out of anybody that we've seen not by far average yeah. by far i'm gonna pull it up because we have some time i don't have i mean i could ask uh <laughs> i could ask uh oliver to make me a little thing but i can pull it up so the best average completions um i'm first at 1206 but i'm not playing silver's second at 1220 this is out of like literally everybody ever right that has ever played ranked yeah but it obviously makes sense that the top ones are going to be our top ranked players because if you average yeah. a faster completion you will just win more of your games um uh, Silver has a 12.20. Ral is the second highest in the tournament that played 12.39, but he lost yeah. to Dougal. And Anko Boy averaged a 12.50, and he upset Loki. And then fifth place is the only other thing I can see in this graphic is Hacking Noises with a 12.51. Um, okay. And he didn't make the cut for the event, the top 16. Uh, I have no idea what my season one win rate is. I'd have to like look at it. But... This 73 is definitely, I mean, well, it's not the highest because if we look at who Silver's facing, Nerdy, Automat is going to spout a 95% win rate. But it's a, what? But it's a bit sus because it's a yeah, 20, it's a 20 game sample size as opposed to like a 300 game sample size, you know? Damn. That is like that. The like, average time there is already um, a minute slower, a minute and a half slower, almost two minutes actually. No, because somewhere is a twelve twenty. That's nearly two minutes slower, and the rank, right, the yeah. rank, best rank time three minutes slower, PB two minutes slower. They've never played each other, but again, that's because I don't think Automat was ever in the uh, top fifty. Just played twenty, got in top hundred, made the quals, but. I mean, I guess this is such a big um, discrepancy because it's seed one versus seed 16, you know? Silver had right. the highest ELO last season. He was 150 ELO above second. Um, yeah, which is just nuts. Like, that's an insane gap. Especially wow. at the top, too. Like, when every win just takes... You get less and less ELO for every win you lose more and more ELO for every loss. The fact that he's 150 ELO above Rao, who was second, is just crazy. Um, but, I mean, Automat crushed the qualifiers. I, I don't know if I'll say crushed, but he got to the tiebreaker seed. He got top two in the tiebreaker, so he rounds out our 16th seed. Um, okay. Has some good accomplishments. I mean, honestly, I was, I was very... I don't want to say shocked, maybe like impressed is the right word that Automat managed to qualify. I kind of thought he like stopped speedrunning, you know? Like you said, he played in OG the Nether player. Regionals yeah. with you. That was like mid to late 2020. Like it's it's been right. three years almost that we've been yeah. speedrunning. And I, I don't think he's been keeping up nearly as much, but I mean, maybe he's just got that dog in him, you know? That innate ability. Hey, to clutch listen, it out. I gotta respect it. Gotta respect it. Absolutely just gaming. Yeah. Uh with a coming in just, you know, ninety five percent win rate. All right. I'm out. I'm good. You know? I know. That's, it that's is what a I'm talking crazy, about. That's the mentality. Crazy win rates. All right, nerdy. What do you think 
Automat is going to ban first. I already know. I already know. I'm you sorry. already know? I, I, looked. I looked at specific. I only looked at what Automat banned. I know he banned BT. Well, I, I think even if you didn't cheat, I think it's pretty obvious, you know? Like, if you watch Silver play any overworld, I, yeah. I would ban BT against Silver. I think it's just the right call. What do you think Silver banned against Automat? Uh, and then, oh, that's a good question. I'm going to guess Village. I'm going to say Village, I think. That was close. What is it? Shipwreck? What is it? Desert Temple. Okay. Okay. That you had the right yeah. idea. You had the right idea. I thought my logic is that if Automat's like an OG player, he's going to be most comfortable with Village. The village? Ooh, so... maybe Silver wasn't thinking about that too much. I kind of know what you mean, yeah. though. Yeah. I, I, I like that. I like that line. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. That's some, yeah. that's some intense nerd level thinking from Nerdy himself. <laughs> but I like it. Like, I, 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 I think you're right. Like, we played so many villages back then, it could just be mentally ingrained to do that routing, especially because now, like, if you're resetting for any percent, I mean, you're never tapping into a temple, but, like, you're also never really tapping into a village either. Like, it's just right. all beach, ocean, BT, maybe shipwreck, maybe room portal, but you're never tapping into really either of those structures um yeah and i think uh desert temple i don't know i i feel like silver i don't know maybe he's just not confident in desert temples but i i would feel like silver would be good at that kind of thing that that would i, I feel like you know i mean he hasn't done a lot of aa per se but i still feel like i don't know i just i guess <laughs> you I think, you like think he'd get you know get having distracted? tnt having blocks having zero huh yeah he'd get distracted know, from AA. I don't know. I think so. We're just gonna crush any um, any CD plays. Oh my god! Do I have to like remove this? Is this gonna go away? Oliver, please don't start. Oh, he started. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Where is it? P1. Interact. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> I have to turn this shit off. What Sorry. is happening? It's like the extension for some charity thing you did the other oh. day. Oh. I'm so confused. Okay, I we're good, now we're good. We figured it out. <laughs> so these are some crazy looting. stats. I mean, obviously, I yeah. can't read Bosnian. I don't think it was looting. I think looting is like Kanje. Yeah, it's fire aspect. He knows though. He knows it's fire aspect. <laughs> of course he does. Why you, you're you're acting like you're surprised? Well, I'm not, but I am at the same time. I'm surprised because yeah. I didn't know. That. But it's why he checked it again. You know. Stack of Nuggets is crazy, too. It's Pick, Bucket, and FNS. Like, where you would actually wow. need yeah. seven is just crazy. And then you just rip your stone tools. I mean, they're both doing the same thing. They're on the same... Literally the same exact tree. But, dude, look at this ELO gap. Oh, my God. 665 ELO difference. Hey, I just want to say, for 20 games... I mean, obviously it makes sense because 95, but... For only playing 20 games, 16 and 44 is not bad at all. Yeah, I mean, that... only one loss. Yeah. It is still um... nuts. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. But oh, the RP I don't forgot start... water. Oh, this is weird. 3, 5, 6, 11. Yeah, they're both thinking about it. They're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? So, we're just completing on the side here. I. Is he going to dig the dig this out? Okay, good. I like what Automat's doing better, if I'm being honest. I don't know about you, but Automat's closer to the lava. Yeah. And you had you had 11 things there. Like, Automat's going to yeah. get in the nether first, and he forgot water. He looking for gold blocks, maybe, or just blocks? Yeah, Silver definitely choked this. I'm not yeah, sure what he was really thinking, but, I mean, he's got to know that he messed it up. Well, I, I here's what I think. So... That's like one of those things where, like, you really want to be kind of like in speedrunning, you really want to be kind of cheap. Like, you want to use as little stuff as possible. And it logically to our yeah. brains, it's very easy for us to think that, like, uh, placing less blocks would be faster. It's a very, like, intuitive. Feeling. Oh, maybe that's what he was but, thinking about, like, the blocks, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. And so that's what I think happened there. But you, you can't necessarily always predict. What's I think it's be the better. Line. Yeah. It's a, it's a weird situation too. Like you almost never see like that type of room portal literally in that like yeah, situation. For sure. Because 
He should have known that there wasn't enough lava. I think you pointed out the blocks. I didn't think about that at all. But I think the better play, if he did need the blocks... And, dude, he just crushed that terrain. Like, how is he ahead of Automat? With... Automat had, like, nine netherrack. And he's just doing what Silver does. Like, I, I don't even know. I, I, I literally... That. I just love that. It looked like they were doing the same thing. And then he's just... He's now suddenly gained 20 seconds. I have no idea what just happened. But Dude, what I was saying, boat play, he just left the boat. Oh man, so good. Oh Sorry. yeah, I mean, well, if you break the boat, uh, you break the hog. I don't know. It's just, I mean, dude, it's so clean. But um, dude, I don't even remember what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, like you probably just get the netherrack from the bottom of the room portal, or like when you dig that sort of like cup shape for the, or where your portal is. You know what I mean? Like when you um, that's when you get the blocks, and I think that's what Automat did. Nice pyre from Silver too. Knows exactly where the fort is. That was very clean. Maybe he could have just seen it. It does. I do think it pointed back to spawn. But, I mean, very clean bridge route. These these small hits here and there probably won't matter. He's got eleven like S tier food items and then a double S tier food item in the golden apple. And then like enchanted golden apples, like triple S. I don't even know. I didn't really think that through when I. Okay, it's okay, we forget. Okay. We forget. Thanks, thanks. But yeah, I mean just no nothing wrong here. I mean he does he does not have his boats and it might be an issue. I think he actually only has four planks. So surely he will know that's a problem. It might bite him in the ass. I know he likes to do boat eye, like measuring. So if he doesn't have the boat, like has to spawn next to a tree or something. But I mean He's reading my mind. He's just getting the boat. He just knows. Like, perfectly routed into what he's doing in this bastion. It didn't even look... It didn't even look slow, man, to, like... Yeah. It didn't even look like he was inconvenienced by that at all. It's really smooth gameplay from Silver. Automat, though, doing a great job as well, keeping up. Um, both players on pretty similar paces here. This is looking... Uh, this, this is looking like it could be a good match. Money chunk for it. <laughs> it points the right way, but Silver, it, it, it's like it looks like they're in the same spot, but Silver has a pearl hang. And True. Automat doesn't. True, Automat also hasn't looted the other chest, I don't think, because he has 8 obby. Silver has like 20. I don't know what Silver's waiting for, though. Does he have 7 string? Is that the. He oh just, no, he has a I stack he... and 7. Just got 20, maybe? Yeah. yeah I think he just got 20. I'm that makes sure. sense. Doesn't see the four. It's, it's good that he's. Looking, I'm not sure if I love that pearl. Is it gonna hit though? And then I will love it. Oh, oh, good clutch. Wow. <laughs> good awareness. There's, there's the four. Nice. That could have nice. been it. I mean, but look, Automat's, Automat's out. He's proing out. He's only 10, 15 seconds behind. This was a very fast fashion room, too. He hasn't seen the fort. But I mean, one blind pearl this way, and then you know it's here. You'll see it. Oh, he's got a wall in the way. Maybe he won't see it. He's gonna, he kind of has to go right. But he is. That's good. Is Silver going to play strays? He's going to try to force it here, which is nice, I think, because you see the other spawner up here. Um, so you can, like, sort of load new four chunks this way and try to get the spawner, which is nice. Takes a hit, but again, too much food. And I think Automat's maybe, like, 30 seconds slower on the board. So it's not an unsurmountable comeback or uh, insurmountable i'm not sure the right word but when you're going against silver that is like 30 seconds is a lot of time so this dude's gonna zero yeah. everything he's gonna nail the triangulation nail the preemptive like you gotta play perfect and hope he messes up because silver is gonna just be playing perfect and automat lot had a really weird blaze spawn there i don't really know if that was his fault has a blaze like hot air ballooning under the spawner. And he's on three rods. Silver's on six, I think. I couldn't really see. Let's see it. Silver leaving the nether here. Oh, he's on four. Okay. Maybe the rates are bad. Maybe it's closer than we think. Got the boat. Ooh, has to get the boat again. See, this is what I don't understand. Like, I'm not even sure what the problem is sometimes with boat eye like that. Like, why he has to get in and out of the boat five times. I will never know. But it looks like he finally got it to work. Oh, and he doesn't... <laughs> he doesn't have his macro up, I think, for the, um... 
stretch, and there it is. And 741. No break as well, but Automat's out with five rods, so he made up some time there. Good heads up play from Silver getting wood. Automat's gonna have to do the same thing. They both played the exact same way in the overworld, getting, well, in the start of the world at least, getting uh, one tree at the start, so. Automat's gonna have to remember to get wood unless he, I mean, but surely you go down here, you remember, because you're down here. And he's gonna get the same exact Savannah tree that Silver just got. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, he's gonna throw another eye. Okay, ninety-six percent, and he throws another one. That's crazy. But hey, you know, I understand. Is it gonna break? If it breaks, it's really bad. I can't tell. He literally didn't look at it. If it breaks, it is really bad because he will need an extra rod. It did break. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, unfortunate. That's the boat eye difference, and I mean, not sending a one eye at ninety-six. Damn. Was it different? I didn't see if it changed. If it changed, it was by like one, like the 96 was like 740 and then the the 4% was like 720. And it might have, it might have just changed because he moved a little bit before he, um, before he went, you know, but yeah, he's still not too far behind, but if someone nails is preemptive, you're going to expect them to nail a zero. You're going to expect it's over. And I think he got an okay spike here. Oh. Nice. Spyro's Law, perhaps? This looks really scuffed. Yeah, this is not... Oh my god, that scared me. No, he Just was good. Me. I should have more... Oh, yeah, I should have more faith in Silver. That was a nice re-preemptive, but look, he's already basically lost all the time. Like, again, he has knowledge in the Stronghold, but if Automat one-shots this, it's like the same pace. That's... that's... Oh, and Silver gets it, and Automat's going mid again, so he's not. Same mistake from both runners. And Silver has four beds to anchors. He'll probably go for it here. Yeah, yeah Automat is not Silver. in the right spot at all. Oh, he's so deep. Look how deep he's getting pulled here. All will right, Silver hit this? Silver. I think he will. Oh my god, it's fucking sc <laughs> Ground control, yeah. Ground control, yeah. Good. I fix it. All right, here we go. The one cycle. It's the one cycle. The one cycle. The one cycle yeah, maybe? The one, enjoy the one cycle. Should be good. Two anchors as well. Might even be good. Oop. Definitely good off this oh one. Oh my. And he gets it. Has some food too to spare. Well done. Quick 1-0, mid-10. And, I mean, both runners getting uh, getting messed up by Nav. Um, just a hard preemptive, I guess. Pulls you kind of in a weird way. It's v Look how close that portal room is to being exposed. Oh, it kind of is, too. If you go to that four-way, you can kind of enter it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very hard to see, though. You don't see it in the ravine. You think you're, you think you're the wrong way. You kind of turn around, but... I mean... Like, what did Silver even do wrong, really? Like, um, I mean, he messed up his boat measurement a little bit. That's kind of it. Like, I can't think of anything else. Like, he crushed the terrain to the um, housing. Oh, it was the Overworld Nether Portal. He definitely needed to build it closer to the lava. The time loss of going back and forth and back and forth to pick up each individual lava source was, like, way worse than... Um, then it uh, just being on that lava and losing like maybe three, four seconds to get some more blocks and then trying to send the portal from there. That's why Automat was in first. Take a look at the splits and we'll give Silver the dub. It'll show in the splits too. Automat. Um, oh, it didn't. Yeah. Um, I hit update and it didn't update. That's Pog. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Very yeah, cool. Automat, Automat in the nether faster, but look, Silver just made up 15 seconds on just raw terrain with less yep. blocks also. Wow, wow, wow. Because that's Automat crazy. entered with like nine nether rack and Silver had like two. Yeah, it was just, I, I, I mean, I'd have to watch and see, like it looked like they were doing the same thing and then I just saw Silver was in the Bastion first. It just made no sense to me. And then, I mean, neither of them really made a ton of mistakes. It's just Silver somehow pulled 30 seconds out of nowhere, like slightly better... Bastion routing?
because he he snuck a pearl hang in there is that is that why he's in the fort maybe 20 30 seconds faster yeah uh, just great plays from silver i mean just super smooth like everything with silver is just so it, it's so about silver's gameplay that just always looks so uh, poetic you know it looks so smooth so intentional uh, yeah there's something about silver that's just he's, he's very uh very fun runner to watch for sure Yep, and we're going to throw it to a quick break because I need to use the bathroom. So, Nerdy, if you need to do anything, go ahead. We still got, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half left, depending on how um, how quick, maybe two hours. Um, dude, I hit start and it doesn't start. It's definitely not my fault anymore. But we'll be getting into seed two in just a couple minutes, so stick with us. Poggers. We'll be back in the game soon. But that was a good game. Good game so far. I'm excited to see Silver. He's gonna he's gonna kill this next one. Automat though, maybe Automat is is sick of uh, you know wants to bring back that 95% win rate. Maybe he's just gonna win 19 games in a row again. Maybe again. You never know. Okay, guys, listen. Guys, listen. Okay, listen. You, you 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 can't it's not listen okay i'm i get it i'm biased my bad Apo sue me man sue me my bad all right my bad my bad okay listen 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 here's the thing here's the thing i will i automat is a fantastic player and has a higher win rate than silver so logically speaking he's a fantastic player too Automat's like the OG as well. Automat's been running way before Silver. So, there's a lot. There's a lot. I, you want me to keep going? You want me to keep, I, I can keep complimenting. Automat was like, yeah, I remember we were in the fuck, uh, I, I, the, we were in the fucking Nether Regionals. That was so hyped. That was a fun tournament. You guys remember that? That was actually, this tournament reminds me of that in a lot of ways. I don't know. I don't know if anyone was there for that. People talk. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Am I not supposed to people talk? You want me to sit here like this? Is that better? You guys want that? I think I see. I think you guys. I, I think the people talking is important. I think that's an important aspect of commentary. Talking? You mean yeah. talking is important for commentary? Isn't that the whole thing? I do. I do. That's I do. good. That's good to know. I, I I would I would not enjoy commentating with someone who doesn't talk. So I'm glad that you. I'm glad that you value that. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I was I was planning on like wearing like one of my merch things for the commentary today, and I I put on like my black uh, shirt of this, and then I went outside when it was 80 degrees and walked around for half an hour, and then I was sweating so bad, so I took it off <laughs> and high rolled that the white one was still on my fucking clothes. Nice, nice. Otherwise I was just gonna be. Good. Otherwise I was gonna be pissed off. And I wasn't going to know what to wear. Advertising? Yeah, I'm advertising merch that you literally can't buy anymore. Like, <laughs> like yeah, that's really smart of me, right? <laughs> Anyways, before we get to the next seed, quick look at the seed pick. Automat chooses Village instead of Shipwreck. Maybe just thinks he's more confident in the non-ocean seeds versus Silver, Dude, but again. what did I say, man? What did I say? Village. That's why you got to ban that next. If, if I wouldn't... Hey, listen. Automat is... He was, like, I mean, at least in back in the day, he was a top runner, you know, a lot of village practice for sure. So honestly, I think this, we, I wouldn't be surprised at all. I would, I genuinely wouldn't be surprised at all if uh, we see Automatic some, get some lead in the overworld. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Like again, but maybe even more this time. I believe you. Um, but I think we're ready to get right into it. Um... the timer ready i mean game threes are fun man i don't know we'll see how the overworld goes if automat can get a little bit of a lead in the overworld or keep pace then it's possible but i mean automat was ahead in the overworld and then literally the first thing that happened in the nether he lost the lead instantly so i mean that's just what silver's gonna do 
Like, and I, I don't know, like, if the village will be enough, right? I have no idea. But we'll see. Blacksmith on the surface. Oh. <laughs> Villager door moment. Door love, truly. Oh my god, it's one of these seeds again. Dude, any seed changers? <laughs> <laughs> This is better oh, though. No. This is honestly a lot better because it's nine yeah. iron instead of eleven. Or, oh my god, nice. Eleven obby instead of nine, guys. It's uh, it's been a long day. <laughs> eleven obby instead of nine because now you don't have to make a bucket. You can make the pickaxe, and I think that golem and rank always guarantees drops four, so you can make the pickaxe and have enough for the light. You don't have to use a bucket on lava, um, and like carry it, you know. So, it's significantly less annoying than the last village seed that we saw played in the last map. And there's, I already see, like, a lake with some gravel, maybe, for Automat. Like, this looks like a very, um, nice seed, but he doesn't have any... Oh, wow, look at that gravel spot. Silver doesn't see it. Might not matter. Automat sees some hay bales over there. So he's got his gravel at this lake, potentially. Oh, he doesn't. Oh my god, this gravel play from Automat might be huge then. Where does Silver go for gravel? There was another lake over here that he's going to go to, but Automat's going to have a lead in this overworld again. Already, like you said, like you thought. What's is there the, even is there I even say? gravel here for Silver? There is. Okay, there. Man. I think in the middle. Yeah, there is a little bit. Okay. But, I mean, this is a solid 10, 15 second lead for Automat. Can he hold it at least to the Bastion and it will be better than last scene, you know? I mean, this is, this is uh, like a yeah. 20, 20 to 30 second lead, maybe, I want to say. It's hard to tell, obviously. Counting is really hard, guys. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, look. What, what I say, Automat... The village experience coming through there. Just good routing overall. Um, There's the Bastion. Players, but and he gets yeah, there first. There Dub to Automat. Holding his lead here. They were finding some weird up terrain, but it's not going to work. Bridge here. <laughs> Automat goes down. Maybe I like this play. I feel like it's generally maybe safer if there's no Hoglin, but then if there's a very annoying Piglin, you could get into the lava and fully die. So I don't really know what's better. I always go up. And look at Silver here. Silver has no idea where the terrain is. Ooh. This this is a... I don't really know where he went. Oh, there's there the bridge. Okay. Oh, wow. Maybe. Oh, my God. Like, and he just finds the chalice, oh, chalice. instead. <laughs> so he's... So, ne so never mind, actually. He actually made up, like, a lot of time, somehow, by finding the chalice part. And now he's... Probably lost no time from terrain, even though he went through two ravines. So, I don't know. Silver will just do Is that. That skill, <laughs> that that specifically there, was no. Was he that, got lucky. Would you say no, that? He was, got lucky. Yeah, I was gonna say. There's that, no way he e raid yeah. to the bad part of the bridge on purpose. He just tried to find this terrain and it ended up working. Out. Like that would be crazy. That that, that just crazy. happens, but yeah, it, that just happens. Like he didn't. That was not a thing on purpose. And this is interesting too. Double single. Is Silver going to bust out some crazy route, or is he going to do what Automat's doing here? But Automat has zero pigs. Automat has one pig, two pig, three pig, four pig. How many pigs is Silver going to get? This could, like, one pig here means a lot. Three versus four when you're trading 16 gold blocks? True. Yeah. So we got That's five okay. pigs. Oh, Automat got five, though, too. Automat got a fifth one, so it looks pretty even. Ooh. But yeah, like one pig at that low pig counts, training that many gold blocks, means a lot sometimes. And this could also be a home portal seed because of just double single, right? Unless there's like, I don't know, 10 obby in this thing, or, or the trades are really good. You're kind of chalked here. Like, how, how much obby does Automat have right now? I guess, you have, I guess you have one from the overworld, right? Like... And there was literally just the five, yeah, because you're guaranteed five in the Bastion somewhere, but it was literally just the five. So. I think we're gonna see a portal. I mean, the rank trades yeah, do sometimes good. completely juice you out, but I think we'll see a portal. A nine, not ideal. Also, only thirty-three. Silver did not 12. get any bad. 
33 string. Automat has one bed. Okay. But there's no anchor. Oh, Automat got more string. 56. Where's Silver headed? Is he gone? This is a pearl hang? Oh, Silver's leaving. Wait, but where is, um... Where's the home portal pearl hang, no? Oh, it's a multi-disc pearl hang, kind of. Okay. I see. Not bad. Wow. It's a little extra. I'm not really sure how much that fully matters. Um, it's kind of just... You don't really do it anymore because if you have to do it, your seed sucks, but... I don't know. I mean, Automat is just in this fort. Is he gonna blind, though? He didn't hang a pearl back to home portal. Or did he just sneak 20? Oh, there's the, there's the pearl hang. There it is. Okay. I was gonna say, Silver has 14. There's no way he sneaked 20. Oh, Silver has 17. Silver might wait and get 20. Okay, so Silver might be behind Ooh, here on this seed. But also, look, if you wait for 20, you have zero mats probably. But surely you get another, yeah, there's another string trade. Now you already have five bed, one anchor. Get another glowstone point, trade, yeah. two anchor, another bed trade, six bed. Like at this point, 19 up, you have to wait. Like, and you're playing now knowing you you're behind, but in some ways you're ahead. Oh man, this is interesting. This is a really interesting match here. I think it's the first time we've seen a 20 versus 10 all day. Yeah, I think you're I think right. I think you... The only other think... difference was when Pulsar just fucking blinded in that one scene. That was the, <laughs> that was the only yeah. other... And I mean, it was, it, like, we laugh at it, but it was the right play. Like, he almost no, won the yeah, seed no, off for it. sure. Because um, that was the seed where he went in... They had different enters. Different enters, yeah. It was because of the weird home portal. But they, I, I think we've never seen someone do 10, 10 versus 20. And I mean, someone's got to find the fort at least, right? I don't, know, I don't know where his pirate direction is. Did he go the wrong way, maybe? I don't know, yeah, but Automat is out at his home portal. Only has 12, though, but, like, this is starting to look insurmountable for Silver. Like, Automat got good rates, played that four really well, and Silver got yeah, just Silver got turned this around. going to be pretty hard. I wouldn't say insurmountable yet. I think it. He does have zero. Silver does have yeah, zero. That's that's what I was gonna say. Now, obviously, if it's not a zeroable end, it's completely wraps. But that, that's probably true. Yeah, that's probably true. Oh, and look, Automat. Oh no, he's not. I thought it, I thought Is he was gonna get. Has... I thought he was gonna go get beds for zero. He's just running a very far distance to uh <laughs> to throw a second eye. Any break? Any break? Oh, he gets it. Okay, no, so okay. no, not punished for leaving on six. Will he get extra beds for zero, or is he just gonna half bow? Did he somehow get enough string? It doesn't look like it. I'm not sure. Oh, wait, Maybe. no, he could have totally grabbed more beds. Yeah. Grab more beds, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I'm not sure like which bed he grabbed. Maybe it was the house close to him, but there were two houses there, so I'm not sure. We'll see though too. No, it's very comebackable for Silver. His terrain to second portal could be much better. His stronghold could be much better. Yeah, true. It's and again, Automat like, doesn't have zero. Popular. So, so Automat's in the lead, but there are a lot of things stacked against him. But he could just get to the dragon faster, get that perch, right? Like, Silver has the more consistent setups here, but you just need to beat the dragon. It doesn't matter how inconsistent the play is. And I mean, it looks like Automat's cranking the cords. Found some terrain here. This looks really nice. It's almost like. He's only 30 blocks away, and Silver is heading to a different stronghold for sure. So, could get interesting. I'm, I'm worried about the zero potential like if I'm automatic. Obviously, you don't know, right? Like, I don't know if you assume that because your opponent took a while that they have 20, or maybe they died, or like... I mean, in this double single, maybe you just assume they got like two pigs, you know? But... Yeah. I'm worried about that zero potential from Silver. That he might he might Silver be entering the end here like a cords? minute or two. Automat's taking down on cords, yeah. Okay, I got it. I, I got it. Okay, I was gonna say, how, how did Silver make that up? But I'm looking at the wrong. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're good. Silver's we're good. close to making it up though. Like again, if he has some better terrain yeah. here, Automat's had to dig in a basalt. It's just, it's how it goes. Oh, man, I really did not love the play of not getting the beds from the village. Like you're right there, and that could have really giving you that chance to zero yeah. but hey we'll have to see he's got oh mine here. shaft cave spider spawner is this the spike still library 
Portal room. He does find it. Okay. okay. Silver Mist. Why 11? It probably is because he did a lava pool portal. But it's still just brutal, right? Like this this looked winnable and now it looks slightly less. Because Silver probably yeah. knows that Automat isn't zeroing based on how slow the trades were. Like if you're playing in the info knowing you're behind, knowing why you're behind. But. Right. I mean, you still need 55 seconds to a minute to zero cycle the dragon. So if your opponent gets the perch, it doesn't matter. You still lose. And Automat, yeah. I know for a fact, is going to half bow. Going to do Automat half bow. It's named after him. So, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just, gotta work, right? Just not gonna miss a shot here. So there's a different stronghold. What is that back nav? I mean, he's gotta find this portal and find it quickly. Because again, you still have that minute time sink. And Automat's done with the towers. Just wait on the perch. I mean, the odds that it happens in a minute here is just crazy. And who knows how much prep Silver has to do in terms of crafting or... Yep. Anything like that, you know? He finds it though. Oh my is god. Is it gonna be fast be really enough? Close. Yeah, yeah. This this that might be the perch for automat though. If that it's not like the perch. perch oh no, man. that's definitely the perch. That's definitely the perch. It is, wow. It's not gonna be enough from silver. I mean unless yeah, automat has to like you. axe it somehow. Or like it breaks the bed, but I mean, Silver also has to get up to 100 here. No, that's just I mean, perfect. Man, it, was, it was bad terrain, yeah. Wow. Well played. Very I well mean, played from Autumn out there. It just, it didn't work out what Silver tried to do. Like, play for 20, play, um... Yeah, play for 20. Uh, I mean, Autumn had a better overworld. Slightly better terrain. And Silver, Silver got uh, tied up in the fort a little bit, it looked like. Like, uh, not in the fort, but trying to find the fort. Yeah, let's uh let's check out those uh splits. I'm very curious to see that. Yeah. <sighs> For That's, sure. That was uh that was a good game. Yeah, look at that. One one minute there getting to the fort. Now, is that um Yeah, wow. Partially like forcing twenty? Yes. Is that also so we're getting yeah, messed up sure. on the terrain? Also yes. <laughs> you know? So yeah, it looks like silver made up about uh, about fifty seconds with the, or no, like like thirty seconds by having twenty. But uh, yeah, it wasn't great. It was not as good as you'd think it would be because I think right. the pearl hang from home portal was pretty good. And I mean, even though Automat had to dig, it was just it was fast. Um, yep. It was like twelve hundred, and so was. Blind was also 1,200 distance to second portal, and so, like, I don't know, man. Like, it's just weird, because, like, what do you learn from the match of your silver, right? And what do you take away if you're automatic? Because it's, it's such a big um, difference in how these guys even played the seed. Like, what do you think about it? Like, if you're silver, do you try to play 10 home portal next time? Do you just say, like, oh, Maybe this is I, one of... That's the thing, yeah. I don't necessarily think it was, like, a horrible decision from silver. Um, I also don't think it was, a, like, a misplay by Automat. Like, they were just both two... It was, like, really close on the decision there on what to do and what was correct. And we just saw the two lines diverging. In this specific instance, what Automat did was faster, but... There definitely would be seeds where um, the play of twenty would be better. So I don't know. We'll have to uh, we'll have to see if we see any changes. But overall, Automat takes back a seed, and that forces us into seed number three. Yeah, I like you said. I think you're right. I don't know if there's anything you really learn from this. I think it's just like, well, it happened. It was just a decision. It works out sometimes. It doesn't work out sometimes. Like, maybe for Silver, you just, you kind of hope that, like, you get a seed that is, like, more linear in a sense. And you just hope that you beat them on pure mechanics. And what is what is the last seed we're playing? We're playing Shipwreck. So, I mean, if I'm Silver, I'm confident yeah. in Shipwreck. I'm not, I mean, yeah. there, there's a no, reason why Automat picked Village instead of Shipwreck, right? I, again, it's all mental. He has to win on both anyways. But, um... I mean, that's good though for Automat though. That's huge momentum, I think. 
Yeah, um, Silver's got his back to the wall now. Like, one one seed, any one mistake, any death, like, and he's out of the whole tournament. The by far highest ELO favorite among many people. Like, I mean, the, the nerves and, and the mental, right? Like, just must be crazy, you know? And, yeah, it's, I don't know what you really learned from that. Yeah, like I said, I think if I was Silver, I'm just hoping for a linear seed, you know, where, like, I can just save... Yep. 10 15 seconds over every split everywhere just by having all that micro so down pat you know right, um exactly. versus like a wacky overworld like silver's been second in both of these overworlds because they've been a little quirky both times like the lava pool room portal was a bit weird because it, it wasn't full lava and then this village you just couldn't find the flint and the routing was a bit awkward uh but shipwreck should be more of silver's like home territory if that makes sense yep um, yep yep but I don't know, I think uh, the, the players needed a little bit of a break, but I think we're back. Yeah, it says he's ready, so, I mean, I'm down. This is going to be a crazy game. Let's do this. I mean, this would be the biggest upset by far. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean literally, like, like it, it objectively, yeah, it would have to be. But just like also, I think what, what people were expecting too, like you'd think Rouse upset would be pretty big, but Dougal being at the 15th seed is like pretty criminal, you know, for, yeah. for how, how good of a player Dougal is, right? That, that's uh, a lot less expected or more expected, I guess. Well, Dougal's just an active, very, you know, you know, one of the top runners objectively right now, second place, yeah. whatever. Like it's not, oh, wow. like if you're going to lose to someone in the tournament, that's like a pretty respectable person um i mean as with anyone anyone in this tournament of course is going to be phenomenal but uh dougal uh, maybe especially so let yeah. maybe less of an upset i would say personally uh but but yeah this would be a pretty big upset you know automat running i think I, I think running a bit more than i think took a break or something um but yeah but still like not 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 dougal levels of act active right so i would say this would be a pretty significant this would, oh, this, this would be the craziest upgrade by far. And I mean, even in just this first 40 seconds, Silver is already 5 to 10 seconds ahead off pure mechanics and just routing and decision making. Like, they both saw the shipwreck. The shipwreck generates the same for both players, and yet Silver was back on the island before Automat. And he had two logs that he pre punched, which is just like, like how? Like, it, how does he do that? Automat's not a bad player. Ooh. You know, We're seeing people go completely different ways, though. Automatic this is interesting. Straight, did he see right. a ravine over here? It looks Ooh, like he did. Is it real? It. I don't think. So. I don't think the automatic ravine is uh, fake, and Silver's is real. Oh man, is that real though yeah, for Automat? Gonna... No. Oh, I mean, he did have to go into a like a, a lighter part of the ocean, kind of. And and do you think maybe this is like partly due to? Silver having 400 ranked games and Automat having 20 and just not having a little bit yeah. of an understanding yeah. of the filter, like which direction it, should yeah. you go in the ocean to maximize your magma ravine chance? Because it it does guarantee this some ravine within 10 chunks of your enter. And so, I mean, just from a statistical perspective, if you go deeper in the ocean as opposed to towards the coast more, you'll just have a better chance of finding that ravine. There's just more ocean. And Automat went the wrong way, and I mean, is it a mental RNG thing? Maybe. Is it a lack of skill? I don't know. We'll, we'll never know. But so we're in the Bastion here. Stables building up instead of going down. This is a bit quirky, but he's got the blocks to do it. He's got the leaves. Automat doesn't have the leaves. What's he building up for? Is it a double triple? Are they married? I don't think so. I think it's a single triple, but he's going up it like it is. So again, it's hard to see you guys. And yeah, it is it. No, it must be a double triple. I, otherwise, you wouldn't be marrying it out. Oh, oh it no. wasn't. He's 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 sussy. Oh wow, Dunbar. he must have just thought it was. Right? Yeah, I guess so. But now, automatic. If he starts to gap, this could potentially put him in a nice position. This isn't even like over. this isn't even like a divorce triple, guys. This is like a single triple. That's so lame though, because that's just what it's called. <laughs> it's just called single triple. Normally. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> like, 
I couldn't think of a better <laughs> word. Oh my god, look at the strays on that fort. Wow. I mean, Summer oh does my. get a pearl hang here, but he's got to know that he, he can't play a single triple. He can't. He's so ahead, right? Was he that can't. Me, Nobby? 19, six string, six string, nerdy. Six string is not what you like to see at all. Full bow, any full bow in drawers? And here we go, but Automat here, doing the gap. A little bit of a head start there, arguably. I mean, on look, Silver, yeah, so we're just, so, I mean, he's got a pearl hang and he's got slightly more stuff, but I don't think it will matter. So we're just starting this gap late. And this is all his time save potentially gone. For just, yeah. uh, it, it, it's a misread of the top of the bastion is all it is. But oh my God, I think he's not trading at the gap. I think he's going to go up back to the triple and trade. I think that's a nice play. I think he just, he realizes he's got a lot of pigs up this triple. I mean, otherwise I have no idea why he wouldn't let the dudes up. Or, yeah, I don't really know why. And yeah, he didn't let them in either there. So that must be what he's doing. And I can't say I don't like it. I don't know how many pigs he had, but if he had a lot of pigs, it's the right play. And he really only needs string, maybe one obby, obviously, but that'll just come. Um, maybe it's not as bad as we might thought. leave this, yeah. He has a he has a pearl hang. There's the obby, but you need you need the string. Yeah, that's gonna be essential. To Six ability. zero anchor zero bed. I mean, look, Automat's got 15 string. Does that mean the first trade for Silver is going to be 15 because he has six from chests? So he's going to get up to 21 or something? I mean, I don't know, man. Like, you can't do anything. You, you have no explosives. Like, full bow is brutal. I mean, at this point, do you consider leaving for a library if it's all you're waiting on? I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I don't know. The library is so slow. I mean, well, look, he's wasted five or six trade cycles here where he's just been doing nothing. Wow. Yeah, this is... No string, no string, no string, no string, no string, no string, no string. Look at, look at what Automat's doing, though. How does Automat only have... Bit. How does Automat only have 19 obby? He just mined an outside uh, stable's gold block to get nine gold to trade again. Well, he didn't have the second set from the triple. Round. Yeah, but he must have just not checked something. And look at this. Silver has 21 string so they both have no string at least that's good that's insane info that silver gets them if he knows they're both just completely scuffed on string right. then he knows he didn't lose time from this bastion mishap that happened like it, it was just it was time neutral basically like he got right he, he, that's he got yeah, more yeah, trades yeah, yeah, sure. it didn't work out but maybe like Maybe if you're Automat, like, do you mine the triple thinking that Silver didn't and then try to get more string or do you commit to, yeah. like, I, I have no idea. Like, Automat's looking for chests here. It's it's a really weird situation. Stables has so much room for decision making and it's just so hard to tell what's right or wrong. But I know what's right in this seed, the fact that Silver's been in the fort for a minute and Automat's still in the Bastion. That's all I know. And unless Automat can somehow just miraculously pull like 30 string out of his ass somewhere it's just not gonna matter at all and i i don't think he can he's got 26 he has three explosives now but it's still not enough like you still want a full bow there and again this entire time save to it it's a it's a weird thing to think about um but it it is sort of important these double spawners are wacky before by the way all of this time loss trying to get extra string trying to get extra explosives if there's sheep right here for silver, none of it mattered for Automat, and it's raw, See? utter, complete time loss. And Ooh, I mean, there, there might be sheep. It could be like nomads. What the average boat eye user? <laughs> Imagine seeing a temple and going for that for strength. <laughs> no, you pulling out of the temple though. Let's see it. No, nah, he just can't. I mean, I mean, what you you? Oh, why did what? he? I think he hasn't. <laughs> I don't know. He he needed an extra one anyways. I think because it broke. But I think he's uh just being a bit corny, but goofy, bit silly. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Well, oh. that's not what you like to see. Oh, got it. That's some good bait. Play Very solid silver. movement. Silver. Those Wither Skellies are on him though. Hey, 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 hey! 
But, I, I mean, Automat has, what, like, one, three, three rods? Four rods? And Silver's going to second portal. And the string play just doesn't matter, because Automat still is... Still just doesn't have string either. Yep. Like, he, it's not like he pulled more from the Bastion. Silver's just raw ahead by, like, a minute or yep. two. And there's just no... No argument about that. And there's no zero, so you are going to half bow. Is Silver going to try to library and full bow? If he knows he's this ahead, is he going to... Or, like, not library and full bow? Is he going to library and, like, three bed, one anchor? Are you... Uh, I don't know what the play is, right? If you're in the stronghold before your opponent even blinded. I think... I think if you find the portal room, you go. You just send it. And if you find yeah. the library on the way, you get the library. One bed, yeah, one anchor, so. full bow. That's like two two porch cycles. Like, there we go. He's gonna there force the going. library. Okay, well it's right there. Then it worked out. Some wither skeleton stone sword action. Oh, one tapped. <laughs> that would have been so Some cool. If it gold was. sword action. Good. <laughs> I mean, I I think it's silver seed to lose, right? I, the one cycle might still be difficult. Um, two bed, one anchor. Is that what I'm seeing he's here? There's no way. It is. I mean, he's no. got he's got fifty eight arrows. Um, oh, man, I don't know if I agree with is that. Is it honestly. full bow, two bed, one anchor? Do you just not spend time? Oh. Like, do you just not? Yeah, like get I, I, twelve I mean, more it's string. Scary. It's just like there, there's twelve more That's... string in the library. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like he ran out and needed to find the other library. He was fine on that library. Unless we're misreading the situation. Unless he has two anchors. I, I think he has one. No, though. I don't think he does. He is. No, he only has one. No, he, he, he left. yeah, he, he might not have known that though. Oh. Look at that. He made two. I mean, could just be to like get the glowstone out of your inventory, but now. Yeah, no. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Like now, what does he think about? It's also a little more stressful too. He's got no um, food. So you almost need to full bow. Well, no, I mean, the, the no food is an issue, but like you can't. Oh my god. You can't take a hit on this. Uh, Dragon's Breath, and even, like, pearling down, I, I I just get very nervous on low food, but, I mean, Silver's crushing these shots. It's off of it. I don't love this. Is he gonna full bow, though? Is or intentional? I, it's hard to say. I mean, what is Automat doing here, though? Like, does he, he... He still doesn't have enough, I don't think, right? Like... So, I don't know what the... I think the play is still probably fine. Automat has two beds? Two anchors? Two bed, two anchors? Two bed, one anchor? But Silver's so far ahead, like, he gets this one crystal down, it's all 10. Misses the shot, this one will hit. Shot him. Ooh, shot him. Ooh, shot him. Ooh, shot him. It's perching, too. So he really needs to hit it. Uh, uh, and it's actually not perching, I completely lied. But uh, he did hit it. So, this 2 bad anchor axe is much more doable now when there's no healing. And Automat missed, I think he um, went for surface because he had two uh, similar offsets, like one or two blocks away. But, I mean, this is probably just a perch for silver. Yeah, it's a one and three, and this nice. is probably just going to be it. It's got to be a two bed anchor axe, but even if it's not, he's got more arrows. Oh, and that's it for sure. Good he's going to clutch it out unless he gets hit or the dragon flies away. I mean, it's not over until he's in the credits, but... That's gonna be it. Very wow. well played. And he clutches it. Wow. I, I I have no words. I don't know. I mean, it's just it felt like the entire seed there was um determined by that stables, like what what each player yeah. decided to do in that stables was just the whole thing. Let's see. I mean, yeah, Automat lost a minute getting into the fort, a minute behind, and then even more time blinding, maybe just strays, and then even more time to terrain. Maybe those last two splits are more of a skill thing. I don't, I don't know if he had, like, less pearls. I think he had the similar amount of pearls, but maybe just, like, constantly thinking, like, where am I getting my string? Where am I getting my explosives? But Silver just kind of banked on the stronghold, and that was it. Um, yeah, no, just very, just clean gameplay. I mean, a little bit, 
a little bit back and forth having to decide whether you want to stay for that string or not. But overall, I think the decision making was was solid. Um, you know, uh, eventually committing to the to the, the low explosive end fight just it worked out. Yep. And we do have silver with us. Asking. Uh, what up, sir? Dude, you left me in there for so long, I started talking to someone. I know, I, I saw you were in general. Maps. I saw you were in general, too, and some <laughs> random guy was in there. What was he grilling you about? He said, uh, do you know how to download maps for practice? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, uh, to ask in the, the chat. And like, <laughs> Dude, dude had no idea you just fought the match of your life. He was completely yeah, unaware. Okay. Silver, congratulations. How do you feel? What 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 went through your Thank head you. during those three matches? Um, I I honestly didn't feel like I was playing very good. I I, I felt um pretty warmed up. It was probably just nerves. Overall, like the first seed was like okay, fine. I I I. I like got ahead but then the second seed was a double single you hit me with double single i'm like what is going on i haven't i played a double single twice in ranked ever in like 400 matches and uh and i got like four pigs and i was like okay i'm just gonna go do 10 obby uh, and then they drop like four in one stack i'm like okay i'm gonna wait for 20 and it just takes forever to get the 20 and i just ro run the wrong way for the fourth so bad so bad yeah it was but. mainly i think the four time loss like automat did do 10 you did 20 so you were at the bastion for a longer but it felt like it was mainly My stronghold was ass though yeah you I, you were like i saw i spy away. and enter instantly i'm like oh yeah. hell yeah this this nav is great and then i go in there there's no spike like <laughs> <laughs> he had some like insane cave sweater spike i think and it was just like in the same direction um but yeah i mean that's just how it goes i don't i don't really think like you waiting for 20 was necessarily wrong it just didn't work out yeah you know? like if you if you yeah. had like a 600 blind maybe like better terrain or better stronghold found the mm -hmm, ford also mm -hmm. like it could just go different ways right and a lot of those are just like how the seed like happens you uh yeah, yeah, for sure you you picked it up on the third seed in the overworld you had two really shaky overworlds those honestly the the biggest mistakes i noticed other than you're like <laughs> four like now on the first the first, the first seed. <laughs> the first two seeds i mean you you kind of messed up the i think no, you, i went the wrong it, no okay what? okay <laughs> <laughs> the 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 second seed was not even my fault. I just went to a different water pool that was closer that didn't have gravel. How is that my fault? Bottom, you you have to watch your vod. Automat saw gravel. I mean, assuming it's there on your Before? seed, so like I think it's random. You know that the hill that like it's un, it's literally under the blacksmith oh. that hill overhang. You'd have to load your seed. You'll probably see it. But it was I like was looking there, but up. I didn't see it. I don't know. Or I mean, maybe it, maybe it's a little hidden or something. But yeah, that he saved time there, and then also in the room portal seed. I mean, maybe you got more food, but. His portal, he just, um... Okay, he, yeah, he no, committed. Was, like, yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can tell you were, like, warming up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I complete the portal, and there's, like, five left. Like, what is that? <laughs> you counted uh, nine? I thought you wanted... Nerdy thought you wanted to conserve blocks. I had no idea what you were doing. I was like, this guy's, like... I didn't know. Dude, you guys kept giving me fucked up seeds. Like, why can't you just give me something that's <laughs> normal, bro? We want to we want to make you work for us, over. Right? I don't know, man. You crushed know. it either way. Um, I mean, yeah, you were. I mean, you were ahead by a couple of minutes there, and the second seed was just it happens, right? With the the twenty obby ten obby decision, double single is scuffed. Yeah. For what it's worth, he also got four pigs and then just decided to leave. Oh my and then, god! Wait, the third seed I played so poorly, but got fucking got um like there was no string from any of the trades yeah. i accidentally played the triple because i thought it was double I know, triple that's... it was just a double <laughs> and then i got rewarded i was like watching you it was, I was still like, really I, slow though. i thought it was one triple and then i was like well it must be two because he's like full sending this and like he has the bigger monitor and then you dug in the wall and it didn't open and i was like what is happening but yeah like there was just no string like you traded the whole thing out and there was no string but like automat also yeah. got no string no, I... I entered end. I'm like, all right, two bed, two anchor. Craft my anchors. Wait, seven is not enough for two anchors. Yeah, we were also I, really I confused. We were like, is he going to not get 12 more string in the same library? Because I know there's going to be 12 more string. Like, is he going to full bow? And I mean, you had a full bow anyways, but Automat just got kind of turned around in the fort. He also had a very similar bashing experience to you, like just trying to force 
I think he was forcing 20. He might have missed, like, one of the double chests that you got or something. And then mm. uh, he was also just trying to force string. Like, neither of you had trades. Because uh, because you traded, like, 16 gold blocks. So, so obviously, gold blocks, obviously yeah. he's not going to get it. Um, I did I did like the play, though, of you grabbing the gap gold blocks and bringing them back up to the triple. I thought that was a moment of brilliance yeah, yeah. in the scuffness of the bash. And that was good. <laughs> Thank, um, you. Thank you. And next week, you're playing Rain. That's Ooh, fun. Any uh, Exciting. any uh, any any words you'd like to let Rain know? Should he know anything going into his <laughs> match against? Yeah, I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna be completely honest. I was watching his match and I was like, "Damn, Rain's playing fucking good right now!" Like, oh hell, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, watching him, he was going so crazy in the overworlds. But no, I think I could. In in general and ranked, I think we've. We're like one and one, or like two and one, or something really similar. But uh, yeah, it, it's it's gonna okay. be a fun match. All right, I'm excited to watch. Uh, and good luck, and congrats on this uh, this weekend, Silver. Thank you. Yep, we'll see you next weekend. Thanks. See ya. Augers. Uh... All right, the other oh, the other guys are ready, but I think we'll take a little bit of a break. Um, and by break, maybe I guess we'll just like look at the the player cards, right? Why not? Why not? Yeah. Um, let me set those up real quick. Our last game of the day, boys. Everybody excited? Poggers. Woo. Poggers. Long day. Last in in some ways, again. it has felt like eight hours, and in other ways, it has not felt like eight hours. Do you know what I mean? It's. Honestly, I mean, it's kind of a blur for me because I'm so, so just exhausted, but nah, it's good. It's good. Nice. All right. One of our two last players of the entire ranked playoff bracket, Danny Boy, Hog Urza. I think the four seed. Um, Ooh. What stands out to you here in the stats? I... I instantly see that these two have a little bit of an unbalanced history. Um, I think that's the 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 worst slash best record that we've seen against someone. Yeah, uh, three to seven is pretty crazy. You would you would think that Silver's record versus the sixteenth seed would have been um, pretty bad, but or like like pretty good in Silver's favor. But Automat just doesn't play ranked, you know. Yeah. So it didn't show up. But again. If, if we have these win-loss versus opponent uh, and these graphics again next week, we might see some more unbalanced uh, things if, if Silver gets his uh, head in there. I mean, the dude's got, what, a 73% win rate? So on average, he's just going to have an unbalanced win-loss against anybody, right? Like, yeah, it's just how it goes. But, I mean, ranked average time, low mid-13, pretty good. Not 12xx, but again, there's, I think, literally maybe only five or six people that have that. So, I mean, 13 is very solid. And we saw today, like, Rannick almost um, closing out against Oxy with a 15-minute average, right? So, like, does it really matter, right? Because it's an average over, what, 600 games here for Danny Boy? Like, yeah, that doesn't matter. You're only playing two, three seeds. You just got to win two, three seeds. The average doesn't matter. Right. It's, um, it's going to... It's gonna be a, yeah, uh, Danny, Danny, very skilled player. It, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a good match. I'm, I'm excited to see the higher. Yes. This is, yeah, this is also interesting because like the higher seed has a worse, worse record against the lower yeah. seed. So that's kind of, there's like a little bit of a weirdness going on here. I think that's one of the first times we've seen it. We might have seen it in another one, but not to this extent. Like it was by one, one game maybe. Like I think uh, Moli had a better record than Priffin by like one game. But it was like nine to eight. Like this three to seven, like it's pretty like if you have a seventy percent chance of beating your opponent, you're gonna win the best out of three. You know, like more often than you're not. Like much more often. So yeah. I mean this probably if you're Dylan, you're probably like, damn. But again, if you're Danny Boy, then it's like, oh well I spoil our second player, I guess I'll just show it. Um da -da 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 -da. Dylan. Woo! The Q looks like a <laughs> tennis racket. Wow. He did uh, produce that hit single, Zero Cycle, streaming on all platforms. I don't think that's true at all, but I, it sounds more professional if I say that. Uh, <laughs> slightly higher win rate overall, and a much higher win rate, obviously, against the opponent. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, less games played, so maybe a little bit less experience, but that's not, you know, that's 300 games still. That's that's still pretty, pretty experienced player. Um, again, in that weird boat of people who has a worse ranked time than RSGPB. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have to see. But uh, I just, I mean, Dylan, very skilled player. Uh, very experienced in tournaments as well. I think that's something that might, maybe Danny has uh, maybe a slight disadvantage compared to Dylan here. Is that I think Dylan probably has more tournament experience. Um, that's and true. Maybe able to handle the nerves better. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to see. Um, very strong cards both here, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see this match. Yeah, Dylan's played a lot of um, rivals, just pace stuff like that. Um, who knows what if the nerves will affect them as hard. The only thing that sticks out to me that we haven't touched on is Dylan's best rank time being 1025. Like you said, it's worse than his PB, but 1025, I mean, playing 300 games, you'd think Dylan would have a faster best time, right? So is that like, is he playing too safe when he yeah. plays? I don't know, Maybe. right? It's something, I, it's something I give him heat for a lot, personally. It's just funny, you know? Dylan yeah. being, like the, being in the top five, top ten of ranked, and he, he's never ripped a sub ten on these, like, filtered seeds, you know, when people have, like, 9x, 8x, 7x. When the standard is, like, your ranked PB being better, unless you're, like, literally a top three PB, like, worldwide, it, it is a bit of a sore thumb. But, I mean, he's 7-3 versus Danny Boy. He could get a sub ten today, beat his best rank time. Would it, would it count, Nerdy, yep. do you think? In a tournament setting like it, it is a, it is a ranked seed it is from the same filter seed. it's not a ranked match you know it's uh so you think it's different match. uh maybe a little different maybe a little different but we'll have to see i mean yeah 1350s not amazing also it's not terrible but yeah maybe it does suggest compared oh. to his like rsgpb i guess yes. um maybe it does suggest he's like going a little a little too safe but we'll have to see if that uh punishes him Exactly. And like someone said, also, we do know the seed types ahead of time. And these are the bands that we got, Nerdy. What do you think? Pretty standard, looks like. Any yeah, surprise I saw, here? I, well, I saw Dylan typing in HBG that he thought it was funny that he banned BT. for. I don't, I don't really get why that was funny. I, I feel like I'm missing a joke, but um, I think Dylan maybe just, you know, wanting to... Uh, you know, wanting to go with the more, uh, you know, doesn't want to use his brain as much is what I get. That's the vibe I get from Dylan here. Doesn't want to, doesn't want to, to do the, the slight challenge of a BT, you know, a little puzzle that it is. <laughs> um, and uh, that, that's the vibe that I'm catching there. But, um, but, but yeah, maybe, maybe slightly inexperienced at, uh, at RSG. I'll reframe what Evan's saying. <laughs> uh, in that way but anyways uh yeah then banning Maybe. the desert temple i feel like that's just like it's kind of the odd one out it's like the one that you just like aren't really gonna do want to you, you don't practice that a bunch especially at a high level i don't think there are yeah. are there any desert temples it's very low percentage if there i are. don't even i don't even know if there's ever been a sub 10 that has used a desert temple in their overworld i don't know i i someone would have to know in chat i don't think there is a i don't think there's ever been a sub 10 or the desert temple yeah. of the world. So to me, this like totally makes sense. Uh, picking village though might be the biggest surprise. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but that's the only thing that I, I guess I feel a little bit surprised by. I, I would expect ban desert temple pick shipwreck, but I guess village is not terrible. Maybe. I mean, again, you have to play all of them anyways. And if you lose, then you get to play the next one. Like, you know what I mean? You, you get to play, I guess like, that's you have fair. to pick that's again fair. if you lose. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But we're ready when they are. Uh, for our last match of the day, last match of the round of 16, the winner is the last person to fill out our top eight. Which will be a best of five, so that'll be fun. A um, little bit of stream delay. Oh no, don't stream, was just lagging, it was tabbed out. That's good. Village. The sponsored island makes me think it's like a BT seed. This is always the worst in ranked. It's good that they know the seed type, but a seed like this, some people might think like, is this gonna be a buried treasure hidden? Like, am I gonna miss it? But I mean, this is a solid blacksmith. Almost full iron armor. Well, you could make a chest plate. 
and then it would be a really big throw, but he would have full iron armor. That's yeah. what's going through my head right now. <laughs> I mean, hey, but, not, not a bad thing, not a bad thing at all. Iron armor. I don't and know I, where you'll, you're you'll need entering. It in your seeds, oh, I will? Yeah. I guess yeah, that's yeah. true. I, I take damage a lot. I, I die a lot. <laughs> but, um, no, there's a desert over there. I was curious about the enter because it is an ocean. Uh, and there are supposed to be lava pools that generate for these village seeds, but there is desert to the right. Oh, and there's another blacksmith, so this might just be a 10 obby seed straight off the rip. And it is... So you'd think that they would just use the 10 obby, right? I, I don't think either runner here is going to try to look for a lava pool. It just, it just makes no sense, right? Like, you're, you're on the gravel yeah, here, your lava pool is so far away. Enter. It's fine. Like, Especially in rank, like... Yeah, every seed being good, trying to just always have 20, like, even home portal's not that bad here because it's also on the surface. Like, that, like your, your home portal is um, in a nice spot. Ooh, brain breaking. Yeah, this is a level of uncertainty to going for a level pool. I mean, unless you, like, literally, like, just see it and it's, like, in front of you. Maybe, but... Yeah, it's, even it's then, just... I don't even know if it's correct, like you said. Um, but Dylan in first. Just some weird Flynn. I mean, micro village routing. Going to be like a 10 second lead, but it could spiral. And we have a far bastion. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, this looks like great terrain. Just like the, the way you scan is just a wall. The other way is fully open. But it yeah. is ranked. You know there should be good terrain based on the filters. So they're going to try to find it. And that's what Dylan does. And Danny Boy going the exact same way also. So we'll see if Danny Boy can make up the lost time in the overworld on this nether terrain. I mean, it, they're basically taking the same exact path. Um, it's not like there's yeah. really more super hard decisions to make, but I mean, if they're both making the correct decision, that's all you can ask for, right? Like, then can't be your opponent if they're also playing perfect. You can just play the best you can and then hope they make a mistake. And Dylan's getting tossed around by these hoglins, but I mean, it's village food. 18 bread shouldn't really matter. And yeah, I mean, they're just, Danny Boy's just like following Dylan. It's like a duo's run where it's like, oh, I found the right. Bastion, follow me. And you're, and you're just following the other guy. That's what, it, <laughs> that's what it looks like right now. You know, you're, you're coming in with the iron pick or like the food support. Like they've taken the yeah. same exact path. And Dylan is going to not do Manhunt here and actually go up to get these backup blocks. It's super interesting seeing what runners decide to do. And it looks like... Oh, Danny Boy getting tossed around here. Oh, this is not good. Oh, oh this is really bad for Danny. No, he, he got out. He got out, I think. He's okay. All right, all right. He's that was a good save. Some nice knowledge of outside housing there. Save. Or just, I mean, I don't know. But he got out of it. Uh, but it's going to give Dylan some more, like, catch-up time in this Bastion, and Danny Boy's not starting with those backup blocks. Oop. Is that a mistake? I, I really don't think it's it's a one, one size fits all answer of, like, should you grab those three gold blocks first? It, it's so situational, yeah. I feel like. In this situation, I think I would if I was Danny Boy, especially because you know you're getting no pigs off the man hunt, because you kind of, like, distracted all of them, like, outside, kind of turned them all around. But, but I don't know. I don't know. And these runners also don't know where the fortress is. So we're gonna see some pirate coming out. I think Dylan's already has his chunk quarters on. Um, maybe he figured it out already. I'm not entirely sure. But I, at least I didn't see the fort. So who knows? Yep, pirate coming out. Not negative X. Not positive Z, and it's up, diagonal. He's got to know, and I think he just kind of thought about it in his head, and I think he knows, so that's nice. I didn't see Danny Boy Pirate yet, but I wasn't fully watching. Is he going to pearl, right pearl hang the right direction? Looks like kind of. If you go diagonal, if you go one of the two directions, you'll find it eventually. You just have to make sure you're going one of the right directions. Um, and diagonal is also really weird, too. Like... Um, it could mean there's like two fortresses, which is also scuffed. And that is yes. possible in ranked. It doesn't check for like double fortress stuff. It checks for double bastion stuff. You can never like get swayed by a false bastion, but you can get swayed by a false fortress, I guess. But I mean, it's not like that's a bad thing. Like false bastion is bad because you get like 
double bad, no triple bridge, or no triple stables, or you, um, I mean, it's kind of really it, or you can get, like, double single bridge with no obby. Um, right. But, like, a fortress will basically always have a mob spawner. It's, like, very rare that there's no mob spawner. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter, I guess, in that sense, if you go to the wrong one. Um, as long as you find a fort. Again, it could have, like, implications on where your second portal puts you, where your first portal even puts you, surface or whatever, but... Yeah, Dylan's got seven chunk spawner, but not a ton of terrain. In the wall. I think if I were him, maybe there was like some lava underneath that he could force. But it might be bad. Maybe you just got to get in the wall and start digging. I don't know. Oh, found some up terrain. That looks nice. I mean, if this is the terrain Danny Boy has to find, I feel like it's going to be really hard. Um, I feel like it, Dylan's been playing this pretty, pretty well. It's pretty awkward. Yeah, it's really high up, kind of off to the right. It's not easy at all if this is correct. Yeah, and Danny Boy went right and I think had to turn around and go left. And now they're just kind of looking where to go. Very yeah, hard terrain right seed. Dylan, Dylan yeah. still has no idea where the fort is. I think, and I think he's in range too to where if he 2RDs, it will just tell him that the spawner is within 2RD, which doesn't give him any meaningful info. Because oh, he's not. Oh, fine. That's good. Trying to triangulate right. it a little more. Negative X Ooh. more. Yeah, that makes sense though. It's back. It's back. I mean, both these runners. Like, where is the four? They're in a crimson. Nowhere near the same spot, most likely. Yeah. Um, and neither of them have spotted it yet. I thought that was it for Dylan, but it wasn't. Maybe down here. This looks very open for him. Again, Danny Boy just has no idea also, like... It's one of these... Yeah, no clue where, um... Where the fort's gonna be. Oh, there it is. Nice! Finally, Dylan sees it. Is Danny Boy in the same, um... In the same spot in this crimson, though? Coming up to it. It doesn't, it doesn't I... look like it. Like, maybe he's higher on the terrain. It all looks the same, man. I don't know. But, um... I mean, there's no terrain here, and this is just... It's a tilter for Dylan, because it took him so long to find it, but now it's even more of a tilter for Danny Boy, because... Yeah, like, you're not good. finding yeah. it, you know? And like, like, what do you do? Um, it feels out of your control, and like, is it mostly maybe? I, I don't know, right? Um, I think he is going slightly in the right direction. I think you want to kind of hook around this terrain to the right, I think. I think this is a... Unless I'm totally missing this. Yeah, I mean, like I said, they all look so similar, but yeah, it looks like... No? Oh, that definitely is it. No, that was a tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, no he... he's behind him at this point, but I could be wrong. But yeah, if I, mean, I if recall, it, If you saw it, it would right. pearl, right? And Dylan's just... Dylan's out here going in. Yeah. Just gathering rods, three rods, four rods, and Danny Boy just completely dumbfounded as to where the train was. Like, oh my god, and here's a blaze. Oh, what? Is he gonna... Wow. Oh my goodness. Is this the same spot wow. that Dylan's at, too? I guess so. So... <laughs> I think it is. Just, I mean... I think I think you're... It's an enclosed spawner regardless. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. You're blinding. Yeah. You, I mean, you That's... have to. And, yeah, no, I mean, really on Dylan's calculator, it's 800. So, it might not be the worst, but, I mean, just... Minor mistake for Danny Boy, like... The terrain, maybe mental tilt, and then it just all adds up, like, I don't know. You misplace obby, it happens. It's obviously just abysmal when you have 20 exactly, because then any single misplace. And it almost, like... Maybe it's just a me thing, but it like gets in my head if I have exactly 20, I like start thinking more about like, oh, if I misplace it, it'll be really bad. And then I'm yeah. like, okay, be really careful placing it. And then I like start to overthink it, even though if you just normally do it, you'll never mess it up. So it, maybe he was getting his head like that. Again, maybe it's just some turny nerves. Like you said, Dylan's played more turny. He's like, he's just being cool about it. Like doesn't find the fort. He's like, whatever. My opponent will have the same issue or something. And if not, then like, like what can I do, right? Like just keep trying to find the fort. Like, Dylan might have that kind of mental. Um, and he's by far and away ahead. Not only in rod count, but also has a second portal that will hit starter. And assuming he knows your eyes. Um, and 
Danny Boy's just gonna have to run. No, I think it's gonna be... Like I said, I think it's gonna be 800, but... That's definitely worse than... 100 in the nether, and then... I fly. So... We'll see. And yeah, Dylan yeah, is... Yeah, it could uh, be ocean. That's the only thing I will say for Danny Boy, is that it was ocean. Uh... So, it's not like the worst... It, does, it was a little bit of ocean, yeah. I think a point of interest of Anna, but he can have, like, some ocean, and maybe, maybe it'll still be ocean because it's, like, just how the game works. Yeah, but... that's what I'm saying, yeah. 800 is not great, but if it's all, if he can, like, kind of weave around that island, island maybe. Thing, yeah, and I mean, look, Dylan's just digging straight through a wall, so, like, it's not the best terrain for Dylan either to try to make up time on the seed. Yeah. Or, like, keep his lead, I should say. Um, it's funny enough, I actually think if it was Danny Boy, Danny Boy would know to just dig straight up. But since it's Dylan, he doesn't know that. Oh yeah, that there's terrain like directly above the uh, yeah. the floor yeah. the whole way. Yeah, it's true. Just dig straight up on the spawner, and then it's open. Oh, this could be bad though. I was saying it was gonna be ocean, but now it, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, yeah and then there's like Hills. and then there's dark oak on the right. Yeah, it it doesn't look great for Danny Boy, but. Full sleep? <laughs> Rare full sleep. Maybe the first full sleep and only full sleep we'll ever see in the ranked playoffs. <laughs> but I mean, it's probably right. Like, you just, you get mobs out of the way. Um, I guess you'll have more mobs. <sighs> Excuse me. More mobs in the stronghold. But I mean, look, Dylan's still digging to cords. <laughs> And his pick's gonna break? He has enough for a pick though. Three iron, two. I, I wonder what his. I wonder what Denny is. Uh, or not Denny. Danny is. Um, thinking about. Wait, why is Dylan bed bombing? Wait, Dylan has a bed. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro. Dylan can make a pickaxe. He has. Dude, he has three and two. He's gonna die. Is he stupid? Top left inventory. Someone tell him. He got to cords too. Like Dylan's the type of guy that would do this too. Like, dude, what the hell is Dylan? He doing? has pickaxe materials in his like. It's they're both you in the same spot is, in the inventory. I, you know what I honestly think it is. I think Dylan got really hyped about his solution to the problem. That he, he just like wanted really to do it? it. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, it's, oh! It's, Starfish it's, blocks. No, Dylan. Dylan, you have pickaxe! Dylan, craft a pickaxe, put it down, open your book. You can make a pickaxe. Bro, this is insane. Like, how is Danny Boy catching up time right now? He's he's above the stronghold. Oh, it's not starter. Oh my god, wood. Pickaxe. You have sticks. Are you gonna realize you're dumb as fuck? Top left! No, he's making a wood pick! You hovered the iron like twice! You're so stupid! Oh my god. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. He's he an iron pickaxe now. <laughs> How he's is he digging to the portal room? I guess and he probably just built his thing wherever because it was like. Alright, let's see this no pickaxe zero from Dylan. Let's see this. Uh, oh, he has an iron know. pick. He figured it out. No, no, no. He got it from a chest. He did not figure it oh, out. Oh, he didn't he figure did it out? Credit. Okay, yeah, we cannot sorry. give him credit for that. He got it in a chest. Let's see. Zero for the win. High Pearl, 94. Water Pearl saves. Wow. But this opens the door for Danny Boy. If he finds the yeah. portal room, it is zeroable. That is hittable. It's hard. It is maybe RNG with the like one and eight hype, but Danny Boy's got explosives. Dylan has to get a perch. Otherwise, it's Jover. Oh my God, he would have. Danny would have missed that. He just heard it. Is he gonna go for it? Is he gonna eat? Oh, wait. He has no pearls. He can't hit it. It's back. Wait, oh, he, no. he can hit this. It's back. No cage. One and eight. It is hittable. I, I want to focus Danny Boy, but we're gonna miss a Dylan perch. I'm gonna focus Danny Boy. I'll, I'll take the risk. I'll take the gamble. I think it's hittable. If he runs in and pearls on it, it's hittable at like 87, maybe even 90 with a good enough pearl. And he knows he's got to go for it. 
86, 84. You have to go up. 84 is so low. Oh, he's committing to 84. No. Break, bed break, bed break. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's close. And it doesn't okay. fly at 84. Oh my god. And he might win he the seed. This. Dude. Wow. And he hits it at 84. Is it actually truly a win? It is actually yeah. truly a win. Holy cow. Wow. Very well played from Danny there. I mean, I didn't expect that. But I guess Dylan just... It, it, it's its the iron pick, right? That's all it is? It's Dylan just... Yeah. I mean, Dylan probably lost a minute to, to the iron pick, like, unironically, just having no idea where to... Like, you just couldn't craft an iron pick? Just a, a mental, like, block or something? I, I don't know. That's just... That's insane. Yeah, that's... I I, I hate to say that is entirely like an Skill avoidable issue? issue. Yeah, I mean, yeah. look, and he's still in the end a minute faster. Just choked that zero. Pearl too high, like missed the block clutch. Was still entirely winnable. But yeah, Dylan had a two minute lead, finding the stronghold, and then it just all fully evaporated by the time he got in the end, and then even more evap fully evaporated by the time he put in zero. Or with the zero, I guess I should say. Wow. Great game, though. Great game. Fantastic plays from both players through and through. Um, Denny just with the insane zero at the end. Very risky, but hey, the risk paid off. And Danny Boy blinded. Two blinds today. Pretty insane. He did get 20 and misplaced Obby, so it wasn't, like, intentional. But it was a... Mistake, I guess. He didn't try to blind. He was going to be 20. We'll throw it over to our next seed selection. Room Portal. I mean, it's between what? Room Portal and Shipwreck? Dylan's got to win both. Not really sure it yeah. matters what you choose, right? For sure. Um, again, just all, um, all mental, right? All mental. It's... And, uh, it's I think it's a, a situation where Dylan can uh, can focus up, remember that iron can be used to craft a pickaxe, and then go into the seed and he's fine. Yeah. Exactly. That was one of the one of the longer matches for sure. Sixteen oh two. Just I think it was really the longest by far. Down. I don't really think it was entirely yeah. their fault either. Kind of just yeah, seemed just like it fort. was the fort. Just not cooperating and this was, has a potential oh. to be the last seat of the entire day or dylan can turn it around and make me stay up a little longer before i take a nap me That's the too real bro me too <laughs> we are we are hitting the hay after our eight hour shift in the office <laughs> oh this right. is the most this is the most professional thing i've ever done by a long shot. <laughs> and I mean, as much as I want to see game three, we can hold off on sleep for a little bit. We need some more content. We need Dylan to bring it home. A little bit of an HPG bias, you know? Listen, I, if Danny wants to, wants to, like I said, if Danny wants to let me take a nap, I'm okay with that, man. I'm okay what is with this? that. What is the stream yeah, delay? Yeah, what is this delay? I was just going to say. What is going on here? Um, it looks like it's on Danny's end or on your version of Danny. Because they, they are, like, playing. Well, here, I can try to do this. Yeah, that might have just fixed it. No, it didn't fix it. If I just, like, mess around with it enough, it might fix it. I know how to fix it if this doesn't work. Okay, I do know how to fix it, too. Is it so delayed? It is. Yeah, yeah, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Um, no worries. Dylan, or I guess both players, pulling a notch. Very interesting. We'll have to see pause, how that comes Pause and unpause. Here. Big W. Fix it. There we Thanks are. Chats. Ooh, Dylan going wood tools here. I 
I'm not a huge fan of that just because I hate wooden uh, wooden axes with a burning <laughs> passion. Um, but I can respect it. You know, it's it is it can be faster if you're if you're good. Was there no iron in this? I was focused on the. I guess there just wasn't, right? They can't make a pickaxe. Honestly, surprised. I mean, maybe you get one cow and then you're out, right? You have a golden apple and you have a notch. So, like, do you really need more food than that? Maybe. I mean, it is a wood pick seed, so you could be like scuffed in the bastion, but still in the nether first. It's just a weird overworld, right? Like, I think you got less food, maybe less wood. I don't know though. And looking for the bastion again, another scuffed terrain seed, it looks like, unless it sort of just opens up above this cavern, but it doesn't. And again, there should just be open terrain that's just kind of how the filter works. Dylan looks like he's trying to find it. Huge slide off. Kind of found it. And he's over, fully over the bastion. Does Danny Boy have to make the same mistake, though? Because you're kind of locked to the top here for a while. So I, I don't really think Dylan... I, I, I kind of misspoke. I don't think it was a mistake. Just kind yeah. of what happened. Um, with the terrain on the seed, but Danny Boy No just found something in a ravine. So maybe wow. it was a mistake. Like he finds this top down housing part, and this is, I mean, this is going to save a monster amount of time over Dylan because these players do need an iron pick. And look at that. Just insta iron nuggets. Like, so if Dylan doesn't get it here out of the manhunt chest or the double chest down here, then, you know, he's got to go all the way back up, all the way back down. Yeah. It's sure. just going to be a brutal time loss. Danny Boy can just make his thing. And oh my god, there's so much damage from Dylan. Do you eat the notch now? No iron. Oh. You, you got to eat something, no? Yeah, the notch. I mean, it's a lucky deal that now you kind of want to do it in the fourth, ideally. Or, or for that zero cycle. But now this is... I mean, it's just brutal time loss. Dylan's got to go all the way up. Find that iron. All the way back down. And... I mean, man, that's just... That's just rough. I don't know. Insanely it's, uh, rough. Yeah, it's, it's big time loss there for Dylan, unfortunately, but, you know. It's okay. He's, he's recovering. He's handling the situation well. Um, reacting. Yep, there's the iron. It's just unfortunate. I mean, he's going to be 40, 50 seconds, maybe a minute behind. Yeah. There's just nothing to do about it. But, I mean, I'm hearing mad zombie pigs on Danny Boy's screen. And Dylan looks like he has yeah. some zombie pigs as well. So this is going to be, yeah, like, could be scuffed for both of them. I, like, think Danny Boy will exit this bastion first, but I don't know by how much. Dylan might have gotten way more picks. The only thing Dylan's also down is the notch. So, like, he can keep this absorption maybe for another, I mean, minute at most, I think. Right. Um, so it's not even going to be useful for, like, curling unless he's just, unless he's out of this bastion ASAP, which, I mean, he's just not going to. Um... So it's kind of a waste. Like, he did need to eat it to stay alive because those pigs were just yeah. moving down there. Like, just sort of an unfortunate circumstance, maybe, of, like, how playing that mana sort of had to go. Um, I think maybe eating the regular gap would have been better. Maybe. It's definitely possible that the regular gap was a smarter play because of... Just, you didn't need to heal that much. The regular, like, the, the notch is so much better for Pearl. Like, there goes all his uh, absorption, you know? So it's like, right. what was the point? Like, you were eating it to heal, but did you need to? It does look like, though, like, Dylan's about to leave the Bastion. So is Danny Boy, but Dylan, like, made up some time, I think. He's got a Pearl hanging. He's going to check his trades again. And I think Danny Boy's leaving off of these trades. 18 Obby. Oh, Danny Boy has 17. Yeah. Wait, Dylan has 19, Abby. Hmm. And he just... Looks like he's setting it. Hangs. Yeah, they're just gonna go. Maybe... I mean, you can always check for I mean, chest. isn't Home Portal so dank here? Like, where it kind of was hype-related I mean, to the rest of the seed? 
He might he might check fortress, get three diamonds, get you know, maybe maybe an obby in there. I just don't I don't think you play for it though, right? I don't think you play for it either. I'm just I don't know, that's just all I, I all I got for you. Um yeah, I mean I don't know. Like you kind of have to set up a curling to your home portal. I, I just don't think you rely on the four for twenty. But again, like you don't blind? I don't know. It's just weird. I man. don't think you blind either. You, you, it's just like slow. You know what I mean? It just ends up being right. slow. Yeah, I think yeah. the, the better play is like get twenty in the housing. But then like, is it really worth forcing the double backups? Right. Is this, a, is this another four buried seed for these guys? Oh, do you yeah. see that? On those screens, there's a room portal over there, I think. Ooh, that would be a crazy heads up play. I could, be, I could be wrong. Yeah, it is there down there on the left. I don't know if he is aware. I don't even know if he knows he has 19 obby. Oh, you think? Yeah, that would make sense, honestly, if he missed that. Or he's just mentally already chalked it up to, like, I'm going to blind. I have to beat him somehow, right? Like, surely he's going to blind also, or his home portal is going to be really slow. Because you could just think that, right? Like, if the home portal is very awkward to get to on a seed like this, like, I, I don't think Danny Boy has a pearl hang set up either. And they both just, right. like, like, what are these seeds? No ports. It's crazy. Just both Man, chugging it. Mentally brutal as well, I would say. I mean, the only thing you do is you try to get it, like, off your pie chart, but that's still just so... It's just so hard. You can't relog. You just have to hope you find it. And they're just not finding it. Like, maybe if I'm Dylan or something, you just try to dig through the wall and, and find it here. Like, this is all terrain you've yeah. kind of seen already. I mean, neither player has found it, so that's, yeah. I guess, reassuring. It's always kind of weird though, cause like, insane. it's always weird cause like you want to dig at some point, which Dylan is committing to. Oh, here we go. Danny finds it. There he goes. That's, yeah, that's, that's bad news bears for Dylan here. Yeah, brutal for Dylan. But Dylan here's blaze crackles and wither skeleton pops. So it's going to be similar pace here. Probably go up is nice, like, yeah, 56. There we are. Dylan in as well. Yeah, so it's not the end of the world for either one. Or. I think Dylan's a little behind. I think he's behind also on the obby. Like, I, I just don't know. I don't know the game plan. Is blind just the game plan? Yeah. I mean, these guys have gotten I mean, two, like, brutally, annoyingly hard seeds. Like, the decision is just so weird. Like, right. Like what exactly is it? It's not clear at all. Yeah. Looks like Devin found a spawner first, though. Um, but then anybody's getting okay rates. I mean, it, I just... I don't think Danny Boy has a pearl hung either. Is he going to... Oh, look at that, like, gap in the terrain. Is that Was that, like, visible from spawn? Could be annoying. Wow, yeah. Oh, look, and Danny was trying to pirate for the spawner. You just couldn't find it. This is going to give Dylan a lot of spare oh, wow. time, but, like, is it going to be enough? I, I'm still convinced he's just blinding. Like, I, I don't know. There was no inside part of this fort either. So. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Well, it was like, yeah. Sorry, no, um, like, no meaningful part, you know what I mean? Like, it just was the circle room and then it existed. That was over. Um, yeah. But again, like, the pearling is so awkward. Uh, Danny's still looking for the spawner. Does he even have a pearling? Like, I know his Artie's low, but I don't think he had one going into it. And he just yeah, still I think can't... Yeah, might see maybe even two blinds. Still can't find the spawner. Is it not down the stairs more? Yeah, here somewhere? Oh, he just missed his area, it looks like. Yeah, he just spawned Five rods. Oh. Also brutal, like, race. But there we go. Mm. The Danny's at the spawner. Yeah. So Dylan's ahead by two rods. But Danny also has 17 obby. Dylan has 19. I, it's just such a weird call. I have no idea. The pearl hang to the room portal, I think, was a complete right play. If you, um... Yeah. Saw it in advance, you know? 
I agree. I just, yeah, I don't think they have. Um, there's just no way you. There's no way you force your home portal, right? Like, unless this is just god terrain. Maybe Dylan is gonna go. He back is gonna try to go him. for it. Yeah, yeah. It just it opened up exceptionally well. Right. I mean, it's not necessarily super bad. The main, honestly, like the main concern I have with home portal is like just there's so you're so low on food. Just, That's true. Might be slow in that regard. Is it not but... like left over there more? Yeah, I mean he doesn't even know where it is. But Danny was on four rods. Like he's got some time to burn, but obviously not. Oh, there we are. Okay, Dylan. Wow, wow. Honestly, that was Dylan got there much more efficiently than I was expecting. And he can get food in this room portal overworld. Because it's just these cows they left behind. Because you know you don't think you need them until the seed's terrible, True. and then you need them. So, clutch two beef, not bad. And what was he have four beds? Could make two more. I don't know, but like, is Danny just gonna blind? Is he gonna? I, I don't know. Is he gonna find the same like God Train Dylan did there? Right? It didn't seem like too impossible to spot, but you kind of have to be playing for it. Could just see a blind into some time save. But does he have a pro lane? Oh, he does. Okay. And it's at the stream portal that I saw. Glad someone did it. I must have missed that when he, when he yes. cranked it out. Yes. Is this going to be closer, though? Dylan's home portal, 1,700 blocks. Is it in a wall? Imagine that Dana White throws the eye and it's just like we see this strong. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Like, is Dylan's train going to be good? What's Danny Boy doing here? Oh, that does not look like good offsets. Different strongholds, yeah. but same similar distances. So, any time save Danny Boy could have had by finding this room portal is now completely gone. Because the distance and just the general annoyance of measuring eyes and picking them up in an ocean. And look at that, two eyes, and he gets not, he gets no good read. It's it's like it's close enough, right? You have like eighty percent on three offsets, but. It's, Still pretty bad. I think yeah. he went too far. But uh, he's going now, so they're both going and Dylan is digging. But I, I think don't he love the Dylan has to dig here. That's He matched the cord. He's also a white 87. But I think he just builds his portal here. Oh, he's gonna be on the whole way. I don't hate it. I don't know if I love it. I think I'd build my portal super high and then just like hope it snaps. If it doesn't, you know where you are on the surface. But He's going for it, and Danny Boy also has to dig another 20, 30 blocks. This is honestly way closer than I thought for, like, the differing speeds these people entered each structure at, and just, like, the decision-making home versus room portal 20, kind of, like, I don't even know, yeah. man. But there are different strongholds, so we can see different preemptives, different Ws, different Ls. Dylan gets a spike there in the back. He's got to know it's this maybe to the right and to the right. Ooh, unlucky. This maybe to the right. And then to the right here. Oh, surely. Hey, boys in too. I think that's it for Dylan though. This looks really good. Nice. Is it zeroable? Uh, dude, I don't know. It's four bad, one anchor. They're both like thinking about it. I just, I don't think Dylan goes for it on four bad, one anchor, but he might he just have to. They're both going for it. It's front. Does Danny Boy have more oh explosives? My God. It's a hundred. Holy shit. Four bad, one anchor on a hundred is crazy. It's just not hittable. Dylan just doesn't, Dylan doesn't have explosives. It's not gonna do enough damage. Yeah, that bed is oh, zero. No. Oh no! Oh, no. he has five beds. Okay. I mean, give him credit. Crystal, maybe. No. Oh my God! So oh. close. Curl down. It's savable. Oh. Like he got really close there. I don't. Think Damn, it's man. Cool. 
I mean, if he gets them all down and gets a perch, like, you don't need the explosives. But he's fighting yeah. for his tournament life right now. He knows that Danny Boy didn't try the zero, because otherwise it would just be over with, like, every over already. But that might be the perch for Danny Boy, and that might just oh. be it. Oh, it looks like it might be it. Yeah. Wow. Hey, I mean, well played to Dylan trying that. That was really risky, but I don't know. I respect it going for it. And... That's gonna be it. Wow, yeah. I, I, dude, Dylan got close, man. That was really close. I thought he had four beds, even though he had five. He still got insanely close. It's just some of those beds on that setup on that height just do no damage. And there's nothing right. you can do about it. Just so hard. Very well um, played, though, for Danny. Yeah, wow. Um, not as hype as getting, for, getting the zero off, but still playing it well, you know, not getting too tilted by the second double horrendous seed in a row just very cool and collected gameplay from both these players and yeah very well played today yeah. on on the win yeah i mean look at the the splits i mean dylan just couldn't dig into that four for a little bit of time but ended up making up like this home portal play just looked better but the time save kind of evaporated when they're in the end four seconds apart from each other and it's just Zero versus half bow, and Dylan just Dylan went for the nuts, and it just didn't work out. I mean, T100 is yeah. hard, especially when you had to kind of build back a little bit um, on the obby platform, and then that set up like one or two of your beds just do no damage. So the fact that he got that close, I think, is just really impressive, and I guess he figured he had to go for it. I don't know. Yeah. But. I mean, that's it. Maybe we'll get to drag Danny Boy in. Um, we will. Congrats Yo. on the win, Danny. How are you feeling? How are those three games for you? Well, okay. Uh, uh, the first seed, I don't, I don't want to talk about the first seed, or the second seed, actually. I don't want to talk about either <laughs> of them. <laughs> those sports weren't the best. Um, I mean, they were findable, and you... I mean, you played the second one. You you both played the second one pretty well. It was weird. You pearl hung at the room portal, which Dylan saw, but I don't know if he, like... Like, it was on a screen, but I don't know if he saw it or knew, because, like, he ended up going mm -hmm. back to home, home portal. There was, like, some nice terrain back from the fort. It was just... I mean, either of those seasons, forts are, those forts are so hard to find. It just kind of happens, well, I think, like... I think the first one was really, really bad, but the second one was kind of my fault, because I, like... Try to go around to find some like sneaky terrain, but like I just ended up fucking myself over because I went all the way around and then it just was not good. You gotta go all the way back, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, no, but I'm Dylan went for the zero and yeah, you got I mean, he had a five bad anchor crystal and it was like I don't know, maybe 10 HP. That's um, yeah. I was gonna obviously... go for it, I was like on the tower and I was like, <laughs> ah, well, you know, and then I was like, I'm going down. Yeah, I mean, if it's not perfect, like, you don't want to risk it, and you just got that perch before. I mean, at that point, he had a full bow, and then axe the dragon or something, so yeah. it worked out. And you also, you had a seed to spare, too, you know? Like, if you lost that seed, you, you still could win the third one, so definitely I don't think yeah, it is the sure. wrong play to just go for the consistent half bow. And, I mean, other than those forts, like, I think you guys... You play the seed like pretty well, you know, just the, the mean, other decisions. I don't know. Like, those seeds were so awkward. Like, it was yeah. actually, like... I don't know. Like, I, I don't think I personally. I don't think I played them very well. I feel like those seeds were definitely like, like, like low thirteen, maybe high twelve accessible. Like, I feel like it's just. I don't know. I feel like I got a little bit nervous and then kind of like got awkward because I couldn't find the fort that easily. And then I was like, okay, I just gotta make do with what I got. The misplace on the obby on the first seed. Oh was crazy. yeah. <laughs> no, that was decent. That was decent. I refuse to believe that I did that. No, 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 no. I fucking. I placed that block there. You could go back. You could rewind it. I oh, it. yeah. You just reminded. You got to watch the VOD, man. You got to watch it. <laughs> Dylan was... Um, Dylan had 20. His iron pick broke while digging to cords, and he just didn't realize he had three iron and two sticks in his inventory. So he bed bombed twice in the nether oh to God. make room for his portal, and then That's awesome. crafted a wood pick in the stronghold from, like... The like four-way wood room chest, like like wood 
ceiling thing area, like he mined yeah. three wood to make a pick. Like he grabbed the sticks out of his inventory, which were right next to the iron, and then like he he just didn't know he had iron in his inventory. It was crazy. Um, but it just Dude, I should like... have lost that seed. That was yeah. I <laughs> fucking <laughs> I I did not deserve to win that seed. <laughs> zero was so clutch. The two. Nah, 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 you, you didn't yeah, get, you I'm didn't shocked it didn't fly zero. away. Awesome. I'm shocked it didn't fly away at eighty four. But I feel like I, I mean. You knew you had to go for it, and like with two pearls, that's like kind of hittable, you know. Yeah. Like maybe you sneak eighty-seven, but it it might have broke. I you was know? like, I was, I was, I think I was at the height, but I went lower. I think I like when I hit the tower, I was like, yeah. I'm gonna go one lower instead of two up, cause I just like wanted to. I know the nodes are lower in rank, so I was like, I'm just. Gonna yeah. Do it. No, it, it was smart and it worked, but it's just. It's so hard to get high there too with just two yeah. pearls. You had you just had a sprint jump towards the tower for like ten seconds, and then your pearls still landed like super low. Um, Dylan went for zero on that seed, and he messed up his block clutch on the oh, on the tower or something. I either phased through it or just fell off or something. But yeah, and then his half bow just didn't come in time. You enter then quick enough and got the got that zero cycle. That makes sense. So, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Who are you playing next week? Bro, you are playing, yeah, bro, bro, upset okay. versus Arachi, so that's cool. Nerdy, um, it ended up working out. the The lower what? seeds won the first four matches, and then the higher oh. seeds won the last four, so it's completely even. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. there's there's four top eight left, and then there's four qualifier people left. So nice. It wasn't looking that way a few hours into the stream. I'll tell you that yeah, it was first, not. The first couple matches were crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was not looking like that. Like two zero underdog, two zero underdog, two one underdog, two like it was wild. But was I mean, wild. you played well. Congrats on the win, and yeah, we will you, see you next weekend. Yep. Bye. Yep. And with that, Nerdy, you have any other closing oh. remarks or anything? That was a lot of fun. I mean, I mean, whoever invented the the like time, the, the part on the clock that's like 7 a.m., like I have a problem with, I need to speak with <laughs> that person, or like 6.30 a.m., I need, again, same thing. But other than that, I had a lot of fun. Matches were really good. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of upsets, a lot of back and forths. Um, Man, a lot of great games in there. A lot of great games. So I'm excited for next next weekend, yes? Yep, next weekend. It's going to be uh, Saturday and Sunday. Um, yeah. Maybe we can figure out a way to like kind of put it on the challenge like we did with the with the games here. But um, we'll figure it out. It'll be next week, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday will be the four um, quarterfinals matches. They're going to be best of five. And then Sunday will be the other four matches. It'll be the two semifinals third place match and then the finals that's how it'll work um yeah so we will see you guys in six days obviously you can look at the bracket you know who's playing who we'll we'll get like times and stuff sorted out assume obviously this is assuming that people can actually make it next weekend um we might have to do stuff on friday or monday if it doesn't work or it, or it um or it squeezes in but there'll be more info um if you follow my Discord, the rank Discord, Twitter, rank Twitter. You, you'll you'll get the info if you look for it. You know, we'll 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 make it out there for you guys. So, again, thanks for watching. Nerdy it was a blast. Uh, it was early, but it's gonna be early again next week. So now we know what to expect. You know, we know what to expect. <laughs> and right. I mean, you, like you said, it just some great matches all around. Like I, I had a blast um, watching a lot of these, just super back and forth. Like I, I feel like everyone was playing really well today. Even the people that died in like one or two seeds. Like I, I feel like the rest of the gameplay was just super clean. The way people like picked it back up, I, I think it was just super nice to watch. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I'm stoked for next week. The the game quality can only get better, right? So I'm um, I'm completely stoked. Um, I'm super excited. So thanks for watching. We will see you next week.